Hello there, guys, gals, non-binary pals. How y'all doing on this nice, chill, relaxing Saturday morning, afternoon, evening, nighttime? No matter what time of day it is, I hope y'all are having a nice, chill one at that. Me, myself, try to have a bit of a productive Saturday today. You know, the weekends for me are kind of the days that I try and be the most productive. You know, like getting little chores done around the house, getting like, you know stuff sorted for the week to come so today was a bit more of a productive day which i feel happy about I, I like having productive mornings rather than just kind of like mornings where i spend the entire morning just kind of underneath the blanket a productive morning just kind of feels very good currently been looking at to see if i can get myself a new office chair because at the moment the chair that i've got currently i've had for a good few years now so it's kind of not really in the best condition and also i think i need to get myself like a proper office chair <laughs> I, I really think that it's just going to be better for me in general if I get, like, something that's designed for sitting at a desk for a long time. Because ultimately, you know, that's kind of the job that I'm in. I do spend a lot of time at my desk, so I kind of want to think ahead in the future and, like, start thinking about my back. I'm getting to that age where I need to start thinking about that. Hey, Booty Twinkle, thanks for two months. Much appreciated. Hope you enjoy those beautiful Goblin and Maximotes as always, Booty. Appreciate the support. So yeah, that's kind of what I've been spending my morning doing. I've been looking at like lots of different brands, different sort of like deals. I know like, um, what's it called? Herman Miller? H Herman, Mi yeah, Herman Miller is like the one that I'm always hearing about. It's like the top, top office chair sort of line. And it does look pretty good. It's one of those things where, you know, it's just you guys saying, it's very much an investment. A, a good chair, like a good well-made chair will last you a good few years. And as I said, I gotta start thinking about my back and everything. These gamer chairs aren't exactly designed for that. I kind of regret getting this chair, to be honest with you, for that very reason. I mean, it's all right. It's just like, I have a very bad habit of slouching and this chair makes it so easy to slouch. So sometimes I just end up like slouching and not even noticing. Or what's the other word? Shrimping, you know, either I'm like sliding downwards or I'm like leaning too far forwards, which I like to call shrimping. So I'm trying to actually look into that to, like, properly invest in my setup to actually, you know, be survivable for the most part. So just so you guys know, that's where all the support has been going. Most of the support from this subathon will be going towards that for a better posture. And, of course, the grommet mug as well. Of course, it's going to be going towards that. Office chair broke, so I only have the seat part of the chair. Oof. Probably best get that fixed if you can. Because the, the back support is pretty important. As I am now learning now that I have a chair that... I mean, it's got a bit of back support, but not, like, the best. Again, it, it's back support, but I just very easily slouch. I think the slouching that I have worst of is the sliding down sort of slouch. I think it's also... I need a chair where my feet hit that actually touch the ground too, which probably will help. Because I, I know that's a big part of posture. That's the thing that I've always personally struggled with is posture. But I'm trying to make improvements to my life and... That's one of the improvements I want to make. But yeah, so today we're doing some more good old Maximilian Angel. Storm just happened, by the way. Storm happened about 30 minutes ago. So we don't have to worry about Storm or anything. Basically, it's because the clocks in the UK and like, I think most of the world minus America are going back tonight. So it's kind of getting ready in adjustment for that. So technically for you Americans in the audience, I'll be going live an hour earlier from now on just because the clocks are now going to be lining up for the most part. So, like, an hour ago in American time is when I'm going to be going live, but I'll still be going live the usual time in the UK, which is, like, you know, around this sort of time in the UK. So, we don't need to worry about Storm or anything like that. And in terms of what you guys have missed off stream as well, basically, after stream, I just kind of went down to the sewers, you know, trying to get myself well acclimated, went to go get some supplies and stuff like that. But we actually did end up going to prom, which is kind of nice. April ended up inviting us to prom as a plus one. I think technically Murphy was her plus one, but it's a different sort of plus one, you know, which is very sweet of her. It was actually kind of nice that she offered to invite Max to the prom because he wasn't going to ask himself. He didn't want to like, you know, butt his way into the prom stuff just because they were very stripped and it being very limited just because of scuff and everything like that. But in the end, I think a lot of people did just kind of get their way into the prom either way. So, but it, it, surprisingly, there was no scuff. It was weird. I think it was the first event that I've been to in a while that has a lot of people, 
but absolutely no Kiki face. Like, I, I don't think I saw any sort of Kiki face yesterday, which is kind of wild. We only started to see it once we actually left the party, which is weird. They know to pay the 10k fee that it was for extras. I don't think anyone paid that. I, I think people just showed up and no one was stopping them from showing up. Like, Hazel showed up, Kitty showed up. I think uh, a, a good few people showed up and I don't think there were anyone's plus ones. I think people just kind of showed up and no one was there to stop them. I don't think security did a very good job for the most part. But it was fun. It, 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 even though there was a lot of people out there that probably weren't invited to be there, it was a pretty good event. Like, there was no issues or anything. Like, no one really... Well, I say that. <laughs> Ray did get stabbed. Ray did get stabbed, so I guess there was a little bit of problem. But that was, like, after. That was, like, basically towards the end of it. I wouldn't count that within the event. So it was pretty fun, minus the stabbing part. It was pretty fun, minus the whole Ray getting stabbed part. But we saw her afterwards, and she seems to be okay. We don't know what really happened to her after that. Well... I know what happened with her after that. Max doesn't know what happened after that. She had some sick RP going. <laughs> but also, another thing that Max got to see last night is a private showing from April of the new remix of If You're Broken Busy. And it mentions us. It mentions Max. Max got a, a mention, a shout out within the song. It was really nice. And we got a little private show to go along with it as well. She really wanted to make sure that Max saw that, which was really nice. It, it was very sweet. It honestly was really good. I, I liked the remix. I think she did a really good job with it. But yeah, so that's kind of what happened last night. Nothing really too much other than that. Just kind of spent some time in the sewers, then went straight from the sewers to prom. Uh, you know, taking a shower in between, of course. Also, the new cream pie song was good. The new cream pie song was something, yeah. Not my taste of song, personally, but the vocals were really good. Like, Fanny has an amazing voice. Now, she is so goddamn good. I, I I didn't know she had, like, that good of a singing voice. She was really good. Yeah, the lyrics of Cream Pie may have been a little bit too much for me. <laughs> Not really my sort of taste, per se. But it was, it was very well made, I'll say that. It was very well made. And it made for quite a good song for the event. But yeah, I, I feel like I'm saying but yeah a few times right now. That's just kind of a go-to saying for me. So today, what I want to do on Max, going into what we're doing on Max today, we're going to be doing Moonshine. So uh, what I was able to do yesterday is that I've now got enough reputation to buy the distilleries. So I can actually start doing the Moonshine ourselves. So today's first goal is to get down to the sewers and buy ourselves a distillery. We need $2,000 for that though, which, you know, luckily we do have, so it shouldn't be too bad. So without further ado, let's get going. Alrighty, so I, I want to try and take a bit of Gigi's advice with the sewers. I think parking our car directly next to the entrance to the sewers is a little bit risky. So I think it might be a good idea to start parking elsewhere and then walking across. But I was thinking, considering where we are with our house, we could keep the car parked at the house and then hop in the canals. Because we can go from the canals down this path here then just simply run across there and get to Dutch London. It isn't that much of a run. And it's less likely that we're going to get clocked for Max going into the sewers. Because unfortunately, Max is a very distinct car. I could try and make it look more local-like, but I like having it look distinct. Is there anything Max is saving up money for? Not really particularly, no. And initially it was for the furniture, but we've got all the furniture sorted now. We don't need to worry about that. The house is now fully furnished. Though I wouldn't mind maybe getting a few more laundry machines. I know Timothy is against it, but he's also bringing in like 20k of dirty bills, which takes us a very long time to clean. So I think it's worth us investing in like four more laundry machines. Like doubling the amount of laundry machines we have would probably be pretty beneficial. Let's hold on. Let me... Let's go grab the car to begin with because we do need to go get the money. Then we'll head down to the sewers. I'll just get the car for now. Yeah, the house, I'm very happy with how the house looks. I, I'm happy that I prioritized it. It's good to have a nice place to live. Like, pretty much everyone that comes into the house, like, as a guest, usually compliments that the design feels like an actual house. Like, everyone loves the design. Natalia did a really good job with it. And, you know, we've added our own little bits of spice to it as well. I take some of that credit. 
the overall Natalia was the mastermind behind the decoration. I primarily just paid for the furniture. You know, a whole, uh, you know, a whole $180,000. A lot of money. But it's worth it, in my opinion. And the good thing is, because the house is our name, we never have to worry about those, that furniture, like, being, well, I guess someone could come into the house and yoink all the furniture if they're on the panel. I don't know why anyone would do that, though, but I guess theoretically they could. Hopefully no one would do that. I was always say, oh, you have an actual house? Yeah, I think most houses that people have are like practical houses. And by that, I mean like, you know, they're there for butt coin farms. They're there for like weed farms, all that sort of stuff. That's what they're there for. Whereas for us, we do have a little bit of a butt coin farm, but nothing really too much. I've also seen a few houses that are like, they have like a bunch of different secret entrances. Like we've only really got one secret entrance and it's not even that secret. It's just a door that kind of blends in with the shower. Other people have it like, so you have to climb over things, like go crouch on a few things, stuff like that. I didn't want to go for that. I wanted us to have a nice place to live. Not to mention the fact that I think that ups the resale value of the house in general. The fact that we have a house that looks like a house makes it so it's going to be easier to resell it in the future if we need to. Also, thank you. I do need to take a sip, actually. I generally think that we could sell the house for almost double the purchasing cost. Even if we just keep the walls in there and, you know, take some of the furniture with us, I genuinely think that we would be fine. I mean, we could easily sell it for like 400 to 500k if it includes the furniture. With the walls, though, I think we could easily sell 300 to 350, which is 150 over the initial purchasing cost. And that basically covers all the cost of the furniture, minus like a few, like, I think like 10k or something like that. We'll have to see though. We're only going to have to start worrying about that once we get to that point. We need the Vinewood houses to open before we start even considering selling, selling the house. Because the good thing is about the Vinewood houses is that as soon as they become available, they won't just fly away. It's not like the sandy trailers where as soon as they become available, they're just instantly gone because they're so cheap. The Vinewood houses are going to be there for a good long while. Oh, hold on, let me... I need to head over to Mosley's to get repairs if anyone's there. So we can take our time building up our money for it if we want to. Not to mention the fact that the size of the houses probably won't be that much larger than a Southside house. You mainly get the Vinewood houses for the aesthetic of being in Vinewood. Other than that, they don't really provide anything more really size-wise. Maybe like a little bit, but nothing substantial. Pull on in. There we go. A good view, yeah. I, that's why I care more about the exterior than the interior, because I love having a nice Hello. view. Right, we'll just wait for someone to be free. Basically, I could change to remove hidden rooms if selling to cops. I mean, I see no issue with them having a secret room. I don't think it's that bad. Good morning. She looking to do just a little repair? Yes, just a repair and a wax today. All right. Uh, would you go ahead and pop the hood? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Sorry. Do you have any uh, week-long wax in stock? Yeah. Oh, perfect. I'll take one of those. Things been busy here this morning? Uh, I just woke up, so I'm actually not too sure. Oh, right. Okay. How much do you think I'm going to need? About one across, two across? Uh, probably just a one across will serve it well. Um, so All right, it'll be seventeen fifty for the repair and the wax. Seventeen fifty. Yep. All right, perfect. I'll go grab that for you now. Um, I'll grab that money real quick, ma'am. I'm gonna grab the money for the distillery from a bank because I, I I don't want the tax added on top of it. Well, the thing is, we don't have much illegal things in the house. It's why I'm not worried about getting raided, because we don't have anything illegal. Minus, like, maybe a few things in the storage, which obviously we would move before we sell it. Laundry machines aren't illegal to have. Right, there goes, sir. Ooh, thank you. I think it's someone from Mosley's that owns this ATM. I think this one, the one by the tow yard, and the one in the hospital, the ones that make the most money. 1750... 
And boop. There we go. Need to get back on my grind run routine. Slowly starting to lose more and more money. After washing machines decoration? Yeah, exactly. We probably would take the washing machines with us anyway. So I doubt we're going to keep that in there. There you go. Appreciate that. Thank you. Having a good day otherwise? Oh, yeah. Just kind of getting started with my day personally. Thought I'd come in for a quick, uh, just morning repair. Right. Excuse me. Gotta get in Oh, here. yes, 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 yes. Sorry, sorry. But, you know, I think the resale value of the house is going to be easy. I think we should target cops to sell it to, personally. Well, then what are you up to today? I don't really know. It's the weekend. Usually try and take the weekends a bit easier. Right. Just one of those days going to see where things go. Well, what do you normally do, then? Uh, Grimes has been my mo main moneymaker recently. Oh, I got you. Been looking to maybe invest in the food market down at Senior Buns, but getting one of those stools is a very difficult task. Yeah, you gotta be awake right away. Right away. Yeah, you gotta know when they're gonna be back in stock. When, you know, someone's yeah, gonna be losing too. theirs. So they have a Vinewood house interior in the south side. I mean, it is that sort of style. We definitely went for more of a classier style for the interior. But that's just because, like, you know, we wanted a nice place to live, essentially. That's the style that we wanted for the house. Which, honestly, will make it a lot easier to move it to Vinewood in the future. Moving a lot of that furniture. But I probably will take at least the bed and the sofas with me. Everything else is probably a maybe. Because those are the ones that are the most expensive. What do you think about April Song mentioning winning? I was very happy. I was honored to be mentioned in an April Song. It was pretty cute. I, I love that she did a whole private show just for Max at the end of her stream. I thought that was very cute. Uh, you know, so I think if we are going to resell the house, we should definitely target cops. Because cops don't, like, they're not going to have time to decorate their own house, basically. They're, they're, they're going to be, like, on duty most of the time. Take the closet? Probably take that too, yeah. Maybe, to an extent. Well, well hopefully things uh, keep busy here for you today. Yeah, I'll probably be around for a bit and then maybe find some... Hopefully some legal work shows up. I'm trying to become a, a lawyer, so... Ooh, right. Best of luck with that. I'm sure uh, you'll get plenty of clients in this city. People well, always need lawyers. Actually. A lot of people... You think uh, so? Me calling lawyers... Uh, lately. Oh. Yeah. Would they rather just uh, represent themselves? I guess. I'm not really sure why. Huh. Well, fair enough. But yeah, I mean, you, uh, you or anybody you know get into any, oh god, um, legal troubles, uh, be sure to call a lawyer. No, will do. Is that guy doing a chat box impression? Yesterday was shut the fuck Thank up Friday, is. but that should really be every day. Very similar to the uh, Fridays at Senior Buns, though I'm kind of glad that stopped. The FU Fridays, they were always a bit of a mess. Right. But yeah. So that convention is great, dude. So the content is so good. I think it turned out pretty well. Suits, uh, grievances against other people. Call a lawyer. Get that shit popping. Oh, will do. I'm sure if uh, I have a lot of friends that may end up down in the sales, so. Right. Yeah, let them know that uh, they should really be calling a lawyer. Yeah, most people don't really know how to represent themselves. They, th they think they know more than they actually do. Oh, yeah. Everyone thinks they they can watch like an episode of Cops and now they know everything. Yeah. So. It's different in the city. Also, uh, yeah. the wax as well. Oh, yeah, sorry. The week long, if you have it. Yep, that's all I usually use. So we'll Ooh, get perfect. it cleaned up and good to go. Yeah, I like my house. Not my house, my, my car looking nice and shiny. Well, my house, too. Like, it right. looking nice and shiny. Yeah, normally we get some lights in here, so it's a little bit brighter, but yeah. Once you get in the sunlight, you'll be able to see it real good. Yeah, I find that kind of difficult when it comes to customizing like the color of the car. It looks different in here than outside. Right. So what is going on over there? 
I don't really know. Fair enough. All right, you should be good to go, sir. <sighs> Much appreciated. I right. hope you have a good rest of your day. Yeah, you too. Stay safe. You as well. Yeah. Okay, we need to quickly pop by the house because I just noticed I've still got some wash cash on me. So let's go store that away real quick. It's not much. It's only like $700, but technically this is Timothy's money. I don't want to be yoinking any of his money. Did they apply the wax? I don't think the, the wax applied. It's still... Oh, he didn't hop in the car. That's why. Okay, I might need to head back in just a second then. May need to apply another coat because it is definitely still sandy. Let me just go store this away real quick. But you know, I love the upstairs. I think the upstairs is my favorite part of the house. It's all come together really nicely. The only things I might look to change in the future is maybe these orange chairs. I feel like they look a little bit out of place with the rest of the aesthetic. But for now, they're, they're good. We got them because they were cheap chairs. Like, very, very cheap chairs. The rest of it, though, oh, the bathroom, too. I love it. I know initially people were complaining that we, you know, we had less space than other houses. But that's because we utilize, like, style more so than using every single inch of the house. That's the decision that I made when it came to the decorations. I say I made because everyone went to clown court when the decorator came around. So it all was kind of left on me. So it was my decision, and I thought it was better that we went that way. And I'm very happy that we did, because our house feels more unique that way. A lot more unique. Oh, let's have a look-see. Yeah, the house is very comfy. Okay, so we've still got a good amount of supplies in here. How are we looking over here? The water's probably getting a bit moldy, yeah. If we can get some usage out of this water here, that'd be good. But I might take some as backup just in case. Alrighty, so quickly head back to Mosley's so we can... Actually, no, I'm going to store this in the garage real quick and see if the wax sticks. Because it might just be a garage thing. Yeah, we have a clean bed now. I always said that the last thing that I'll do to upgrade in the house is going to be the bed. That's going to be the last thing that I upgrade. And it was. Just because that's the part that everyone said to keep upgrading. And I thought it'd be better as, like, the last final thing. Good way to signify that the house is now all done. Well, it's not all done. There's some things that aren't available in the catalog just yet. Or as in like, you know, not available to purchase that are in the catalog. Or at least we just haven't found out where people buy it from. I think it all looks nice. It looks like a bed that at least like six to seven people can sleep in. Which, you know, th realistically, that's how many people are sleeping in that bed right now. Maybe more towards seven. Because Eli's got his own bed upstairs. Then again, you know, as Ray was saying, everyone's got keys to other houses now. So I guess they could be sleeping there too. Well, let me, uh, let's go take this back to Mosley's real quick. Hopefully they'll give us that wax for free, considering it's them that didn't apply correctly. At the end of the day, even if the, ha the girl's house does crumble, at least we'll still have a nice house to sleep in. We ain't going anywhere from that house. Our, ha our name is in that house. Plus, we don't have keys to any other place either. We don't have keys to any other house but that house, so we don't really have much of an option. So if the girl's house does crumble, we'll still be there. Still be our house. Though I wouldn't be surprised if people want their cuts back from it, which I guess would be understandable. Do. Hey, uh, the oh. wax didn't stick. Oh. I don't okay. think you hopped behind the wheel, which is, that's oh, how, yeah. yeah, yeah, I apologize. That's all good. Can you see it now, or do we need to do it again? I think you may need to do it again. It's still looking grimy. What's happening? Just tuned in. We're just getting started with the day at the moment. 
we're doing a little bit of morning routine chore stuff. Then we're going to head down to the sewers and buy our very first distillery. And we're going to do our very, well, not very first moonshine, but you know, first moonshine in a while. I got to find a good location for it too. So we're going to do some location scouting. Yeah, I did try uh, putting it away just to see if it did stick, but I, I think it doesn't stick unless you hop in the car, get behind the wheel. Nope, that's my fault. First one of the day. Just for that's all good. No harm done. A large house needs more money. Well, you got to think about it, though. Are the Vinewood houses really that much larger than a Southside house? I don't think they're going to be that much larger, like size wise. I feel like we're going to have like the same amount of space, maybe just a little bit less for the most part. Better. Get yeah, much better. Can you talk All right. To Max? All right. Well, thank okay. you very much. Yeah, no worries. Max, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Catch no. you later. I don't think so. Yep, take care. God, Stay safe. He doesn't talk to anyone? I think so. I'll let them pull out I, first. I think, I think that motherfucker are best friends with me again. When the Vibrant House is available, maybe people will move and the South will have less lag? I don't think so. Because if you think about it, the space that you would gain from the Vinewood house will not equal the price of it. You buy it for like the views and like the high class of it all. I don't see many people buying the Vinewood houses. At least not from the get go. I think a lot of them are going to stick there for a while. Unless people have like lots of disposable money to use. Which, you know, by the time the Vinewood houses come around, maybe they'll have a lot that they can dispose with. Hold on, let me just head over to do do do. Why when the Mirror Park house is huge? Those are the only the two story houses. The regular houses in Mirror Park are just the same size the as the um as the south side houses. The only reason they're larger is because they're two stories. So unless it's a two story house in Vinewood, then it's not gonna be that much larger than a south side house. Or at least it's not gonna be that much larger than a What's it called? A Mirror Park house. Sorry, you snuck in there, Robin. You need gas. Uh, yes, please. Got you, no problem. It'll just be a 1107. All right. All right, sir. If you look on your mobile device, we'll see a pending payment from Selim's gas. Selim. And there you go. Payment has been confirmed, and now we will start pumping the gas. Thank you very much. Once again, well, welcome to Selim's Gas Selim, the home of the finest petrol in all of Los Santos. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, I it's a you... nice place here. Yeah, it's quite beautiful, isn't it? It's uh, what they call the Taj Mahal of the South Side. You know, it doesn't seem very nice. Do, do they call it that? Not at all, never. Not okay. This place is a shithole, but yeah, what just looks is like gas good station. is the gas. The gas is very good. It provides longevity longevity and efficiency for your car for many more miles to come isn't that just what fuel does in general though not this kind of fuel this fuel has gold flakes in it is that good for the engine it's very good it's very good because you know what happens you know what happens what it, happens it fills in it fills in the cracks like uh what's it called kitsugi like it, that sure fill in the cracks with gold yeah Oh, okay. Fair enough. I mean, I, I guess I'll see if my engine blows up or not. No, it'll be perfect. All right. Well, I appreciate the help. Of course. Have a good rest of your day. You too. No tip. Hello, man. Oh. All right, let's get going. Maybe we will split Vinewood houses too. Well, the thing is, there's no practical usage to a Vinewood house. But I don't see a gang buying a Vinewood house because there's no real need to if they already have a house. It, it's a luxury purchase, a Vinewood house, not a practical purchase. Maybe that's the best way to phrase it. It's a luxury thing, not a practical thing. Oh. All right, let's get the money out for the distillery. Then we'll head back home, get changed, and head down to the sewers. Draw 2000. There we go. Let's go before we get robbed. 
I feel like people get robbed at this bank more so than any of the other ones. Yeah, a warehouse is a lot more practical for a gang than a Vinewood house. Oh, let's have a quick look at the Vinewood houses. We've we got some time. We're in no rush today. Today's going to be a bit of a chill moonshine. Actually, no. No, no, no. We'll go. We'll go. Actually, no, no. I'm going to get the moonshine stuff started first because we're going to have a lot of time to kill when the moonshine's going. Then we'll go have a look at Vinewood houses. But I generally don't think that many people are going to go for Vinewood houses initially. I think we're going to have plenty of time to purchase them. I did see a lot of the stuff that happened OC yesterday, yeah. Saw little clips uh, on the on the Reddit of Ray's stuff. All I gotta say to that is, hell yeah. That is first name Ray, last name Mon right there. That's our girl. Oh, see, it, it seems like she's been having, like, a wild time with the clown stuff. Lots of stuff that Max doesn't really know. And lots of stuff that I don't know either. I wouldn't mean following it too, too closely just because of meta. But that clip was great. Yeah, it's right by MRPD too. I'm surprised you didn't get caught. I guess not many PD officers really hang out around MRPD. I think yesterday was a very good... It, it very much felt like a finale day for many things. I felt like a bit of a finale day for Ray's stuff that she had going on. It was a finale day for the whole My Criminal Academia stuff. It was very much a finale sort of day yesterday. And it ended on a Friday too, which made it feel even more finale-like. With like the break over the weekend. Which would be surprised if a lot of people take break over this weekend. Because it was a lot of like consecutive days of very busy things. None of the girls really got much downtime over the last couple days. You're in my parking spot. Max! You're blocking Max. my driveway. I'm sorry, we were just selling you weed. You're selling me weed? Yeah. I don't want any of that devil's oh, sorry, lettuce. Yeah. I I what? But your, your uh, roommate me, did. Shit. Damn it. Bringing Hello. devil's lettuce into the house. By what? <laughs> God, everyone's selling weed right now. There we go. The pro had a bittersweet feeling that Academy was so fun but ends so fast. I think it went for a good amount of time. Like with those sort of things, you don't want them to drag out too, too long. I think a week is perfect. Like start at the start of the week, end at the end of the week. I think that sort of length is perfect for that sort of event. Anything longer and you kind of risk starting getting a bit of a burnout. But each class was very useful too, I think. Like each of them, like all the teachers did an amazing job. I'm interested to see what they're going to do next season, you know, for Class 1B. Whether or not we uh, become part of that or not. Let's see, so we got that. Okay, let's get going. I mean, like I said, it was a lot of consecutive days with busy things. Like, basically, from Monday to Friday, it was go, 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 go for everyone. Like, it, it was very much five full days of, like, constant things happening. Not to mention the stuff around the Academy, too. All right, let's make our way to the canals. <laughs> so this is what I'm going to do from now on, I think, to get to the sewers. I'm going to take the back entrance. Yeah. So if we go around this way, it's obviously a little bit more risk because we're out in the open, but less risk in terms of our car being there. The, the problem definitely was a good way to end the my criminal academia stuff too honestly i expected the problem to be a lot messier than what it was i mean you know ray did get stabbed so it was a little bit messy but i was expecting a lot more like you know drama sort of stuff you know you know bickering and stuff like that all in all it seemed pretty cordial no like you know fighting or anything minus the stabbing again <laughs> we're not including the stabbing in that that's like separate to the academia do, do, do. Right, here we go. Oh. Oh. 
someone's already left it open. Let's try and close that. Come on. Nope, 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 nope. Escape. Oh, God. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. There we go. Boom. Hey, Heat Meta. Thanks to Prime Gaming. Much appreciated. Hope you enjoy those beautiful Goblin and Max modes, Heat. Appreciate the support. Do the cops know about the sewers? They do know, know about the sewers, yeah. They've started to do, like, undercover ops inside here. Hence why I'm needing to be a bit more careful in how we enter. So we're in Dutch London, so we got to head to the right here. Let's make our way down to the center. It'd be interesting to see how much health we lose by the time we get there if we're not searching through things. What's Max doing right now? We're going to go to the center of the sewers to buy ourselves a distillery. I know the sewers by heart pretty much, yeah. Well, not by heart, but I know it pretty well now. I do get lost sometimes, like a little bit turned around, but as soon as I find, like, an area that I know, it's easy to find out where I am. And, you know, the sewer map that I created does help that out quite a bit, too. Criminal conflict in the sewers, is Max doing it solo? Nope. If anything happens, it happens. I like this being a thing that Max can kind of do solo for the most part. You know, kind of like Max's own project in a way. I don't have to, like, you know, only come down here if we're with someone. If it's a risk, it's a risk. And still right to get that immunity to damage? Already done. I've already done that. That's how I'm able to buy the distilleries. You can only buy the distilleries once you're 50% acclimated, which we are now. And as you can see, we're not getting hurt. I think we've got to a point where we're no longer hurt by the sewer air. If we are, it's like very, very, very slow. We're all good now. And risk means content? Exactly. Whatever happens, happens. I'm no longer worried about Max getting a felon anymore. If he gets one, he gets one. I don't have to worry about like, oh, we're going to lose everything if we get a felony. You know, we can't run the business anymore. We can't do any of that. Got no image to hold up anymore. Max can just do whatever he wants to do. And right now, that's being a sewer rat. Well, it's not specifically being a sewer rat. It's about getting back into Moonshine. That's what Max wants to do. Moonshine was his specialty in 3.0. And if he's not allowed to have the Liquid Library, he's going to have the Moonshine instead. Mixology is his specialty. Always has been, always will be. I will say, I might look for some civilian jobs to do on Max, but I don't think I want to run any businesses anymore. I think I'd happy being a worker, but running a business just isn't for me. I think Max has kind of passed that part of his life. Like, I generally would love to still do bartending. Like, I love doing bartending. Bartending RP is so much fun. I also love the people that we get to meet by doing it too. I think that's what I kind of miss about doing the taxi job right now, is the fact that we've got to meet so many different people around town. Whereas nowadays, I don't, I feel like I don't really meet too many new people. Too, too often. We still definitely do meet some new people, just not like super duper often like we used to. Kind of wish it rained so we could see it. I'm interested to see what happens when it rains too. Because I'm pretty sure if you're not in the center, you're basically dead. From what I was told. So that'll be kind of interesting to see. All right, let's see. All right, let's head over there. So the dude to buy the distilleries from should just be over this way. So it seemed pretty quiet today for the most part. Did you go to prom yesterday? Yeah, Max was invited to prom in the end. It's a bit of a last minute invitation. But Max is very happy that he got it. It was April that ended up inviting him. Let's have a look-see. Please make it so I can actually talk to him. Because I, I need to. Yeah, I can. Perfect. Ah, oh, damn it. My reputation's down. Okay, we may need to spend a few minutes down here just to get our reputation back up. Let's see. Is our contact thing going up? Basically, the way that the sewers work, for those that don't know, the longer I spend above ground, the less acclimated to the sewers I become. So I think I spent a little bit too much time up there yesterday, so now we don't have enough to buy the distillery. But it shouldn't be too bad. Like, 30 minutes down here should make that up. In the meantime, we can just, you know... 
start doing some more rummaging around. We should do bartending at other places besides the liquid library? Oh, most definitely. Honestly, I think bartending at events might be what I go for. Let you know if there's an event going at the VU, Bahama Mamas, stuff like that. I actually really enjoyed the few times that we did bartend, and bartend at the VU. It just doesn't seem like people do events there anymore. I think events in general have kind of slowed down in the city a little bit. Business laws are something I didn't understand. I mean, I understand it personally. Like, I will say, whilst Max is upset about not being able to get the Liquid Library, I fully understand it. And honestly, I kind of support it. It's good to push RPs to try new things. Uh, you know, rather than just going to do the exact same thing that I did before. I fully understand it, OOC. Even though if Max, you know, is a bit upset about it in character, I fully understand OOC. I think is we're in a very unique position with the Liquid Library because we're the only business that survived from 3.0. So it is very much a unique sort of thing. Like basically no one else can run their businesses from 3.0 except for us. So it does feel a bit more targeted, but that's because we're the only one in that position. It's like if uh, Uwu came back, but then Ash didn't own it. That's basically the same thing. If Uwu came back, but Ash couldn't be the owner of it. But Uwu didn't come back, so that's not really the same thing. But I'm sure she would feel the same way that Max does. And that sort of thing pushes, you know, has been pushing Max to try different things. Like, Max wouldn't be where he is right now if he didn't try different things in 4.0. Like the taxi work. Now, I, I tried something different rather than just going straight back to the Liquid Library because I wanted to do something different. And because of that, we met the Gorals. We met April, we met Ray. And now, with us being fully down the Liquid Library, we're now being pushed more so down the criminal path. I will have to see where those things go. Have to see where this path takes Max. I'm actually really excited for it, personally. Why Liquid Library's still there, but not Uwu? Mm hmm. Don't know. Just is. I don't know what goes on behind the scenes. I just know the Liquid Library is still there, and the Uwu isn't. I mean, I'm happy that the Liquid Library did survive because I feel that like we never really got to tap into the full potential of it in 3.0, mainly because it's still under construction. This do need to run by people who have brains. But this, the thing is, one thing in 4.0 that is very different to 3.0 right now is that there's a lot more civilians. I like that they're giving a lot more agency to civilians in 4.0. And by that, I mean basically... Becoming a criminal is more of a choice than just a thing that you do whilst being in the server. Which is what it kind of became in 3.0. There's basically no reason to stay a civilian in 3.0. Becoming a criminal basically meant you could do the same things you were doing as a civilian, but still have more to do. There you go, boosting, robbing, all that sort of stuff. Now there's actual consequences for making that choice, and I like that. I like that there's weight added to the choice of becoming a civilian, uh, becoming a criminal. I think that really adds to the RP. Let's see, we'll go check the dude in a second. Let's see. I mean, I'm, I do hope some stuff from 3.0 still makes it way over to 4.0 at some point. But I'm still hoping that Pixel Perfect comes back in some way. Even if it isn't Pixel Perfect, I just really like the Polaroid cameras. The Polaroid cameras were a really cool feature, and I really do hope they utilize them again in the future. Boing. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Cooking, old still, pay by cash. Easy. Nice, okay. Old Mission Ancillary will probably fall apart if it's left out too long or used too much. Okay, perfect. All right, let me saw that there. All right, let's make our way back to the house. Now we're going to find a good location for it. Whatever happened to the old still that you set up, it just deteriorated. They only last so long. I think like a week, I think, before they go moldy. Also, could I like just buy another one if I wanted to? Hold on, let me have a look. If I wanted to, could I just buy another one? I can't, okay. So you're only limited to one to begin with. I have been told that you can buy another one at some point. It might be a case of like one per storm. 
So I'll probably check maybe early tomorrow. Just to see if I could buy another one. I also do need to get more acclimated to the sewers. Because I was only just about acclimated to buy that one. Speaking of. What's our reputation at? So we need to be at 472 to be able to buy the distilleries. Okay. Okay, that's not too bad. Just need to spend some more time down here today gathering materials, potentially. Or maybe I'll do that off stream. But I don't really know... The thing is you also got to consider with 4.0 as well is that they're going down a very different route for businesses. Like in 3.0, pretty much every business, maybe bar a few of them, had unique mechanics attached to them. Like whitelisted things attached to them. That only those businesses could do. In 4.0, they're very big against there being whitelisted things. They've very much gone for the approach that everyone could do everything if they want to. I'm personally not a fan of that, but I understand why they did it. I think business RP is a much is just much better when people do have those whitelists. When people are forced to have to work together. Like, you know, you have to make business deals. You have to go like, you know, if you don't like that business deal, then tough, you're not going to be able to get it, sort of thing. Rather than just someone being able to go do it themselves. I kind of like that. I think it made business RP a lot more interesting. But, I mean, we're still at the infancy of 4.0 right now. We don't know how the business RP is going to be looking like in the future. Or in the long term. I do think that what they're doing with the... What's it called? The... Farmer's market thing. The thing by senior buns. I like what they're doing with that. I think that's definitely a good step forward. But we'll have to see how that works in the long term. But obviously everyone's there right now because it's something new and shiny. It's something new to do. But how's it going to look, say, like a month or two from now? Is it still going to have the same sort of hype around it? Because that's how the farmer's market was back in the day too. Like for the first maybe month or two, farmer's market was popping. But towards the end, there was like maybe two customers a night. It was pretty bad towards the end. and Not many people really remember that. A lot of people remember, like, the good times of the farmer's market rather than, like, the bad times. But genuinely, everyone kind of forgot about it towards the end. Food court. Yeah, that's the right word for it. Food court. I mean, what I'm hoping for the food court is that people are going to be able to expand their business outside of it. Like, if they do a good enough job there, they can expand to their own food shop somewhere in the city. I'm hoping that's what the case is, because that's why I always hoped the farmer's market would be back in the day. Never became that, though. Max is very happy he got mentioned in April's song. He feels very honored. And also very honored that he got a private showing for it, too. <laughs> the thing the location of the farmer's market was the problem. The issue with the farmer's market is that, again, it was the issue that everyone could do everything. So what people used to do is that they found people's IDs for their food... And then just go made it themselves. The farmer's market was mechanically abused. And that's the reason why it fell through. People just went to go buy food themselves from the dude using the codes. Rather than interact with people at the farmer's market. I, I There was times where I saw even police officers doing that. Like I'd go up there to get stuff on my farmer's market stall. And I'd see a police officer there just buying stuff from the dude. It's different this time around because the mechanics are different, but I hope something like that doesn't happen again. Because that was kind of infuriating. I personally thought that the best way the farmer's market could have ran back in the day is if you had to make the food and everything at the farmer's market. The way that it used to work is that there used to be a dude up in... Well, I guess you can't see it on the GPS. But there's a dude up in Polito that you talk to, you gave him a code... And then it'd give you that item that the code was for. Like, every item had its own unique code, basically. But like I said, people found out other people's codes and then just used that themselves at the dude. And then just basically stockpiled. Because it's easy to stockpile the food from the farmer's market because it lasted three days. So what people used to do is that they would go up there, bulk purchase food and drink from the dude, and store it in a gang-like storage that everyone could access. And then they'll be fine for food for three, four days. As I said, it was not a good system. And that's the reason why it fell through. Is because people did abuse that mechanic that way. 
But you know, that's in the past. That was like two years ago. Actually, that was about two years ago now. I remember because I think it was April 20th is when the farmer's market went away. April 20th, 2022. Also, if you can't tell, I'm still a little bit salty about how the farmer's market yeah. turned out. Yep, yep. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still just a tad bit salty now. Just a tad bit salty. No, I just took food out of the storage lab and paying. We did all the siege people pay for. Well, that's how those businesses were kind of like. From what I was told in characters, that those businesses had a thing called the battle pass that enabled people to do that. Again, I didn't like that, but you know, if people want to use their businesses that way, they can use it that way. I just wasn't a fan of it. And people really need to start locking this thing. That's how the police keep being able to get inside. Right, let's run across. All good, all good. I'm interested to see how business RP does evolve in 4.0. But I don't think Max is going to be a part of it. Like I said, I've already done the business RP arc on Max. It's it kind of feeling like I was kind of treading old ground a little bit. But I've already done it all. Like, Max was part of Cerberus in 3.0. Like, he was basically at the top of the business ladder. So it kind of feels like if I went down the business route again, I'd just be doing a little bit of a rerun. I, I like that we have an opportunity to take Max down a different path in 4.0. And it makes sense for where he is as a character right now, too. Like, everything that's happened to Liquid Library... Everything that's kind of happened with, like, you know, a lot of his friends are doing that sort of stuff. It makes sense for him to be pushed down that route. And, you know, like I said, I personally wanted something a bit different to do as well. Which one's our house? Did I already go past it? And this one's our house, isn't it? Yeah, it is. is someone, someone's parked directly behind our house. <laughs> they're doing if one of the girls start the business well we're already going down the criminal route i'd be happy to work there but running it is a different thing like i said i would be happy to like work at a business but i don't want to run a business it, it's just too much stress for me it's kind of why i was getting with the ceo of the casino stuff i was kind of getting a little bit stressed about it ultimately max isn't really that much of a ceo sort of dude what suits Max better is roles that allow him to be creative. It just so happened in 3.0 that people needed CEOs, so Max just kind of fell into that slot. But what Max is very good at is customer service and creatively thinking. One of the things I hate most about business RP is managing employees. That's the part that I hate most. And unfortunately, that's what kind of the CEO of the casino came down to, is a lot mainly managing employees. Hence why I didn't really have the best of time with it, as was kind of obvious with the amount of work we put into it. I mean, we did definitely put work into the casino, but I didn't really like the whole hiring stuff. That's the part where we fell through the most. All right, let's see. So I want to go get a moonshine outfit made. So let me get a good baseline. Go. Boop. We'll use this as a good baseline. Let's go get some supplies too. So if I remember correctly, we need about like three of each except for the water, which we need more. So let me just store all of this. Boom. Well, the issue as well with the casino that we kind of ran into is that people don't have the best train tickets right now. Like we had managers that were supposed to be helping us with like hiring and stuff like that, but they weren't able to get into the server because, you know, it's difficult to get through the queue. So a lot of it just kind of fell on Max for the most part. And like I said, I just kind of got a little bit stressed OC about it. Just wasn't really enjoying it. Part of the reason why I just kind of decided to cut it off. I wasn't having a good time. I'd still love it if we could help the casino in some way. But I don't think Marty really wants our help right now. I don't think Marty exactly too happy with how Max is. Well, with how things ended. Consider the fact that he's told April to kill Max yesterday. All right, let's see. So we've got 10, 10, 10. We need a little bit more of the water. 
good hate. If he wants to say that to Max's face, he can say it to Max's face. At the moment, all that Max has talked to Marty about is basically him just saying, sorry, things didn't work out. That's all that Marty told Max regarding the casino stuff. There we go. Got 10 of that. Easy peasy. Right. So let's store the crowbar as well, just so we can be extra safe with it. Max's favorite new person to meet Lysandros recently. I mean, how recent are you talking? In 4.0, it's definitely April's at the top of the list. Max's life changed tremendously with it once April entered in. So I'd definitely say April. But all the girls, really. The Max is a good amount of people around him right now. Good group around him they didn't really have in 3.0. All right, so let's head to the clothing store and get ourselves a nice moonshining fit made. I'm really excited to get down the Kunal path. I think it's going to be a bit of a slow start for us because of the way that we're kind of approaching it. But I think we're going to have some fun with it. It'll be fun to be able to do some crime and like give jobs to the girls to do too. That with the moonshine, I probably won't do much of the moonshine running myself, but I could see what would probably do is what would task like, you know, either Eli, Ray, April to maybe go do the moonshine runs if they want to. And we'd let them keep most of the profit just because they're taking the biggest risk with it. Let's right, so the clothing store. We're going to take a different route, I think. I like taking the back roads for this. We're going to go location shopping right now for this distillery. Yeah, what I was thinking is that I would be happy to go 50-50 with it. But, you know, I do the cooking and try and find a good recipe. And they go do the runs to get it converted to money. Because we're not going to be making that much money until we get a good recipe. Which, with the way that I'm doing it, it's going to take a while. It's going to take us a good week or two to get a good recipe. If not more. But hey, that's criminal life. Criminal life ain't easy. Let's go to the clothing store up in Rockford. So what I was thinking of putting the distillery is in Grapeseed. There's a specific spot in Grapeseed that I used to use back in the day on one of my other characters that I want to see if it's still there. But I have pretty decent like knowledge of the map so i know which areas people don't go to very often like blank spots of the map basically i mean grape seed in general is kind of a blank spot to most people minus the people that try and do stuff there like the clowns but for most people grape seed is just a nothing area there's no reason to go there no reason to do anything there which makes it perfect for more undercover stuff the hell, even like behind the gas station in Grape Sea would be good because who's going to check there? Or there's like this building across the gas station in Grape Sea that has like a bunch of propane tanks around it. I call it Explosion Alley. It's got, I think, around the gas station in that building, if you combine the two, there's about 38 different explosives. There's honestly, there's a ton of explosives around Grape Sea in general. To run a cleaning money center in the home. Well, we've got to clean the money that we have right now. We're, we're struggling to clean the money that we currently have. Also, in terms of power, I don't think we have that much of an issue with power because our bill was only $700. The bill came in the other day and it's only $700. It wasn't expensive whatsoever. Uh, let's see. So I'm thinking... Does this come in brown? Red, blue. Ooh. I love the variations this one has. Oh, this is the purple one, isn't it? Damn, this vest is actually kind of nice. I low-key do like this blue. This blue does actually look kind of nice. Hold on, let me combine with this, this with the masks. I'm thinking of keeping the mask that we have with the moonshine. Like the sewer mask for the moonshine stuff, too. Where is it? The Commander Chaos Mask. My go-to crime mask. 
This one? No. This one. There we go. I was thinking this. Plus, let's get the goggles that we had. This. Keep that how it was there. Now, I was thinking, what about a cowboy hat? Okay, that's anything that's a cowboy hat. Cowboy hat. I think a cowboy hat with this look could go kind of sick. Let me cook here for a minute. Allow me to cook for a minute. Let's see. Okay, that's a little bit too plain, this one. Kill the powers of the house completely? We'll have to see what happens with that. Hold on, so let me go with this. I'm letting the power stuff just go as is for now. I know nothing about it. Max knows nothing about it. Hmm. I really wish there was more options for ties. I found out yesterday that there's no pink ties. Because I was trying to get a pink tie to match my prom outfit. Hmm. Hmm. Let me have a quick look at the... Uh, maybe a plain vest would be better. Maybe there's too many patterns going on right now. 41. Hmm. I think we can cook up a good outfit. I'm thinking suit vest is the go-to for this. I do want to try and keep Max's fashion staying classy where I can. Let's see. Where is it? Where is it? I know there's more suit vests. Dress shirt and suspenders. The suspenders are very limiting, unfortunately. There used to be better suspenders in 3.0, but they aren't in 4.0. They used to be able to get suspenders that can go with any outfit. Now that only certain jackets have suspenders on them. They come pre-baked into the jacket. Let's see this one. This one doesn't have any variations. Okay. I could have sworn there was more. See, there is actually a lot better selections of suit vests in the undershirt section, which is a shame. Because that means you've got to combo it with something else. Whereas I'd rather just have it as its own thing. Is there no other suit vests? Is that it? Any down here? Hold on, let me show you the spenders that we do have as options. There is... This one, which is the buff one. Which I'm not really sure suits a moonshine sort of aesthetic. I think there's one more too. This one? No. It's one of these. Ooh. Hold on, is there a duster? Hold on a minute. We could go full cowboy look. Hmm. I won't lie. Cowboy look would look kind of sick, though. Okay, gotta remember 27. Hold on. I want to see what undershirt could we get for this. What undershirt would go for a cowboy look? Let's see. What options do we have down here? I saw it um, off stream, the, the clip he's talking about. Very happy for our girl. Oh, this already comes with a, a shirt underneath. Damn it. Oh, it already comes with a shirt underneath. Hold on, I, I don't like that. I don't like the plain shirt underneath. It needs to be a button up for it to work. Oh, let's see what other options we got. No, no. Nope, 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 nope. Ooh. What options we got here? Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm, okay, not too bad. Got this one where you can kind of customize underneath. Got denim, but eh, denim isn't really very max. Got this one. I kind of like the loose looking look though. The loose look is kind of nice for the cowboy style. This feels more detective than cowboy like. This feels like I'm about to say one more thing. Oh, just one more thing. Not really the sort of style I'm going for. Don't know what's going on with the shoulders there. Hmm. Ooh, that isn't bad. Number six isn't bad, actually. But this one. Ooh. Hold on a minute. Let me get let me get rid of the tie. I think the tie's kind of ruin it. Hmm. Maybe a bit too standoutish, the red. I do like that though. That was the color scheme for Commander Chaos back in the day. And Max is basing himself off of Commander Chaos. One of the first criminals he got close to. Though I think my favorite so far has probably been, what was it, number six? No. What, which one was it? Oh no, Pixel 2, six. I think this kind of works. What variations this come in? Is this giving cowboy right now? Let's see what we have in terms of pants. What pant options we got? Maybe no boxers. Ooh. That isn't too bad. Hmm. I do kind of like that. That's what other options we got. I think I like that one. That's my favorite so far. And let's go boots. Do we go cowboy boots is the question. I mean, we kind of have to, right? Got to go with the look. Yeehaw! Ooh, they... Oh! They come in black and red. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. The fact that it comes in black and red, those cowboy boots actually look kind of sick. So which one was the one that I was looking at before? Is this one? Mm. Let me try and change the pants. I, it, it's the chain. The chain kind of ruins it, unfortunately. I always find when to do country boy RP. I think it's just fun, all right. I yearn for the Wild West. Maybe I would be good at Red Dead RP. Let's see. Hmm. I think this might be the best one we're able to find so far. Unshirt might cover it. Unfortunately, not. No, it's gonna look too scuffed with an undershirt. I think, actually, hold on a minute. Isn't there a duster I can get? I'm fairly certain no pixel at one point had a duster. Is it still available is, is the question. I think it only came in one color too. Was it this one? Yeah, it only comes in this color. Not really the sort of vibe I'm going for. Okay, I think the best one that we had so far is the one that we had just then. No Pixel 2 6. The sequel.
Then, let's see, boots. Mainly change the boots now. How does this feel? I think this feels alright. Oh, let me get like a wide view. What does it look like without the mask and the goggles? I'm not too shabby. I do wish I could change the color of the hat. It still looks like a normal outfit outside of the mask, which is good in case we need to go undercover. You'd never know that this is Max at the end of the day. I'm going for this mask. This is my go-to crime mask for Max right now. With the goggles too. Let's see, anything else I want to change? Let's have a quick look. Pants. Ooh, I kind of like, I think I may prefer that for the pants. What, gloves? Gloves could be a good call, actually, yeah. Let's have a look, see. What gloves do we go for is the question. Driving gloves? I mean, driving gloves are always a good choice. Yeah, I like the driving gloves. There we go. Ready to go do some moonshine. And we kind of blend in with Grapeseed too. This town ain't big enough for the both of us. Let's see. So I'm going to get rid of some of our casino fits. We don't need the dealer fit anymore. Moonshine Cowboy. Crime. So long, Moonshine Cowboy. Perfect. Hold on a minute. Holster. This town ain't big enough for the both of us. Nice. We can do duels at dawn in Grapeseed. Easy. Alright, let's make our way up there. Into our completely inconspicuous car. I mean, Grapeseed is a Wild West area. I'm fairly certain the vibe of Grapeseed is meant to be like an old Wild West, like, you know, town. Just never, like, upgraded. Then, you know, it's got that one big strip of uh, shops, and that's kind of it. And those shops do look a bit, like, run down, old tiny. Imagine doing, like, a duel with someone on that strip of road. That'd be sick. But now we need to find ourselves a location. Next up is location, location, location. Hold on. Is my water okay? Okay, water's still good. That's good. Let's see. So I've got an idea of where I want to put this. I want to put this in the pathway between Sandy and Grapeseed. Because no one ever goes that way. Or at least, you know, very, very few people go that way. But you gotta be careful where you put it, because, like, you don't want to be anywhere scenic. Like the dock areas, those are scenic. You need things that people drive past, but then don't really, like, stop at. Ideally. And know just the spot. But I have to see if someone else may already have that spot. Added benefit as well is that, as far as I'm aware, there's no, like, jobs that take you that way either. Like, no tow jobs around that area. No, like, delivery spots around that area. It's very much a blank spot on the map that most people don't consider. I mean, even, like, these hills here. No one thinks about these hills. So it's very unlikely that someone's going to stumble upon a distillery up this way. Like, up these hills and the trees wouldn't be too bad either. For Zenkudo, people go there too frequently. People do hike up that mountain too, so up there would be a bit risky. I've thought this through. 
I know my way around the GTA 5 map pretty well, which is handy for this situation. I know what I'm doing. I think. Why not build this still in the sewers? Well, in all honesty, I think it's boring building it in the sewers. And also, there's a lot more risk in the sewers these days, too. I would go to the spot that I had before, but I feel like that's too close to the roads. I need something a bit further away from the main roads. I mean, if things don't work out, we could try the sewers. It would technically be the easiest. But from what we got told by Glorion is that the harder it is to get to an area, the better it is for a moonshine distillery. Because again, it's less likely someone's going to stumble upon it. Damn, all those coyotes. Also, I don't even know how much like Stab City here gets used these days. That would be another good spot. This area to the left here, this would be a pretty decent spot. But too close to the main road for my liking. We need to be way out there, ideally. The benefit for this spot too is that it's relatively easy to highway blast to it. Now, obviously, I took a bit of a back road for that route, but most of the time you can just highway blast to this location. Just going off the path just a little bit. Like, along the shoreline here, this wouldn't be too bad. Like, down there. Who goes down there? You've got a fair bit of cover here, too. Because most people won't look... Like, if I was to put it over here... No one looks over here. Like, this little dip here. No one looks there. Plus, you've got the trees to help cover up the smoke, too. That's an option over there, right by that log pile. What's up to today? Moonshine. We're getting into the science of moonshine today. See, down here would be decent, but I feel like this is too scenic of an area to put a moonshine distillery. High chance of someone to spot you. Or just stumble upon him. How's that farm spot you had before? The farm spot I had before was good. My worry about it is that it's too close to, like, locals. I'm worried that locals will call it in. Because I know there's a bit of a hot presence now with Moonshine. See, this little pathway here would be pretty decent. Or, like, I know there's a little tunnel under here that could be kind of good. Kind of, like, hidden away a little bit. I was thinking... just up i think it's this way yeah just up this way is where i was thinking bit off road and bit off the beaten path like no one's gonna think to check up this way Like somewhere like right let's see where's a good place with cover over here you need a fair bit of cover for it or we could try and get up the hill but then you know risk getting stuck low cars and ping the police maybe i don't fully know i'm just i'm maybe being a little bit overtly cautious right now but max is someone that tries to think smart Maybe this little dip here? Okay, might be getting a bit too far from the road now. We, it still needs to be, like, convenient for us to access. Maybe overcooking. Somewhere, like, maybe over here? What about this little dip here? It's pretty hidden away. It's a bit more unique. 
I feel like there's a lot of cover here too. I think this area is not too bad. It's relatively flat too, so it should be easy to get the distillery down. Also, let's make sure there's no... Also, let me just see. Where is this on, like, the GPS? It's, like, dead in the center there. Key thing is remembering where it is, too. Right, let's see. Boom. You see, you need relatively flat ground for this. It's, like, over... Here. There we go. I think this is a good spot. Examine still. Piers in good condition. Okay, that's good. Open pot. Right, so the recipe I used before was three of that. Three of that. Three of that. And six of this. That's the ratio that I remember. Then recipe wise. What I'm going to do is. Let me jot this down. So I'm going to go. VD. 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 Yeah, I'm going to do VD on all of them. So VD, 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 VD. This will be our baseline. From here, we're going to be able to find out what our special recipe is. So we're going to start there. And... There we go. Okay, so for one hour from now, we're going to come back here. Or oh, 40 minutes. I think it was 40 minutes last time. Let me open up my timer. So we need... 40 minutes. Okay, got my timer set for 40 minutes. I th think I remember where this is. Hold on, I'm going to mark it on the map just to be safe. There we go. Let's make our way down. Okay, so it's directly up from the sewage pipe. That's pretty easy to remember. Okay. That's fine. Let's try going up this way. There we go. Easy. All right, let's go. Okay, so that should be done in roughly about 40 minutes from now then. Yep, we are doing the mooning of the shine. Okay, so it's not that one, it's the next one. Okay, got it. I gotta memorize where we're putting this. It's gonna take us a while to get like a decent recipe with this, but this is a good start. Basically, what I'm gonna be trying to do is find out which element is the strongest in each section. So roughly, I'm gonna need to do four, I think 50 moonshines to find that out. It's not the best way to do it, but, you know, it's the way that I want to do it. Definitely do love grape seed, though. It is a decent area. Hey, Jade. Thanks for gifting out a sub. Much appreciated. Hope you enjoy those beautiful Goblin and Max modes, courtesy of Jade. Appreciate the support. So what do they sell here again? They don't sell any food or drink anymore, do they? It's only the drink. Supermarket. Alcohol's still the same. Smokes. Keychain? Ooh, that's new. That wasn't there before. $1,000. You know what? We only have one key right now. We probably don't need that. That's good, though. I, carrying multiple keys was a bit of a pain. Also, is... I always thought, like, maybe under here would be decent. Like, this is one of my favorite, like, little kind of hidden spots in Grapeseed for a while. But it's not really that hidden. Not hidden enough for what we are really wanting to do. 
And over this way is the aforementioned Explosion Alley. This over here, this is Explosion Alley. There's a lot of explosions here. I see how many propane tanks there? With this big one at the end too? This would be a funny place to put a moonshine distillery. Because if it blows up, then it's going to be one hell of an explosion. Ah, I do miss this place. Again, for context, I ran this gas station for two years in the previous server. This is my... this. I spent a lot of time here. Like, a lot of time. There's also, like, this little alleyway over here you can use. Like this. This could be maybe an area for a moonshine distillery, potentially. Again, though, I feel like it's too close to things. You risk, like, PD finding it or someone else finding it. Might I put it in a house or something? I don't think you can. I don't think you can put it inside a house. I think mechanically it's not a thing that you can do. Well, so let's get changed out of our moonshine fit for now. You see what I mean? Th th this whole stretch of road has such like a... Like old western feel to it. Like the building style, like, you know, just the big stretch. Something about it to me just screams western. And this building over here, I always thought would make a great saloon. Like that building there with the clock on top. I always thought that building would make a great saloon. Maybe someday it could become one. If storefronts open up this way. I would love to maybe open up a bar up this way. Probably wouldn't get the most business. But I think it'd have a really cool aesthetic to it. Alright, let's get changed. Oh. No, Grape Seed. It, it, it genuinely is one of my favorite areas in the map. It's so hidden and out the way. Not many people really consider it either. And maybe part of the hipster inside me is saying about that too. Maybe that's the reason I like it. It's, it's so underground. Let's see, what should we go to? Let's go to... Eh, grey vest and rolled sleeve. I like this look. I think this is a good look for Max. Alright, so in the meantime, like I said, we've still got about like 30 odd minutes. Let us... Let's go have a look at the Vinewood houses. I'm kind of curious to see what the average size of a Vinewood house is. Oh, thanks. I, I do need that. <sighs> nice. What is the average size of a Vinewood house? Also, this little area to the left here, this is another, like, very much unknown area. Now, you could probably easily hide some distilleries behind there without many people noticing. I'd say the same for the barn, too, but I know the barn's used for weed stuff. So it's not really usable for that. Too high traffic. You also got to remember with the moonshine distilleries is that, is that they put out a lot of smoke, and the smoke is pretty recognizable. So you do have to kind of like tuck it off the beaten path a little bit for that very reason. Because someone could see it from like a good little bit away. I think we should be fine where we put it because there's a lot of tree cover there which kind of covered the smoke. What other areas would be good for that? I do think that area between Sandy and Vinewood would be good for that. Like those hills where the mines are. Obviously not in the mines because again that's another very popular area. There's just a lot of areas up north that men that not many people see and not many people really even consider as a spot. But hell, even the quarry. Who goes to the quarry? There's very, very specific scenarios that someone would make their way towards the quarry. That for most people, it's not even a thing they'd even consider. There's also that, like, hippie camp over there, too. But I'd say that gets maybe a little bit of foot traffic ever so often. So you've got to be careful there. Hey, even, like, the windmills. Whatever they're called. The, those things up there. Who goes up that area? Who drives through the windmill farm? It, it's just an area that not many people consider. Those are areas that are just what I like to call blank spots of the map. 
I mean, the north in general is kind of a blank spot because not many people go up that way unless they need to. Minus a few people. Like, you know, there is groups that definitely do try and bring people up north. It's very much an uphill task, though. We're good. You know, I think mechanically you can't put moonshine distilleries in a house, which is understandable. Like, with all the smoke and everything, it very much makes sense. Like, I, it, it makes sense in character why you can't do that. You basically would be, like, killing yourself with smoke in inhalation. Yeah, let's have a quick look at the Vinewood houses. I think I am right in saying that most of them aren't that much larger than, than the Southside houses. Ooh, best of luck, Jade. Thanks for stopping by as always. Let's go have a look, see. I think they may be like slightly larger, but not like to a point where it's gonna be better like it's not gonna be beneficial to a gang to move there. Then again, with how some of the gangs are in the city, I wouldn't be surprised if some of them could afford a Vinewood house once it comes available. I wouldn't be surprised if there's gangs that are already in the millions. But I mean, there definitely are with the amount of houses that have been purchased. I guess these houses are a little bit larger. Kind of depends where you look for the most part. I think the Gorals already have some houses in mind that they're kind of waiting for. For me, the biggest thing about buying a house is the view. I want a house with a really, really nice view. Mainly because I could do intros there. Okay, these houses definitely do have a bit more space, like, vertically. This one, probably less space, I'd say. Oh, this one's always been pretty nice, too. But like, say, like, this one here. This one doesn't seem that much larger than a regular house. Or this one here. Even, like, this one here isn't going to be that much larger than a south side house. And a lot of them have the disadvantage where they're not going to be going downwards because they just can't go downwards. This one is Carmela's house. You can already go in there. I know she doesn't actually own it, but she RPs that she does, and we're respecting that RP. I think I was right in saying what I said. There's no, there's not going to be any sort of mechanical benefit for people buying these houses. It's a luxury expense, not a mechanical expense. My favorite house is up this way. That was the I would love to get. Is let's have a look see. I don't think we need that large of a house for the Gorals. Then again, maybe having a own bedrooms would be nice. Let everyone have their own room that they can do whatever they want with. Maybe that would be kind of nice. Wherever we do end up going, it needs to have more than just one parking space. That's a big requirement. This is the house that I was that I like. I guess like, you know, you probably don't get the parking spaces here though. But the reason that I like this one is because of this. I love this balcony so goddamn much. Like, look at the view that you get from here. It's absolutely amazing. I could do so many intros here. Especially at night. At night, this looks absolutely incredible. And you get, like, you get to see it from the pool. You get some lounges. I love me some lounges. Really do get, like, a huge view of the city from up here. So if we were to move to a house, I'd want a view like this, ideally. Yeah, the pool RP as well. Eli jumping from the roof and then landing on the side. Eli trying to jump in the pool, but then like jumping over this. Oh my god, yeah, people are going to die so much this way. Okay, that's something we've got to consider too. The drop. Very big thing to consider. But anywhere around this area has some really nice views to it. Most of Vinewood houses do have good views. Obviously, like, the ones down the hill, maybe not as much. 
but most of them do have pretty decent views. They can kind of see better from up here what they look like. Like that house right there with like the uh, tile roof, that's probably not going to be that much larger than a south side house, space wise. Not too much larger. Now these aren't on sale just yet, we're just kind of like shopping while we wait for the moonshine. Which is in... Let's see. 26 minutes, we need to head back. But there's a lot of houses around here that have those sort of views. So we definitely have our pick. And like I said, since these houses aren't going to be like mechanically beneficial for people to buy. Like, you know, gangs aren't going to buy these houses. Because, you know, there's no real reason to to begin with. Like, they're probably going to invest their money elsewhere for the most part. Like, warehouses and stuff like that. You're more likely going to find people buying these houses so low. Which is going to take a while for them to do. So these houses, once they do become available, won't be going that quickly. So we can actually like take our time looking around, choose the one that we want and like start making money for it. Though I think that's going to be the big thing is the money. I think in terms of money, the person that probably has the most in the house is Kitty. But I think she's saving up to buy money for a house with her and Octo. So I don't expect her to put much money towards the girl's house. I think we're all going to have to heavy grind if we want a house like this. But hopefully we can at least give some more money making opportunities to people soon with the moonshine. But you want me thinking? Nothing solid. Just I want a view like that ideally. That's my main requirement. How much money does Max have? 10k. He currently has 11,000. I spend all of my money on furniture. I've spent $180,000 on furniture. It, it was quite costly. But I think it was worth it. I have no regrets. In character, Max only knows a little bit. He knows that Ray got stabbed by Dundee and that's kind of it. And that she's out of the hospital. After that, no clue. Max just texted to uh, be safe, basically. I'm sure we'll learn about it next time she's about. Next time we're chilling with her. Yeah, the house is very cute right now. I'm very happy that we went for, like, style over anything else with the house. It's not like we really need like a big butt coin farm or a weed farm anyway. Everyone's got connections to get that stuff elsewhere. Like we have a bunch of butt coin on the computer right now that no one's using. Because like they're going on jobs with other people with butt coin farms. And Timothy's getting weed from the guild to sell. So we actually do have the luxury where we can actually make our house into an actual house. Oh, let's head down to Sea Buns. We need to get some food. You know, yesterday definitely was like a big finale day for a lot of things. Finale day for the My Criminal Academia. A bit of a finale day for the stuff that Ray's been going through. But I'm sure that's probably not the end of it. It was a big day yesterday. Be interested to see where things go from there. I spent most of my day in the sewers. I thought it was kind of funny that, like, you know, Max is, like, this big, classy guy. And arguably one of the more classy events happening in the city, which was the prom. He was in the sewers during. Very much the opposite of classy. Though he did get an invitation in the end, which is very nice. Gorus, sell the butt coin to you know? Well, the thing is, we don't even have that much butt coin. We really don't have much. Because no one's invested in, in the GPUs. And you know, I'm not really investing in that just yet because I wanted to put more money towards the furniture. But I guess we could maybe start putting more money towards the GPUs if we wanted to. I'm not sure if there's much value to that for us though. If people are doing jobs elsewhere, then there's no point of us investing in that. I think Max is going to be saving his money for himself for a little bit now. 
I think he deserves that. Let's see. Anywhere open? Everyone's going to be focusing hey, on now school over? I don't know. Oh, I could be better I'd be assuming you. that most people are going to be putting their criminal the skills to practice. Two combos, please. Two yeah, combos? What do you want on the burger? Mm -hmm. uh, just cheese on the burgers. Cheese and pickles. It'll be interesting pickles. to see. Maybe a little mm -hmm. bit of lettuce. No lettuce. Come on. A let little bit no. of lettuce. Nope. Been Just here, done little... that. Nope. Nope. Oh, no okay, garden. Fine, fine, fine. My goal is to start, like, mass-producing moonshine. That's my goal. Nope. Then we can give separate tasks bag. for people to go do. Separate bag. Not touching. All right, fine. Separate bag. All right, and then what did you want to drink? Like, since we're only at the uh, week stuff right now, what I'm thinking of doing, bang, no just to see if he'd okay. be interested, is I want to send Eli out with the moonshine to go we sell do. to people. Not to NPCs, here. but to just people on the street. All right, that's gonna be I think he could definitely do it. Ready when you are. I think it'd be something to have some fun with, too. Appreciate you. Hey, how you doing? Hey, Scotty. Is that Max? Oh my god, I love I you, Max. Doing. How you doing? Oh I'm my god. Good to see you're doing well. Uh, you know, uh, like minus a 4 the, out of 10. Minus the stuff that happened last night. Yeah, having my diary read out loud while I was nearly unconscious on the ground was pretty tough, especially in front of everybody. Um, and then also getting shot in the leg earlier in the day was pretty Ew. bad. But, uh, you that know, today's a new day. Yeah, today's a new day, exactly. That's the attitude. Well, what can I get you? Could I get two combos today, please? Two combos. Okay, what do you want on the burgers? Uh, nothing on the burgers, just the cheese. I like my stuff plain. Okay. And then what was the drink? It's sprunk with ice, please. Okay, that's going to be $72. Order number 64, ready when you are. And there we go. I'll Much appreciated. Yeah, two. Hi, how's it going? There we go, 64. Hey, Sue. Uh, can someone help me? The money laundering stuff definitely would be a big thing to invest into, too. What do you need help with? Money stuff? I think it's more like an emotional thing. That Especially since, like, everyone in the house has connections to multiple different groups that do crime. The biggest stopping point for me right now is the money runs. From what Timothy's been telling us, the money runs are, like, extremely hot to do. Like, you need a gun to go do them, basically. Which is... very deterring for me. Do you guys need help here? But I would love to go do it myself. But if it's got that high risk, I'm not sure if Max is ready for that. He's only just new to the criminal world. We'd always love the warm embrace of the long arm of the law. I mean, if you, if you want to come back, we'd love to have you. Make sure you're wearing long boots. Oh, and losing the um what's it called the money from those money runs would be pretty bad too hey there, how you doing? yeah from what timothy was saying is that people get robbed a lot i mean the thing is our girls know a lot of people so maybe they'll be getting robbed less maybe not sure if we could rely on that though okay, it's an option though I definitely think we should get more laundry machines. Oh, what up, Max? You looking Morning. dapper? Thank you. How's life at the library? Oh, over. Darling. There you go. The life library's over. Say well or over? It. Over. Uh, over? Mm-hmm. <laughs> huh. The business got denied because I was the owner. Huh? Huh? Yeah. We're not riding over this shit? Eh, it is what it is. I'm kind of done with the business world. Oh. oh. What are you doing oh. now, Max? Oh, you know, just kind of seeing gonna, where things take me. Some, you want to do some felonies, Max? Is that what you're saying? You want to get a new... Uh, you know, I've been... A little, little violence here and there. A little, little, little something, you know. Maybe rummaging around the sewers lately. Mm, okay, okay, okay. Sewers, you know, Max. Hey, you know. It's an interesting place to explore. Hey. Yeah. Actually, there might be some 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 shady business opportunities. I have to. Hmm. 
Let's see what's around there, you know? You I'm definitely have... willing to have more fun these days. My fucking man. I'm Screw the it government. genuinely hurts my heart to hear that, you know, that got denied. Because I mean that that's a fucking staple. Uh, like, how it, do you Yeah, it's owned <sighs> by the state now too, Liquid Library. Huh. Yeah. It can even read. Yeah, so you know, but no matter what, no matter who owns it, it's still gonna be my building. I, I, my blood, sweat, and tears went into that place. Yeah, no, that is that is forever. You can't, you can't look at that and not, like, not see you. And Nicholas as well. He he's put a lot of time into that place. It's true. Book guy, he still does stuff there, but like I said, I I just want to try something different. Have right, some well, fun. I'll you, uh, if you decide you want to take a wild hair and want to get into it with some shit, give me a call. Ooh, I'll let you know. Hell yeah. We're going to up in jail later. I got a, I got some plans today, so. Oh, have fun. <laughs> Best of luck. <laughs> Thank you, Max. It's good to see you. Good to see you, too. Hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day. See, welcome to the fuck the government side. Hell Viva yeah. Sanguine. Viva sanguine. Viva <laughs> sanguine. <laughs> See what I mean, though? Like, everyone is in support of Max going down the criminal path. There's, like, no one in the city that is going to, like, deter Max from this. Everyone is in support. Like, everyone that we know is just saying, hell yeah, about time. I love that. Now, honestly, back in 3.0, there was a bunch of people that are waiting for Max to go down a criminal route. Exactly. It's hell yeah, and finally... It's a long time coming. Like I said, in 3.0, Max, for, to a lot of people, Max was the civilian guy. Like, he was the guy that, you know, was most dedicated to the civilian life. 65? Yeah. Here you go, brother. Wait, is, is 64 being called? Appreciate it, thank you. Um, let me check. Um, someone's got it. Give me a second. Someone yoink my food. Take the unspooled innocence that is Max. Well, like I said, Max was moonshining in 3.0. He was moonshining. And also, he did used to have access to a room that was literally wall-to-wall -wall full of guns. I have a feeling someone yoinked my order. XBF finally spreading his wings. Exactly. Max has basically just been screwed by the government at every turn. Back in the when, when he was mayor. Now with all the business stuff. Max is very much screw the government. I don't see one of Max's biggest regrets in 3.0 is not taking Jaeger up on his offer that he gave him. Jaeger gave Max an offer to join him on the wild side and he denied him. Now, Max was, was supposed to be the governmental leader of Sanguine. He is basically meant to be the governor over there, the mayor of Sanguine per se. But he denied Jaeger so he could keep running his businesses. Max cared too much about his businesses to just leave them behind. But that's his biggest regret. Is not taking him up on that offer. Because Max genuinely believes that Sanguine would have ended differently if he was in charge. Or at least, like, politically in charge. Because the thing is with Jaeger, is Jaeger is very much a hothead. So doing any sort of negotiations with him is difficult. Max kind of mellows him out a little bit. He offers a level head to his hothead. So they would have worked pretty well together and maybe could have got a better deal where they wouldn't have got invaded. But, you know, that's in the past now. He should have listened to Jaeger at the time. Max was also the first person bitten by Jaeger too. For those who don't know, Jaeger is canonically a vampire. He even had mechanics to do vampire things. They had a whole mechanic where he could bite people and infect them with vampirism. Or whatever it's called in Skyrim. It, it was that. And Max was the first one that got bit. 
the fanfics write themselves for the Max and Jaeger ship. I don't know who's got your order. <laughs> uh. I've been trying to, I've been trying to fucking ask around. Are you sure nobody gave it to you? Uh, no, no one gave it to me. Is there's a good chance someone probably just maybe clocked in and yonked it? <laughs> I've seen that happen before. You think? Yeah, I'll just reorder. Yeah, but I don't want to make you pay for another one, you know what yeah, I mean? It's only like 60 then bucks, I, I can handle that. Max was mayor, yeah. Max was the last mayor of 3.0. The 10th mayor of 3.0 and the last. And also the first criminally charged mayor of 3.02. Oh, uh, give me a sec, Cookie, I'll cook. Uh... Okay, what what was it that you had? Uh, it was two combos. Okay. Hey, did anybody yoink a fucking combo? I just got here. There's okay. no orders. Uh -oh. Two combos? Uh, and wh what were they? Uh, nothing on the burgers except for cheese and sprung with ice for the drink. I'm going to stand on okay, business. I'll just... Wait. So if it's two... So it was two meals, right? Yep, yeah, two combos. Order. Okay, okay. Um... Listen, I'll just I buy it for like you. Your so, you sure? No, I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, no, I got you. I got you. Uh, I don't know what's going on, honestly. Like, but yeah, I just hate seeing this happen to people. You know, yeah, it, it happens. It, it used to happen a lot back in the day. I, I yeah, I, I got you. So nothing but cheese. Mm -hmm. I wish there was a way like the company could yeah. provide it for you, but yeah, I'll, no, I'll there, there is no real company to do it for, unfortunately. State-owned yeah. business, so after all. With fries, right? With fries. Yep, with fries. Okay, and then two You're sprunks with ice. Yep, two sprunks with ice. I'm an oppa stompa. Remember the name, Freddy Lizard. And there we go. Oh, oh yeah, you paid for it. You're gonna see a lot. Yeah, I told you I'll I need to go get this. Uh, well, I appreciate it. Alright, guys, it. let's let's get these burgers much? ASAP. I'm this so getting banger. We'll just wait over here. Hopefully no one yoinks at this time. Max is getting a bit hungry. There's not like there's many stalls open at the moment. I might go check see if there's any available. I really want to run... The if I was to do any of these, it would be the coffee one. I love the coffee one. Like the style of it. I'd love to run that stop. I think that suits Max's vibe personally. Like perfectly. Drinks are Max's specialty at the end of the day. His specialty is mixology. I might see if that one's available, though. I wonder when Lottie's doing hers. It, it, Lottie was going to try and open up this one, right? The, the ice cream shop. Uh, sorry, sorry, what can I get you today? wonder how her progress is doing with that. That's the check she was getting all the items and everything for it. This for the pizza and slow roast. Oh, I'm jealous. Having a good slow roast in ages. Trying to get better with my cooking, though. Trying to vary it up a bit more. Hey, RJ67. I believe that's me. Is for the gentleman. Right, here you go, sir. All right. Thank you very much. Yep, you're welcome. Have a lovely rest of your day. You too, Maximilian. Is it bad I don't know who that was? <laughs> She said my full name. Am I in trouble? I think I might know that. I'm pretty sure they're a police officer. See, Max run a coffee house or a brewery? See, I think that's what suits his vibe best, but I don't want him to run it. Like I said, I'm kind of over Max running businesses. I want him to work at one. Or if he does, like, run a business, it's just going to be him. As bad as that sounds, like, I, I, handling employees is my least favorite part of business RP. So if I was to run another business, it would just be Max. Ooh. Wait, the smoothie one's available. Isn't that the one the lot you wanted? Oh, shit. Oh, that is the one over here, right? 
Is that the smoothie one? I think that's the smoothie one. Hold on. Come on, Marty. I don't know if you have to be clean to run one of these. Hold on, hold on. I might email her. Oh, let me have a look. Let's see, I'm fairly certain that's the one that she wanted, right? The smoothie one? Because it's like a smoothie slash uh, ice cream. I don't think any of these are that. I don't want to nab it unless I know that it's the one that she wants. To like basically just hold it for her. I see. So what are the ones? It's noodle. Wait, the pizza one's available? Oh no. The one stable job that April had, she's now lost. <laughs> She's lost it now. And the noodle shop. Noodle one's interesting because it still has the sign up. Booth number 10. Which one's booth number 10? Hey, Mem7 Rina. Thanks for the three gifted. Much appreciated. Hope you enjoy those beautiful Goblin and Maximotes, man. Appreciate the support. See, I'm pretty sure that is... So if we go like... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So number 3 is noodles. Well, let me have a look-see. Morning. Morning. Do you have a uh, a boot here? I was thinking of getting one. Um, because I was like, uh, I just got one, but it needs the approval, and I was wondering how long it takes. But I guess you don't know that. You got to talk to the judge for that. Oh really? Yeah, th they approve all, all right. the items and everything. Yeah, it's uh, bending right now. Oh, got you. Okay. You mean yeah, I just put it in uh, just now. Okay. Yeah, the judges um, would be able to get your items all sorted too, because you need to get it approved through them. Yeah. I mean, it's hey, not it's my there, my uh, booth, no see. Um, but it's for Spider Man. I don't know if you've met him. Oh yeah, I know Spider Man. Um, yeah, he he was looking into a booth, and now that I saw that one was available, I rented it so that he would be able to get it. Oh, which one's he going for? Um, the one that I managed to rent is the sandwich one. Oh, very nice. Hey, Slayer Cast, thanks for 10 gifted. Much appreciated. Hope you enjoy those beautiful Goblin and Maximote Slayer. Appreciate the support. Hope you've been good. Like I said, it's been too long. Restaurant name. Ah, uh, I don't want to like rent it unless. Hey, Anzix, thank you for the five gifted. Much appreciated. Thank you for spreading the joy of the beautiful Gorpa Spin. <laughs> Thanks, Zix. I really do appreciate it. I said all of your guys' support goes to a good cause. Me getting a chair that won't destroy my back. I'm trying to prepare myself for old age. Well, my 30s primarily. Oh, let me see Queenie. Is Queenie around? I'm not involved Hello. in the shop. Hey, Queenie. Uh, quick question. Max! Hi. How you doing? Uh, Good. Lottie wanted the smoothie shop, right? For Lottie's mm -hmm. to Lottie's. It's available right yeah. now. It's available right now? Yeah. You can rent it right now. Uh, are you able to email her? I emailed her. She hasn't got back to me yet. There's what? three currently available. It's the noodle shop, the pizza shop, and the smoothie shop. 
The pizza shop is available too? Yep, the pizza shop's available as well. Kitty, the pizza shop, the smoothie shop, and the noodle shop are available to rent right now. And Jade, thank you for the gifted sub too. No, I think we just go into, we go to Enjoy inside the, the back of the administration and office, right, Max? Yep, just there. You head up to the thing. You got to type in the name and how long you want it for. Which is why I haven't run it yet for Lottie just yet, because I don't know, like, if I claim it, if that kind of ruins it for her. Yeah, uh, let me see if I can get a hold of her. Yeah, give it a whirl. Oh, or if, if you know someone yeah. else involved in the business, maybe? Because that, that's why I called you, because I thought well, you were involved a, in Well, there's a group of us, but the thing is, I, sometimes I can't wake up, uh, so I don't want to be gets... held liable if I'm not able to be in the city. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, anyone else you think might be able to get it? I, I want to see if we can get it before it goes. Because who knows how long it might be gone for again. Yeah, it's time sensitive. What if we just get it for a little bit and then wait for her to actually grab it herself? I don't know how long. I guess I could get it for like a day. But what would I put it, the name under? Would it be Lottie's Gelotti's or... I mean, does she even have anything uh, prepared for it I, yet? I, I think so. I emailed her. I I mean, you emailed her as well. It's just if... I don't, I don't want to take it just in case likewise yeah because i hate when people do that too so i don't yeah. want to do it yeah yeah well you did what you had to do yeah we, we know it's you even called right now. people yeah, yeah yeah so i guess we'll have to wait and see you You're know very you... sweet for doing that oh, that's no worries i was just curious to see which one's available because a lot of them are closed right now well, they've been closed for a while yeah so i guess you really have to be dedicated to do this yeah and no one really gets paid like the employees don't get paid it's just by by sale yeah that's definitely not too handy no they need to have some kind of ticketing system for booth as well hopefully at some point yeah hopefully or at least by sale <laughs> hey Kirtana, I think it is by sale. thank you for the five gifted not? much appreciated no the tickets it's... oh yeah yeah, yeah yeah okay okay well i guess we have to wait um, i'll let you know if she responds back to my email Alrighty, uh, I'll okay. see, yeah. Okay, Alright, catch you in a bit. Oui. Alright, we've done our, our due diligence, and the moonshine is now available. Let's go. C minus one. Let's go. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, even if she doesn't get it now, it'll be available sometime in the future anyway. I th I have a feeling that the excitement for those shops are already dwindling. Because, you know, before there was people holding down those shop locations for like, you know, with knives and stuff to make sure no one get them. I don't, I think now that people know that you don't really make money from them, they're not as interested. Which is understandable. You kind of have a bit of a beta test there, there right now. Though, like I said, I would love to maybe open up the coffee shop there. What would I call the business? Max Bucks. I was thinking of something Angel, because everything that we do business-wise solo has always had Angel in the name. Angel Shot. Angel Delight. Oh, I kind of like Angel Delight. But isn't that like a, a dessert name? That might get confusing. Cafe Angel. Angel Brews? Jesus. Heavenly Bean. Angel Fane. Ooh! Recover! We got it. I think we can come up with something good. But like I said, I... I, if I'm going to go into business, I probably will just do it solo. Because generally, that was some of my favorite time doing bartending and stuff. It's kind of when I was doing it solo, as bad as that sounds. I, I, I like doing that stuff. I like being the worker. Maybe Max just doesn't work well in a team. The thing is, I also know that um, Natalia is trying to open up her coffee shop too. 
So I think I'd rather her get that because I think that that's something she would focus a lot on. For me, it'd be more of a side thing. I really wish there was maybe a bar section there, though. If there's like a bar booth I could get, that'd be even better. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like there is one. Also, we are zooming. See, this is what I mean by getting to the moonshine isn't going to be too difficult because we can really zoom over there. Also, wait, do I have enough water? Oh, I've only got four multi water, damn it. Uh, okay, we might have to head back down. I don't think I can start with only four. Because I need to get another moonshine going too. I completely forgot to get the supplies. I was supposed to do that after we went to Senior Buns. We got distracted there for a minute. That's fine. I don't think it burns or anything. Or like explodes or anything like that if we leave it too long. I'm going to take the side highway too because that's going to be a bit faster. Yeah, we'll come up with something good for him. If we were to go down that route. But for me personally, I think Max is better at bar stuff. Mixology is his specialty. Yeah, we need to get into the cowboy fit too, that is true. Thanks to this, Jacob. So I hate the, the sound that the car makes when going this speed. It really throws me off because it sounds like my audio is cutting off, but it is just the engine. Really throws me off. I'm hoping that we get a good percentage from this. But I've got to jot down the percentage and then just keep going from there. It's going to be a lengthy process, but I think it's going to be good. Now, if we can get ourselves a god recipe, that would be really solid. I think 160 is the highest anyone's gotten so far. Like, 130, 160. So, if we can get better than that, that would be great. Then we'd really be the moonshine, huh? But it's going to take us a while to get there. I don't expect a good result from this one. Let's get to the house. Hopefully our water is still good. Shouldn't be too moldy. Yeah, I know I should have taken more to begin with. I gotta like load myself up for the day with moonshine supplies so I can easily just get back up there. Or maybe we just keep the moonshine supplies in our car for now. Because I mean, we're always with our car. Especially if we're heading to the moonshine distillery. We're going to be in our car. We had stopping Moonshine the first time for the casino. We didn't stop it for the casino. We stopped it for the Liquid Library. That's when Max still thought he was going to be able to own the Liquid Library. And that would just be a bad look. Like, even if he was doing crime, it would be a bad look. Now he doesn't care. Technically, I could have done crime and run the casino too. The only concern would have been time though. The casino would have required a lot of time investment, and Max just doesn't have that time investment anymore. <laughs> Alright, we need the water. Oh, we've got 13 left. Oof, that's rough. Definitely need to head back to the sewers soon. Good for the acclimation, too. Uh, still got my grab. No, no, we should be fine for the next shine. Right, let's go. I don't really lend my car to anyone. The only person recently that I've lent it to is Timothy. And that wasn't even for that long. I'm going to change when we get to Grapeseed. 
Because if I get pulled over, it's going to look really suspicious. Actually, maybe I should have got changed. Eh, oh well. Let's go. Let me just see what we have. I really do hope we get a good, like, percentage from this. Like, a good baseline. Because this is our baseline brew. Everything that we do from here is going to be based on this cook. And I said for the weaker stuff, since it's going to sell for pretty much lesser anyway, I might give it to Eli and see if he wants to sell it to people. Actually, I, don't, I, don't, I haven't really seen Eli much lately. I mean, I know he's been in town, but Max hasn't really hung out with him for a good while. I wonder what he's been up to outside the, the criminal school stuff. Probably getting himself into trouble if I was to hazard a guess. Oh, I'm going to eat my burger. It's Highway Blasters. We should be okay time-wise. I've got a feeling that it's not actually 40 minutes. I think it's an hour now from what I've been told. I guess we'll see once we get up there. And hopefully no one's waiting for us up there either. Hopefully. I don't know if police get pings to stuff like this or not. I guess we'll have to kind of wait and see. I know they get pings to the deliveries. Bit unsure on the rest of it though. So after this, we probably need to head back down to the sewers and start getting some more supplies. Because these supplies are running out pretty quickly. Though, honestly, we get supplies pretty quickly down the sewers. It doesn't take us too long. And it's a good habit to get into to, con to continue the acclimation. I haven't seen anything too freaky in the sewers. It's all been pretty mo normal for the most part. Oh, you know, Eli did a great job dressing up as everyone. Very good bit. Very, very good bit. Didn't he dress up as Mickey as well for the prom? At least for a little bit. He did a great job with all of them. One thing I did weirdly notice at the prom, though, is that I, I'd say at least, like, half the men were wearing the exact same blue suit for some reason. I don't know if that's, like, some sort of uniform or if it's just a weird coincidence. I feel like so many people wearing the blue suit vest, uh, suit jacket with, like, the... I think it's, like, a tan pocket thing. During the scavenger hunt. Oh, that was it. I don't know if that's a uniform or just a coincidence. To be fair, the options for men are very limited. So it's no surprise if they end up looking the same sometimes. Yeah, a lot of the suits clip too. It, it, it is very unfortunate. One thing that I hope they add in the premium store at some point is like some premium suits. I really do hope so. Unfortunately, a lot of the premium stuff just doesn't suit Max for the most part. Outfits. Moon. Out of there. Let's go. We ride. Are you really gonna scroll past without saying howdy? Right, 
let's go totally inconspicuous car 100 percent inconspicuous no one would ever know that it's us so it wasn't this drain pipe it was the next one it was this one over here right Then up the hill this way. And there we go. Wait, that smoke is like barely noticeable. There we go. All right. Let's see. What do we get? What percentage is it? 80 proof. Okay. Okay. Let me jot that down. We got eight. What quality is it? It is below average. Ooh. Below average. That's a new one. 80%. Okay. Okay, easy, easy. Open pot. Start the next batch. So we do three. 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 Nope, not 17. Six. This time the recipe is going to be... It's going to be... ED. It's going to be VC. So it's going to be VC, VD, 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 VD. And start cooking. It's going to cook a bunch of moonshine, all right? Let's go. More camouflage than the bright yellow? Yep, that is true. Those are just the elements. I don't know what they mean. Not sure if they really mean anything, to be honest. But those are the changing factors of moonshine. But all right, so that is our first batch. Then below average, I don't think it's too bad though. I don't think that's a bad start. I'm interested to see how much that sells for. We'll get that back down to the house for now. Let's go get changed. Actually, we'll keep this out for on until we get back down to the house. Screw it. No risk really driving this. I mean, we're in our own car. People know that it's us. If you get pulled over, we'll just take off the mask. Hey, Jet. Could you get away from the cops in the Glendale? Maybe? I'm not 100% sure. It's speedy, but, you know, it takes a while to get speedy. So I wouldn't be 100% sure if it would be perfect. So wait, don't I need... Oh, actually, I know what I need to do with this. So what I need to do with the moonshine is take it to the moonshine guy. And get it ready for deliveries. Let me, uh... Mark it on the map. We need to head over here. Let's go. Then we'll head back down to the house and store it. Because we're going to in its delivery form, then someone can just pick it up and go. I think that way I get the reputation from it too, which is an added bonus. Yeah, so getting everything found out for the 
like recipe is going to be a time consuming thing because each one of those slots has 10 elements in it i'm basically trying to find out what is the strongest element in each one to say if like the next one is going to be you know maybe 90 percent, we know that's stronger than the previous one then we just keep going from there it's going to be a lot of sciencing a lot of sciencing but you know i'm prepared for it and if i can get another still at some point as well that's going to up the production time too hopefully that's a thing I gotta make sure I regularly check the stills as well to make sure they don't explode on us. And once it starts cracking, that's how you know that it needs to change. I'm what? Where? Sorry, I'm I'm default driving. Hold on. I marked that on the GPS for a reason. I don't know what upping our reputation with this dude's gonna do, but it's handy to do anyway. It's the same with the fence. Upping your reputation with the fence is, doesn't do anything right now, but it might do something in the future. So it's good to do. Hence why I want to try and run a lot of the air conditioning stuff down to the sewers if the girls go do it. Because one, they don't want to do that, and we can just help them make the money from their jobs. And two, it helps us out too. I wouldn't even take too much of a cut from him. The only cut that they need to be concerned about is whoever's going to be doing the money run. Because I think Timothy takes his own cut. Me? I don't really care about taking a cut. I, I don't think Max is in any position to start being a teacher. Especially not for crime stuff. He's still too new. I'm interested to see what Timothy and Ray do though. Because I think part of the deal that they had with Mickey is that they have to be a teacher next time. That's part of the deal. Whether they follow up on that deal is another thing. I'm actually kind of curious. How much money did Mickey make from that event? Because I feel like he gave at least half the students a deal where they didn't have to pay the full amount. I know Ray and Timothy only paid 30k. Eli definitely didn't pay any money, so he must have had some sort of deal. Not to mention the fact, doesn't he have to pay the teachers too? So that probably takes a bit of the cut. I'm assuming he's paying the teachers, because I don't see April doing that for free. Yet the supplies as well, organizing... Well, I actually know that he didn't pay Daphne any money for organizing the prom. Daphne didn't get paid anything for organizing the prom. <laughs> Eli is on student loans. But does Mickey expect him to actually pay that? Why did Eli get himself another debt? He just got out of debt. He literally just got out of debt. Why is he putting himself in more? Also, look how flat my ass is. Oh my god. My, I have no ass in these pants. Oh, wait, I need to bring them in the crates. Ooh. I can't recreate them either, can I, once I take them out? Damn it. Okay, that's fine. I guess we won't be making too much money until then, because I need to know the percentage. Are they assless chaps? They're definitely assless, 100%. Don't know about chaps. We've got inverted get. He had to sign a contract so they can take Eli's court. Oh my god. Well, the thing is, they can't put people into debt anymore. The DOJ is very strict about not putting people into debt. Hence why the most loan companies have been denied. So honestly, Eli will probably win that court case. If it was to come down to him, he would probably win. I think that's why they've been denying most loan businesses, because they don't want to do that anymore.
to be fair loans definitely did get out of hand in 3.0 but i think that's primarily just because they were state loans found some dad codes to dodge on paper station like january did eli's not he's too much for bad bad badge money to do that i guess i should see if he wants to go on some packer runs at some point i guess I mean, we could give him other jobs to do. Like I said, I wouldn't mind giving him the moonshine to go sell. Like, you know, give him this and then tell him to go sell it on the streets. Like, RP sell it rather than mechanically sell it. They find wind song with adoption fraud. Well, that's that's fraud. That's different. They don't want to send people into debt through loans is the thing. Being charged is different. But I have heard rumblings about them maybe changing that too. Well, still sending people into debt, but changing how it all works. Yeah, I guess we'll have to talk to Eli then. I, I think a lot of people from school are probably taking the weekend off just because like, it was a lot. They essentially had like a non-stop week, so I don't blame them if they're taking the weekend to chill. Every day was basically go, 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 go. I have to see what people get into next week, though. See if they start putting those skills to practice. I'm most interested in Lottie and January because they're both still G6 workers. So I don't know how often they're going to be putting what they learn into practice. Same with um, Ember too. Though I guess some of the skills could be translated not just to crime too. Minus maybe a few of them. Right, let's get back in the house. We've got to be careful around here now because this street is getting really, really hot. And by that, I mean people are just openly selling weed on the streets here. They're not being secretive whatsoever. Right, let's go store this downstairs. How much weight does this take? Eight kilos. Jesus. Okay. I actually kind of hope they'd be a bit lighter than that. Okay, we've got to choose where we put this. Ah, damn it. I was going to use the mailboxes, but they only hold, like, nine. I guess we could just put this in the regular storage for now. We've got plenty of space in there. Yeah, we still got plenty of store. Oh, God. There's Timothy's weed. Okay. So, Timothy's been awake. I know that now. Pineapple Express. Okay, let me store my moonshine. There we go. Okay, may need to head back down to the sewers for a minute. Let me top these up. Boom. Yeah, definitely need to get some more washing machines t soon. Timothy's making so much dirty money now. And at some point, we're going to start making our own dirty money. That we're going to have to get clean in. I generally think we should maybe up the production by double if we can. Like four extra laundry machines. That's only like what? 12k? Timothy can afford that. But that's basically all the rolled cash right there. That would make four more washing machines. Make so every four hours we clean like $4,000. Which would be really good. At the moment, every four hours, we're cleaning 2,000. Still doing the MIG machines? It's not really worth it at the price that it is right now. Currently, the wa big washing machines are about 20k. But they're only slightly better than the regular washing machines. Like, very, very slightly better. Alright, let's get changed. We've got about 30 minutes until the moonshine's done. So let's go down to the sewers. Oh god. Sewer boy. Nice.
Right, should we keep the old supplies here? I think we should probably keep the old supplies here so they don't get too mixed up. Boom, boom, boom. Actually, we want to keep the old water in the car. Because we're going to need that sooner than everything else. Do, do, do. Let's keep this in the glove box. Boom. All right. Let's go. We'll use the route that I've started to take today. The sewer route. Or the canal route, I should say. Boop. Let's go. Yeah, I think there's a few people with, like, big washing machine operations. I imagine Dundee is primarily for his gang, though. Like, for us, I'm mainly doing this for the house. We're not accepting anyone else's cash right now. Like, we're barely able to keep up with the ones that we have. Be stealthy, be stealthy. No one notices us. We're being stealthy. No PD. No one around there. Nope. All good. Nice. People actually locked it this time. Oh, hold on. Nope. There we go. All right, let's go. There we go. Oh. What was the name of the crim the mask comes from? Commander Chaos. He's someone that Max used to do news reports about back in like the uh, when I first made Max. Like years ago at this point. I think it's been like five years. I think I made Max in October of 2019. Let's get to searching. We won't stray too far away from the path. We've still, still got about 25 minutes. So maybe in like 20 minutes we start heading above. Got to be efficient here. Chaos boy? Nah, the boy thing isn't max labeling. That's me labeling. That's a me label, not a max label. Max wouldn't refer to himself as boy. There we go. Rummage about, rummage about. So I'm just updating my spreadsheet real quick. All right. Let's go to our sewer music as well. Good old Banjo Kazooie. You don't know how many people do moonshine these days. I have a feeling that a lot of people are going to be shifting away from moonshine to weed now because weed is getting like a big resurgence. Like, loads of people are doing weed now. As evident with all the dead locals on the street. It seems like wherever there's big piles of dead locals, that's where people are selling weed. I think there's a little bit around Little Soul, too. I don't know why dead locals specifically. So we're not finding anything just yet. Still nothing, okay. How's my acclimation doing? Oh, I did go down a little bit. Not too much, though. Just need two more points and we should be able to buy a distillery again. I'd be kind of curious to see if we can buy another distillery. Or if there's like a cooldown to it. Because like I said, if we're able to get more. Like, you know, maybe get two to three. That would be a lot faster with the sciencing. Because once we find our good recipe, then we can start mass producing. And then that's going to be easier for us to send people to go sell. I didn't realize that you could only sell them in the box form. Which you, you only get right after cooking. You can't rebox them by the looks of it. Which is a shame. I just need to know what the percentage is. That's why I'm doing the sciencing.
go. Still nothing. Okay, we've only found a bit of moldy bread and fruit so far. I need the water. The water's the key part. Because you go through more water than you go through with everything else. Kind of like real life. There we go. Old corn. Yeah, I haven't really decided if I'm going to have a crime name on Max just yet. If it was, it'd probably be something similar to Commander Chaos. Have to see how things go. At the moment, it's just the mask. Max does need his own identity after all. I just feel like every criminal has their go-to mask that they go for. Like, you know, April's is the snowman mask. I think Ray's is the bunny mask. Ours could be this mask. I will see what the name comes from. I've always liked the name Governor for Max. The Governor. But I don't think we're to super le Like, we're not to villain level with Max just yet. I feel like we're kind of getting ahead of ourselves a little bit. We haven't even done anything that illegal just yet. Nothing too, too illegal at the very least. Broken Angel may be a little bit too obvious. It's either me or Brittany Angel. I'm pretty sure she's a judge. I don't know why the Bando Kazooie soundtrack just suits being in the sewers. I feel like it really suits being in the sewers. There we go. I think it's, it's just that one song that really suits it. Because according to Gigi Gambino, it seems like less and less people are coming into the sewers now. Because of all the risk involved. So it'll be interesting how things progress with time. But I'm definitely not seeing as many people down here as I thought I was going to. But at one point, I think you couldn't go through a door without seeing someone. Now I only really stumble upon them ever so often. I still need to show Gigi the map, too. Maybe we'll try and show her that today. I just want to... Honestly, I know the map's good. I just kind of want to show off. I put a lot of work into that. I want to show off a little bit. I'm happy with how it came out. I'm inhaling the fumes. Well, that's why I got the mask. So I don't have to inhale the fumes. Do, 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 do. do you have about 20 minutes until the moonshine's done? Honestly, the moonshine gets done really quickly. I have to make sure I at least go up there with three corn, three fruit, and three bread, though. Hopefully, I'm able to find that whilst down here. Honestly, the map is super useful. The thing is, we've got to be careful who we share it with right now, because ideally, we want it to not fall in co into cops' hands. The biggest benefit the sewers, ha the sewer people have of the police right now is that they know the sewers, whereas PD doesn't. PD can easily get lost, whereas someone that's more experienced with the sewers won't get lost. I think that's kind of the difference there. But if they get a map, it's going to be a lot easier. Especially our map, because our e map is like really easy to follow. For those that missed it, this is what it looks like. This is the map that I've made. Inspired by the London Underground. I think it came out pretty good. I feel like it's really simple to follow too. Like Glorion has a map too, but I feel like it's really difficult to follow. Especially to someone that's new. Whereas this one is definitely a lot more easier to read. For the most part. Oh. You can also overlay it on your GPS and you'll be able to find out where you are. If you position it correctly. Like with this map, I'm able to actually see there's certain sewer tunnels that run under City Hall. Which, you know, may come in useful at some point. There's one that leads underneath the hospital, too. I can see how the sewers correlate to everything above ground. That's one of the big things. 
do 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 Be interesting if, if the Moonshine stuff does lead to anything, though. I know people have been talking about there being an advanced distillery, but I think that's just bait from the police. I don't even know what an advanced distillery would enable you to do. Unless it's like, you know, more mass production. I personally do hope that it leads to somewhere, and it's not just like a beginning crime and that's kind of it. Like, you know, maybe it'd lead into meth or something like that. Though I feel like that's a bit of, like, a long stretch. I'm dedicated to the shine, though. I'm hoping that it's decent enough to, to do for a long time. Especially if we can start mass producing it. Mass production would be sick. It will be a grind, though, and that's fine. We got the time for the grind. Do, 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 do. Let's see. How are we doing acclimation wise? See, we're already back up to 71. 72 is where I theorize that we start getting the distillery. So I'll have to check that before we head down back upwards. Just because I'm curious. Okay, so we should have three of each now. That's good. The water in the car should survive, too. Okay, no, we just need one more corn, one more bread. That's fine. Well, it's coming to us. We can just grab the supplies from the house. I mean, we're heading that way anyway. Actually, we'll probably just grab it from the house. Wait, no, there's the corn. I don't see any of us... Get, well, I don't see us getting into weed production at any point. I know that's, like, again, the big thing right now. But from my understanding, you need a lot of space to do that. I don't, don't think there's any way that we could reform the Goral's house to start selling weed. To, like, grow weed. I think it's just better if people in the house go sell other people's product. Like Timothy selling the weed for the guild. I'm sure April and Ray could probably get some groups to buy weed from, too. <laughs> Scavenge? Moonshine production, though, I, th that's pretty easy to do, for the most part. I really hope that the stronger moonshine does make you more drunk, too. The weaker one doesn't seem to do much to you. All it does is change your walk cycle. I want the top moonshine to be like how Top Shelf was back in the day. Makes you, like, fully blind, fully wobbly, green screen and everything. Really messes you up. Because that's what you want from alcohol. You want alcohol that'll mess you up. Oh, so maybe we should get a fridge in the house. I could always store the moonshine in a fridge. I guess we have to see how much space we're going to be taking. Because between... I think it's just me and Timothy using the storage at the most part. April used it a little bit for her moonshine stuff, but I'm sure she can move that elsewhere. Well, that's what Top Shelf was. It was absinthe. That's the other word for it, absinthe. Basically, what we did is we took the moonshine and, like, combined it with something to make the absinthe. It's pretty solid, to be honest. It's definitely one of the more unique drinks in the city. We had that in mead, too. Mead was also really good. Though I never got taught how to make the mead. That was purely a HOA thing. We had to rely on them to make it. Okay, we got, what's that? 13 minutes till the moonshine's done. Boom. Do wonder what's going on this weekend. Might just be a bit of a chill weekend this weekend. Actually, no, I, I doubt much is going to be happening. I definitely want to see if we can maybe get ourselves a civilian job on Max at some point. Like, you know, a social civilian job. I really do kind of miss the interactions we got from taxi work. Then maybe working at one of those booths or something would be good. You know, whether we work at the booth, whether we try and open up our own booth. Something like that. We could make pumpkin mead, but we made like peach mead, potato mead, apple mead, 
strawberry mead, a, a whole bunch of mead, watermelon mead. We had a variety of flavors. <laughs> Maybe someday we'll be able to make it again. Honestly, I'd be happy if the moonshine stuff just leads to better alcohol rather than like to other drugs. To me, it doesn't really make sense if moonshine leads to meth. There's no real connection there. But a, a more variety of alcohol would be interesting. And that's how like bars get their alcohol. You know, since they want everything to be open to everyone, that could be the lead in for it. How's sewer map going? It's complete. This is the map. Actually, I can show you guys how this map operates. Basically, what I'd do is I'd go on the GPS, move like to the center here, then I'd overlay this and I'd be able to tell where I am. As long as I overlay where my cursor is to the center, I'd be able to tell where I am. Like this is GPS accurate, this, this map. So it's handy for those sort of things. So let's see how we're doing. Okay, we're back to 72, that's good. Let's go check in with the dude. I may do a bit of sewer running off stream just so we can start building up our tolerance even more. At the moment, we're kind of bouncing up and down. Ideally, want to try and get fully acclimated. Don't know what benefits that would give me, but I think it'd be handy to do. I've seen some of the money laundering setups. People have like walls of laundry machines. I don't think many people have the advanced laundry machines, but I just don't think they're that good. Those laundry machines need a buff for it to be considered good. Especially for the price that people are selling it at. Alright, let's see. Alright, let's see. How's our acclimation doing? Had 79 advanced laundry machines? I, what? I don't even think you could fit 79 laundry, advanced laundry machines in a house. Hello. Evening. It's in a warehouse? No, I'm good, thank you. Uh, everything is pretty Are you soon. sure it's the advanced ones? Uh, I guess you think stay away from drugs. The advanced ones are like huge. They're like as tall as this bus is how mm -hmm. big the really advanced ones are. Of... If someone has 79 of those, uh, that's kind of ridiculous because it's difficult to even get one for most people. Like, most people can't even get one of them. Because I think the way the blueprints work is that you can only make certain amount with the... What's it called? The... Those ones. Like, each blueprint you can only make a certain amount of laundry machines with. I mean, I guess if they're able to do that, more power to them. I just can't imagine someone fitting 70 of those, even in the largest warehouse, because they'd, they'd have to, like, stack it upon each other, and at that point, it's really difficult to even get to them. Doom. I can show you what they look like when we get back to the house, because we have one place in the house, just not built just yet. So it's in the VR view. Like I said, they are huge, though. It's the one that you can have, like, the spinning money in the center of. That's what the advanced ones are. But the animation is money, you know, spinning in the center. I'm wondering if... 
I, I wonder if police were to raid that, could they seize those laundry machines? Like the advanced ones? If you're talking about Dundee, I did see a bit of his setup and all that I saw was the regular laundry machines. I only saw like a brief screenshot though. Okay. I just feel like that the, the amount of materials they would need for that and the amount of robberies and launchmats they would have had done to get that many blueprints would be ridiculous. And it's a, from my understanding, it's like an extremely rare drop from there too. Also, let's see. So, oh, let's start heading above ground. We've got six minutes till it's done. We should go into a heist at any point. Maybe in the future. I like the idea of Max being the guy in the chair though. Like helping set up the high small so then joining in on them. That's what I think would be better for Max. How many supplies did we get in the end? Actually, we just get enough for another cook. Well, except for the bread, so we need to get some more bread. Honestly, getting somewhere up north like a trailer would be handy just for supplying the moonshine stuff. So don't, if I do forget something, I don't have to go all the way back down to the city. Hey. All right, Dutch London should be over this way. Yeah, I was going to say, if there's any group I could see having that sort of setup, though, it would be Fanny's group. Because I think they, they, like, run the money laundering stuff. I think that's, like, the whole thing is that they do the money laundering. For other gangs. Honestly, I've been kind of tempted to give them some of our money just because, like... Doing the whole money laundering process, like, especially the running part, that's the part I can't do. The cleaning and stuff I can do, but the actual running, I can't do that. Too high risk for Max right now. Trying to remain relatively low-key. Also, it's nice that we don't have to worry about bandaging up anymore down here. It's very handy. Do. Let's make our way out. Do, 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 do. Just make sure that dude isn't following us. <sighs> and boom. Leave that for them to go do. And we run. Okay, but yeah, we're not being followed. I think that was just maybe a coincidence them following behind us. Let's make sure. Yep, we're all good. You know, their whole process of cleaning money is pretty good. Like, their whole business is smart. It's the sort of thing that I would have tried to get into on Max initially. Like, if Max had a larger crew to work with, he probably would try and do something like that. The thing is, I can do the tedious part of it. It's just the money running part is just too high risky. And Timothy's pretty set on doing it himself too. Otherwise, I would try and maybe get Fanny to do it for us. I mean, it's the sort of thing that people would want other people to do, is the tedious stuff. The stuff that isn't really fun to do. A lot of people want to do the more exciting things of crime. Like, you know, the selling, the... They, they like the high ex exhilarating stuff, like the chases. 
but don't have the patience to continuously refill the laundry machines. Uh, let's see. So we need just one bit of bread. Store all of this for now. Three. Three. Boom. I can do that though. I've been doing that for Timothy. I'm going to keep the good water in here for now. We'll take the bad water with us up north. Speaking of, let's go get changed. But I mean, you don't sit in the room all day, but you just got to make sure you go back and check ever so often. Or at least have a group of people that'll go check for you. There we go. Let's go. I know still have the crowbar. Let's go, go, go. How long does a patch take? It takes roughly about, from what I've seen, 40 minutes. Though it could have changed, I don't fully know, but I'm pretty sure the last one only took that long. Let's go see. It should be up any minute now, so I'm going to head up there. Yeah, 40 seconds from now. So let's highway blast it. Like I said, it's going to take us a while before we really perfect our recipe. It does give a bit of time to chill. But for now, I think today is going to be very much more going in the sewers. Doesn't seem like there's many people around. Plus, I like being productive. I feel like when I'm in the sewers, I'm being productive. Oh, there we go. All right, timer is done. Let's head on up. I only just started, but I got 80% quality at below average. 80% below average is what I got. I'm going to see after this one. Basically, the way that I'm doing it is I start at a baseline. The yeah, 80 proof, whatever you want to call it. I'm just calling it percentage. It doesn't really matter. But I don't really know what the difference is. But we'll see if it changes with this one. Because I just want to find out what is the strongest element in each section. So I've done the baseline, which is the last one, which is 80% below average. So if it goes up, we know that element is weaker. But if it goes... No, that element is stronger, but if it goes down, then we know it's weaker. If that makes sense. It makes sense in my mind. There's probably a more efficient way to do it, but this is the way I want to do it. I also don't know how high people have gotten with it. At one point, I was at 132, but I think that was before they made some more changes. Don't think that recipe gives that anymore. I also had poor and coarse, too. Whereas this one was below average. I'm assuming probably the best you can do right now is average. Maybe it's worth me asking around and see what, like, how much people have gotten before. I think Kitty's done a bit of moonshining. 
Is this your pure alcohol? I want pure alcohol. I want to get people wasted. That's what Max used to do. He needs to reclaim his throne as the alcohol king. Or the moonshiner. Whatever title we claim. I wonder if Timothy would know, Ben. I know he works with the guild, and they I think the guild do a lot of moonshining. Or at least they did. I don't know about any more. Warhog. Well, Max was at the prom. Is there anything that happened at the prom Max does know about? Like Ray getting stabbed. In character, Max doesn't know about what happened afterwards, like with Ray and everything. But I know. I, I saw the clip OC. Very proud of our ghoul. Proven that she is first name Ray, last name Mond. She is her. Okay, so it was this one, I'm pretty sure. Just follow up here. There we go. All right, let's see what do we get. Collect product. Batch Moonshine isn't ready for collection yet. Okay, so it's still got some time left. It must be an hour. I'm just going to park up here for now. Not that hidden, but you know, better than nothing. Okay, so I'm going to give it a few more minutes then. Anything being planned for April's birthday? I think I think Murphy's leading that. Murphy and Daphne. Max doesn't know too, too much about it. Only little things here and there. I don't know how cops find dist distilleries. And if you know, don't tell me. That's the sort of thing that's difficult for me to separate from meta. Separate from in-character knowledge and out-of-character knowledge. I'm pretty sure if it's in the city, they get a ping, but up north, they don't. That's my vague understanding. I did ask Gloran about it, and he said that it was better to put it up north. Also, I'm noticing there's not a large amount of smoke coming out of it anymore. It used to be like, you know, you could see it from miles away, the smoke. Did they change that? Because that's, like, barely noticeable now. Like, that is pretty unnoticeable. Let's see. Give it a few more minutes. I'm assuming it's probably, like, an hour that it takes then. Because I remember last time we had to double back down to the city. Let's go check real quick. Ashman isn't ready. Collection. Check back later. I definitely need a bit more of an inconspicuous car for this. I was debating about robbing local cars, but that's going to be so much of a hassle. Because we'd have to do it basically every time we come check. I 
Because even though we are in disguise, we are in our own car as well. I think we've got a decent bit of cover here too. The good thing about this spot is that I don't think there's many areas you could really see us interacting with it without us, without us noticing. Because, I mean, us just being by here isn't super suspicious, right? Well, I mean, it is suspicious, but they can't charge us with anything. For all they know, I'm waiting for someone to go collect it to rob them. But if the smoke isn't as bad as it used to be, I've got a few ideas of where we can put in. There's like this really good underpass that's not too far from here. Though I do feel like it's going to be difficult for someone to stumble upon this area too. It's so out of the way. I your bicycle to the still? Yeah, but then I've got to stay, escape PD on a bicycle. Hmm, let's see. One thing I like about this area too is that there doesn't seem to be any murder kitties for the most part. At least as far as I can tell. I don't think I've seen any murder kitties here. traction here is not the best. This is definitely not an off-road car. I got a little paranoid then because I, I could have sworn I heard another car. Luckily, no one will be able to see our car here. It's completely undercover. We should be good up here, though. It's the unknown that's scary about this. I generally don't know if the police get alerted to this. The unknown is scary. What if PD just roll up on us? Like, I also don't know how dedicated PD is like finding this stuff too. Wait a minute. Yeah, it's not bright yellow exactly, so it's definitely a little bit more undercover. And if we get caught, we get caught at the end of the day. It'd be funny if we're like one of the first people in the house to get a felony outside of Timothy and Eli. Okay, so we're gonna time this better next time. It's an hour. Oh, okay, collecting. Let's see, take bottles. Below average again, okay. Okay, I'm just gonna drop this down. That's the exact same as before. Below average. 80. Okay. What's next? Next would be WZ, VD, 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 VD. Open pot. Boom, 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 boom. Pair recipe. So I've got WZ. VD. VD. 
BD. VD. Boom. And boom. Yeah, I think technically you can get charged for going in the sewers. It's technically like a felony trespassing, for what I remember. But, you know, obviously you got to get caught down there. Is there a system to this? I, there is a system. Basically, the first cook was the baseline. And what I'm doing now is I'm going through each section and changing the element. Like, one by one, basically. So, we started with all of it being VD. Now, we're changing the first section to each element to try and find the strongest element in each section. It's going to require a lot of... A lot of... Uh, a lot of moonshining. Like, 50 cooks, basically. I mean, felonies don't have to be violent. There is non-violent felonies. Oh, so this is the other area that I was thinking maybe for the moonshine, but it's like... I don't know. I feel like, again, this is a very scenic area that I could see people going to. Then again... See, the area in there not many people know about. And who knows, maybe at some point this is going to be where fishing is. Ooh, there is a motorbike there, though. That's good to know. Yeah, I was thinking maybe this area, but I feel like it's too scenic. Like, someone could stumble upon there just by exploring. No one's going to explore in the hills too often, because there's nothing there. Ideally, you want to put it somewhere where there's nothing. Oh, so we need to go to Sandy, because my god, do we need to refuel. I didn't know it's just how low we were on fuel. See, what I'm hoping for is that if meth doesn't become a thing, I hope that you cook from RVs to begin with. Cooking from RVs would be so much fun. I know before there was like, um, tables, right? Meth tables. When I briefly did that on one of my other characters, I got an RV and then just went out to go do it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Goddamn tow truck drivers. Like, basically, we just drove to here in Sandy in the RV, hopped out and then put down the table to cook. I think at one point we did it ex directly outside of PD here. Or, like, just on the side of the road. We wanted to be as dumb with it as possible. And dumb we were. On, mask off, goggles off, so we're not too suspicious. Refuel. Howdy. This is definitely a different look for Max, which is a good thing because it's meant to be undercover. The less people that recognize Max in this vid, the better. Super undercover. But yeah, so we probably won't be making too much money from the moonshine for a while, by looks of it. It's going to take some time. Hopefully, if we're able to really find a good recipe, though, it'll be golden. Hopefully, then, we'll be really in the money for it. Well, at least some money. I don't expect to be making millions from this, for instance. Unrealistic, really. At least, you know, a little bit. I think weed is going to be more money make right now. I mean, the weed stuff does look interesting. Because it's all about, like, you know... Do you have to, like, grow weed next to each other to, like, get a perfect strain? Like, there's actual science involved with it. 
Yeah, genetics, exactly. Yeah, I own the house where we live. It's in Max's name. We don't, like, rent it from anyone or anything. Initially, we were thinking about doing that, but we decided against it in the end. Which I'm happy we did. It's nice that we don't have to owe anyone any money. Very much enjoy being debt-free. I don't know why Eli put himself into even more debt. Ooh. What? What is a bike cop doing up here? Interesting. I, I rarely have a CPD up here, let alone a bike cop. Okay, gotta keep that in mind. See, I have been told that moonshine deliveries are pretty hot right now. So that could be what they're up here for. What's the agenda today? Moonshine. I'm trying to get head start on the moonshine stuff. Just gonna be a bit of a chill Saturday today, I think. I think a lot of people are kind of tired after the week. It was a very, very busy week, so it's understandable. So might head back down to the sewers for now. Gathering more supplies would be handy. I said, I wouldn't mind maybe looking for another civilian job on Max at some point too. Something less like managerial. Something I can just show up at, show up at work and that be it. There isn't senior buttons. Something more classy, you know. Like a bar or a coffee shop. Which I consider to be pretty classy. Let's get this back down to the house, though. It's a shame I can't get these moonshines, like, in a deliverable state. I didn't realize that would be the case. As soon as you take it out of the boxes, they're just not usable anymore. But I need to take them out of the boxes to be able to see how much they are, like what their value is. Because I'm pretty sure the box itself doesn't tell you that. But I need to know what the proof is, what is the uh, grade as well. I think starting out with a below average grade is actually good though. I think we may have got lucky with our first brew. It's just trying to up the proof is the big thing. That one that way. Nope. All good. Let's go see if there's any weed sellers around our house again. Yeah, you get the info after you, like, pull it out of the box, basically. But the Moonshine Delivery Dude only accepts it in its boxed form. I'm assuming that might just be what the trade-off is. That's the trade-off from being able to learn what percentage it is. You didn't take it out of the box and took it to the bottler? I don't think so, no. Because once you give it to the bottler, it just says deliver it to this address. You can't see it anymore. I saw that with um, April stuff. I couldn't see the percentage on it. Oh. 
let's see. Yeah, so locally produced, below average quality, 80 proof moonshine. Max is no in character, no. I'd already seen the clip before stream, though. So, unfortunately, no reaction. But Max wasn't told anything about it. I don't think uh, Ray told many people about it. Oh, I can't stack them. Interesting. They are definitely identical. Alright, let's see. How's the mo how's the cleaning doing? Boom. Let's move this all around. Boom. Boom. I just reacted as hell, yeah. That's first name Ray, last name Mond. That's our guru. Boom. There we go. Still got so much we need to clean, though. Timothy really needs to invest in more laundry machines. I want other people to buy stuff in this house too, goddammit. We just speed things up so much more. Because he's got, still got like another 20,000 he needs to clean. That's going to take him at least 40 hours. And I'm sure he's going to be doing even more weed sales if he's got this here. Which means that's going to be even... Wait. Is that... Oh, no, that, no, that's fine. That's good. I was going to say, that changed strain, but no, I, I misread it earlier. I know Timothy has money too. Everyone is so goddamn stingy with their money. Everyone's stingy. I mean, with April, I understand, because that's just how April is. But no one else wants to spend their money elsewhere. I get that, you know, saving up money to buy, like, a car or something is important, but... Being able to clean money faster helps achieve that goal faster, too. I don't even know what, like, uh, Gigi's saving up her money for. I'm assuming her money just goes towards her gang. Yeah, Eli and Ray just don't have the money to put towards it, so they're excused, too. Kitty, Gigi, and Timothy have no excuses. Especially GG and Kitty, because they live and breathe G6. I know they got money. That's uh, fine, though. I just, I guess I'm the only one that wanted a nice house to live in. Alright, let's see. So, let's see. So, how long we got until the moonshine's done? So, we're like 46 minutes, okay. Yeah, back down to the sewers. Let's go get some more supplies. Work on our acclimation too, because the thing has gone down a bit. Not too much though. Manageable, manageable amounts. Do do. I've got everything we need. Yep, got the crowbar. Let's go. I don't know what April's saving up her money for either. I think April just likes having money. I don't think she really cares much about, like, well, I mean, she already has a car. Maybe a house. Maybe she'd put money towards buying a new house, like the Vinewood house. I mean, we might have another house meeting soon. I know they want to talk about bringing Lottie and Queenie into the house. I'm not sure if anyone's asked them, though, if they want to join. Because I'm fairly certain that they wanted to get a house on their own. And if we if they are buying into the house, their share of the money is going to me. Because I it goes towards the furniture, which I've already spent money on. I ain't splitting that money. Right down. Wait, is it already open? Oh, it's already open. Hold on. 
GG's in the manor. I'm pretty sure that's where all of our money goes to is helping them out. Which, again, it is understandable. Come on. Eh. See, when it comes to furniture, I understand if people don't want to put money towards it. But I do wish people would put maybe more money towards the laundry machines and the GPUs. Just because that's usable. That's something that's going to be useful to them. I don't really want to put my money towards that anymore. Hey, princess. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Much appreciated. Hope y'all enjoy those beautiful goblin and maximotes. Courtesy of princess. Appreciate the support. How much you pay for the furniture? I paid roughly about $180,000. That's how much money Max has spent on furniture. It's been a lot of money. But of course, that was by my own choice. I didn't need to. I also don't expect any of that money back either. It's just like, if there is people buying into the house, I wouldn't mind getting that money. Other than that, I don't expect us to get anything more. How'd you make all that money? Primarily, it was through grime, pretty much. Pretty much, it was grime and grime only. And a bit of like, you know, the, the government paychecks too. There we go. Actually, to go war. I don't think Max will be getting involved in the clown stuff. Unless Max gets involved, like someone else involves him, he's not going to involve himself in that. Obviously, he, he wants to make sure that Ray's safe, but he knows very well when to pick fights. Like, you got to be careful, like, what fights you really involve yourself into. I think Ray wouldn't want Max to involve himself either. It sounds to be more of a clown thing anyway. So that'll probably be dealt with Ray and the clowns. If Max gets involved, like someone goes after Max or something like that, then, you know, obviously that happens. Max doesn't know anything about it. I'm just responding to what people are saying in chat. Oh, see, I know about it because I saw a clip. Max knows nothing about that stuff. All that Max knows is that Ray was stabbed by Dundee. That's it. That's all that Max knows. And that she didn't ICU and she got out of the hospital. From there, Max knows nothing. Yes, I've had that total money ever since he started RP. Well, it's understandable. Most people don't have that sort of money. See, I would have more money on Max if I hard grinded grime more. But honestly, I can only stomach so much grime. As like tedious as this stuff down here is, I like this sort of stuff. Grime is like a whole nother level of tediousness. Like, for me, grime is like an off-stream thing. I like, you know, late at night, maybe just before bed, getting a run-in. This is my on-stream grind. Plus, I don't really have much demand for money right now. I don't have, like, a desperate need to be rich. Obviously, money's good, but I'm not, like, going to be grinding for money for no reason. If we were maybe, like, had a house in mind we are trying to buy, then maybe. At the moment, we have nothing that we're really working towards. Any new cars Max looking at? Not anymore. I've decided to not buy another car for a while. Just because, one, the restock takes forever. Two, when it does get restocked, it's bought instantly. And three, that's kind of it. I, I don't want to just hoard money on Max for a restock that might happen like a year from now. I'd rather actively spend my money now and actually use it for things rather than just hoard it. Use it for the RP, like with the furniture. In my mind, we can probably get some good RP from the furniture. Like, you know, the sitting down meetings and stuff like that. 
Boom. You know, I'm going to wait until the Mosley stuff kind of mellows out before I think about getting a car. At the moment, cars are just in such high demand that they're just instantly gone. For me, in terms of cars Max might get next, it'd either be a classy car or a local car. Now, I was thinking about maybe if we are doing more moonshine up in Grapeseed, getting a car that blends into Grapeseed, like, you know, a local car up there would be handy. Like, we check all the cars that we see driving past and get one of those cars so we can blend in more, act like a local if needs be. Yeah, every car that you see on the streets is purchasable. Like, most cars available in Mosley's you'll see on the street somewhere. Minus a few of them. Like, I don't know if you could find Juno's car on the street, for instance. Yeah, Sand King, maybe. Sand Kings have decent storage. Oh, Max been loving the sewers. I love the environment of the sewers. It, it's a really unique environment to GTA. Like, all of this is custom made. I generally think investing in the sewers is a good idea too, because I doubt the devs would put this much work into the sewers just to abandon it. I imagine there's going to be more things in the future that require the sewers. Yeah, the more that you're in there, the more acclimated you become. I'm at a point where I'm no longer getting damaged down here. I can roam the sewers without bandages now. I'm becoming a full sewer dweller. Well, the main reason for spending time in the sewers to begin with is just to get into moonshine. Did you get damaged in the outside world? Nope. I'm all good. I have a feeling that was just a rumor that if that was happening. Like for me, it's moonshine. Moonshine is something Max used to specialize in back in the day. It certainly was his first crime. So it makes sense for him to get back into it now that he's going down the life of crime again. I don't know anything about the mimes or the clowns. I'm pretty disconnected from that stuff. I try not to learn too much information OOC either because it's just better to learn in character. Obviously, I can separate stuff from out of character in character, but it's still better to learn in character if you can. Have genuine reactions to it. Also, I want to go see if I can talk to the dude in the center, see if he'll sell me another moonshine distillery yet. Or if that's the thing I gotta wait on. I've got a feeling it's per storm. I do know that people have had multiple distilleries before. Thanks, Arjun. <sighs> Max knows a few of his friends are sewer experts, like Gigi Gambino. And, um, Glorion, too. Well, Glorion used to. I don't know if he still actively is. I'm fairly certain Kitty's spent some time in the sewers, too. Pretty certain. Hmm. Yeah, that GG. I don't think many people that we know come in the sewers. Not too, too many. I'm pretty sure Chloe used to as well. But I, surprised, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a lot more of GG soon being in here. It seems that she's still pretty active down in the sewers. She's very dedicated to it, too, from the talk that we had yesterday. Now, there's kind of a current conflict brewing in the sewers between the sewer people and the PD. I'll probably try and make it to the sewer meeting, yeah. It's on Monday, I'm pretty sure. That's probably what they're going to be talking about is the PD and sewer stuff.
in my opinion, the whole sewer stuff, I think it's a... Like, PD, I don't think they'll be able to last long. Like, if people push back against them being in the sewers, I don't see them lasting long. They've got... They just... Their forces are so thin. And there's just so much other crime going on. Apparently, they've been recently... They have been inspecting the sewers, yeah. Like, going around, destroying moonshine distilleries. Stuff like that. Arresting people down here. But the thing is, PD is weakened being down here. Because they don't have easy access to their car and supplies. Or backup, even. Like, say they're dead in the center. What if then they get swarmed by sewer people? What happens then? PD isn't going to know how to get down to the center. And what I'm curious about is, you know like how on our GPS if we look now, there's nothing? You can't see anything. You can't even see, like, locations or anything like that. Do PD blips show down here? Could someone theoretically kidnap a cop, take him down here, and then not be found? I'm kind of curious about that. But also, they wouldn't be able to follow a GPS if they come down here. So even if they do have the GPS marker, it's going to be really difficult for them to navigate towards them. Especially if someone takes them on the move, too. Because if they don't have a map, then it's going to be really difficult to find them. The tool... Honestly, the sewers are a really good tool to use. I... What I'm still hoping for is smuggling lanes. I know Gigi's interested in that idea, too. Like, using the sewers to smuggle goods. I love that idea. Don't know how useful it'd be, though. It's one of those things that you do for pizzazz more so than for it being useful. I don't know exactly what my rep is, but I think it's at least over halfway now that, since I can purchase the distilleries. Others came down and the GPS did not function at all. So that's what it is then. You can see it from above ground, but you can't see it if you're in the sewers. Which means trying to retrieve a police officer in the sewers would be impossible. Unless you had someone above ground telling you like, okay, now turn left, turn right. Which would be difficult for them to do unless they had our map. Surprised no gangs try to take it over? There's no real usability for the sewers for most gangs. Your high rep means that you basically don't get damaged. Like, I'm not getting damaged anymore whilst being down here. I've become fully acclimated. Oh, it's a server issue? Oh, okay. So it's probably best not to use that to your advantage then. Still, even if it did work, it would be, like, really difficult for them to follow. Honestly, we could sell our map to PD for a lot of money if we wanted to. But I don't think Max would want to betray the sewer people that way. Plus, I don't know if PD would even purchase that sort of thing. Not to mention the fact that it's technically illegal us mapping the sewers. Because, you know, it means that we were in the sewers. Uh, let's see, can I talk to this dude again? Sometimes he glitches out and you can't talk to him. Let's see. Ah, damn it. Full sewer map worth a fortune to a lot of people. I'll show you guys, for those who haven't seen it, hold on, let me, let me show how my sewer map works. So if I go dead in the center here and use the point of interest to mark where I am. If I then open up my map, boom, this is my sewer map. And basically what I would do is if I'm lost, I would mark myself on the GPS with the point of interest, overlay this and try and get it centered and then I'll be able to find out where I am. Like this map is GPS accurate. It's also useful because if I overlay this one above ground, I can see which each tunnel goes under. 
like there's a tunnel that goes directly underneath City Hall, for instance, and the hospital. Who knows if that may be useful in the future? Oh, brief flash there for some reason. But yeah, so th that's our sewer map. It's GPS accurate, and I made it so that it's easy to read, easy to follow. I haven't shared it to anyone else just yet. I need to show it to Gigi Gambino because I want her opinion on it. And also, I want to show off a bit. I want to go around saying, look at this cool, cool thing I made. I made this, isn't it cool? Which I think is fair. I put a lot of work into it. It did help me get more acclimated to the sewers too. Because I basically used the time making the map to get acclimated to the sewers. Is a tedious process, but it did work in the end. A lot of running back and forth to make it GPS accurate. Oh, so let me see if I can... I, I know which part of the map is directly underneath, by the way. So if I run over this way... So the tunnel that is directly under City Hall is this way. I actually want to kind of check see if there's anything unique there that might signify that. What if there's a secret tunnel to get into the city funds? Yeah, what Gigi was telling us is that a lot of people have given up on the sewers. Now that weed is better, a lot of people that were doing moonshine have shifted over to weed instead. Meaning they don't need to come down to the sewers anymore. And also since the sewers are becoming much like a bit more of a risk as well with PD coming down here. People just don't find it worth it. I kind of like that though, because only the dedicated will survive. And Max is very dedicated to his moonshine. Let's see. Max does not know what happened last time. <laughs> Let's see, it's not this one. It's through the next door, I'm pretty sure, because... Actually, I'll show you guys where I am. So if I then go back on here, mark that, then I go back here. And... Boom! See, you can see roughly where I am. Obviously, it's not like 100% perfect, but you can see roughly where I am. R roughly. So it's through the next door, that's when it is. Oh yeah, I completely forgot about that, James. Shame that stuff never went anywhere. Okay, so it should be through this door. This part of the sewers is directly... In oh, not this part. This part is directly underneath City Hall. Don't think there's any, like, secret tunnels here or anything, is there? No, nothing that really signifies that. Well, this is a different city hall than back in the day. How few tries to ask me in the sewers? I think it'd be cool. Like I said, considering the amount of work the devs put into making this, I highly doubt that there's going to be nothing else added to the sewers. I see the sewers being really useful throughout the entirety of 4.0. I wouldn't be surprised if it expands at some point too. But hell, maybe for part of a heist, you need to like hold down something in here. So you have to spend like a lot of time in here. Hence, you know, being acclimated is better. Maybe something like that. I know maybe you need to hold down a button or something, but whilst you're holding down the button, you can't bandage yourself. Meaning that you've got to be more acclimated so you don't die. Something like that would be interesting. That's the sort of thing I could do. I could hold down a button. Plus, who knows what more supplies will be needed down here, more things that'll get unlocked. I imagine the fence is going to be pretty popular for a while, too. And by popular, I mean useful for a while. Boom. I don't see that changing anytime soon. But I, I imagine that's going to be useful for every heist, the fence. Though you don't need to be acclimated to the sewers to use the fence. 
that's kind of different. Giant rats. I mean, you can catch rats down here. Yeah, I'm worried about the first time that it floods here. Because if you're not in the center, you're pretty much screwed. I do wish that when the sewers flooded, it took like maybe a minute, if not more, for it to fully flood. So people had time to like run to the center. From my understanding, it's like an instant thing. Like you get 10 seconds, that's it. Though from what we were told, there is air pockets. Clem did say there was air pockets you could get to. Like maybe it only fills to a certain height, like up here, but then you need to go underwater to get through the doors. I know my way around here too, so I'd be easy to be able to make my way to the center. Getting to the actual exits though, that's going to be difficult. Because those are 100% going to be submerged. Oh, I hear a door. Let's see, do a bit more searching. So right now, we're right by the Roy Lowenstein exit, I believe. This is the Roy Lowenstein exit. Because there's one exit there, and there's another exit just through this door here. Right? Am I, am I right in saying that? Yeah, there's the other one. I think the Banjo-Kazooie music fits the sewers. I couldn't think of what other music would fit the sewers. In my mind, the Banjo-Kazooie soundtrack fitted. It feels very sewery. Also, I want to go check. So I think... Hold on, let me check my map real quick. So we're at the Roloin's Tomb, right? I think this way is to my favorite section of the sewers that I found the other day. I call it the family guy area. Because there's a bunch of beds in like a seating area. I don't know why I call it family guy, but I call it family guy. But just keep following this way. Oh, Damien Tingleman returns tonight. Interesting. 11 p.m. EST. When's 11 p.m. EST? P.m. EST. Oh, that's 5 a.m. my time. Okay, that's just a tad bit too late for me. <laughs> Wishing the best of luck, though. I'm actually looking forward to see how the music scene expands in the city. I feel like it's still in the process of getting started right now. I do wonder how that's going to work with the business stuff, too. Because we've been told by Max that they don't want the same people to own the same businesses they did in 3.0. But I'm fairly certain it's the same people owning Wu Chang this time around. So I wonder if he's going to have a problem with that or not. Or if that's going to cause them any issues. I doubt it will, because it's a very different thing. Oh god, no, 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 no. Don't want to yoink anyone's trap. I can catch sewer rats now, by the way. I do have the ability to do that. Not sure if it's something that Max wants to do, though. Don't add any other alcohol to the game. Well, the thing is, there's alcohol that you can buy from the convenience stores. It's been that way since 3.0, and I've never really liked it. Because it just meant that a lot of people that would just go to the convenience stores rather than go to a bar. Which I was never really in full support of. The government doesn't pay the music scene at the moment, no. I got a feeling they're not going to. Because of how things went in 3.0. Unfortunately, the music scene did kind of... It may have taken more money from the state than they should have. They kind of abused the generosity that was given to them from the mayor's office to get as much money as they could. And unfortunately, that was found out during my mayor term. And I remember Crane really didn't like that. And he's still the head of the DOJ. 
So I don't think he would want that to happen again. So we don't see that happening for some time, if ever. Unless uh, Mayor really, really pushes for him. I have to wait for that though, wait and see. Maybe a mayor could come up with a specific solution to it. I do think that the artists should get paid for their work though. It's just determining how much. Like, what would be a fair amount in 4.0 for someone to get paid for making music? Would 10k be enough? And also, what would be the rules on releasing, re-releasing music that was released in 3.0 that technically they're already paid for? What would be the specifics around that? And how would that be determined too? There's a lot of complications that coming into this. I think the biggest complication is that technically you're paying for OOC work in a way. Which becomes a little bit messy. Because I tell you, the making of the music isn't done in City. Because obviously it can't be done in City. But because it can't be done in City, how do you pay for that? It, it, it becomes very complicated. Like I said, it, it's messy and I wouldn't blame the DOJ for maybe wanting to avoid it this time around. Like I said, I think just the, how it was handled in 3.0 kind of ruined it for 4.0. We'll see, though. I'm not involved in any of that stuff anymore, so it is, I ain't going to be included with that. That's for other mess for people, uh, another mess for someone else to deal with. We'll see, though. We'll see. I do hope that the music industry does thrive again, though. It is a very cool part of the city. Well, basically what happened in 3.0 is that there was a way for music artists to get paid by the state. I think what it was is that every release they did, they would get paid 75k for each song they put on the radio. The issue is for two years, they were charging the state for every artist on a song put on the radio. So for instance, you know, if someone if a song was released with one artist on it they get paid 75k but if they had four artists on it they'd be paid 280k for the one song and apparently no mayor noticed that they were doing that for two years which makes you think that every single mayor was basically just given an amount and just paid for it and never really looked into it And unfortunately, we found that out during my mayor term. So I'm the one that had to tell the, may the music industry they're not getting paid anymore. Which, you know, it was not my fault. It was their fault for taking advantage of that. What made it worse is that the person that wrote up that legislation is the one that abused it. Because <laughs> proposed during Mickey's term, and it was one of Mickey's, like, deputy mayors that did it. And it's that deputy mayor that was sorting out all of the bills for the music industry for the most part. Yeah, I personally thought that 75k was fair. The thing is, the economy was very weird in 3.0. Like, one of the music people did tell me that why would they make a song if they could rob a bank and make more money? Which I genuinely didn't know how to respond to. <laughs> like, yeah, robbing a bank will make you more money. <laughs> You're robbing a goddamn bank. And also, you know, I, I feel like there should be, you know, some people make music for fun too, you know? I feel like it shouldn't just be about the money. You make the music because you want to make the music. But the economy in 3.0 was all over the place. Generally was. Some, like, restaurant workers were getting paid 10k an hour, PD was being paid 1k an hour. It was very much all over the place. Then you also have the extra issue with the music scene as well, is that technically the music scene was also getting paid through receipts too.
like um what's it called what was it it was i think it was wuxiang records they they did have like receipts inside the building so every time people were inside the building they were making money but the difficult thing with that is that how do you check that they're only making music when they're clocked in it becomes very messy <laughs> Very, 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 very messy. So again, would not blame the DOJ for not wanting to mess with it this time around. Let them make money elsewhere. Have to wait and see. Yeah, I think there was cases of some people literally sitting in the bathroom to farm receipts. Which, again, is not the best look and doesn't really work in their favor when it comes to getting money now. Doesn't exactly work in their favor all too much. Uh, it was so messy. So, so, so messy. We'll see how it all works out in 4.0, though. 4.0 could end up different. I don't know if the receipt system is going to return in 4.0. I think that's mainly going to stick to senior buns for the most part. I don't see. I could see there being maybe some deal made with the mayor's office. It just probably won't be as much as what they used to get paid for. Like I said, they're probably going to be looking more at like 10k for the song rather than, you know, 75k. What do you mean in 4.0, money is different? 10k is close to the equivalent of 75k in 3.0. It's just someone's going to make that argument to the mayor's office. And there's got to be a mayor that kind of pushes for them too. Because if the mayor doesn't care, then it's not going to get pushed. Like I said, Crane is going to be like very hard to convince for this. So you need a mayor that's going to be willing to convince him. But yeah, that's why I say that the mayor's office and politics was very, very messy. One of the reasons I don't want to get back into it, because it was just so goddamn messy. Very happy not having that headache anymore. Very, very happy. Don't plan to have that headache anytime soon either. So you've got 12 minutes till the moonshine's done. Yeah, it was genuinely rabbit holes after rabbit holes. I think is you would get blamed for things that are very much out of your control. Like the music thing. The music industry hated me because of that. But it's not my fault that they abused state funds for two years. I wasn't even the one that caught them. It, it was Crane. And the reason we got they got caught is because they were starting to ask for like the engineers and the audio mixers to get paid too, the 75k. Like they're basically adding more and more people onto the list to get paid 75k. And that's where they got caught out. And that's what made us investigate it even more than finding out that that's how they were getting paid for the longest time. It was a mess. It, it was a whole mess. And again, it's a very difficult thing to argue because I do understand that people put effort into making this stuff. But you've got to think about economical balance in the city, unfortunately. The economy is a very difficult thing to balance, especially when it comes to state funds. Like, state funds are extremely economy-breaking. Like, for those who don't know, in 3.0... There's these things called business grants. Basically, businesses could apply for grants and then get given money from the state with, like, no strings attached. They don't got to pay it back. They don't owe the state anything. They just get given the money. They don't even get checked to make sure that the money was spent where they said they were going to spend it. They were just given the money and that was it. And can you guess what people did with that? They spent the money not how they said they were going to spend it. There was one company that asked for $7 million that ended up getting $4 million with the comments saying they want to see what they do with it. You want to know what they did with it? They spent it all at the casino and then told people that they spent it all at the casino. And that's not even the worst of it. 
there was people getting like five to six million dollar business grants that were some of the richest people in the city already like mary mushkin was the richest person in the city and she got approved for a five million dollar loan same with cerberus cerberus got a six million dollar business grant so a business grant not loan people were just using it as a way to get money with no strings attached and you know people abused it basically <laughs> I mean, some people genuinely did use it on their business is the thing. But there's so many people that use it to spend it on cars, use it to spend it on, like, you know, casinos, so many different things. That just ruined it for everyone else. Hence why it's probably not going to be a thing in 4.0, because people ruined it. And also, I wouldn't be surprised if some of the previous mayors used it to get themselves money, too. That there was a case where one company was paid one million dollars for decorating their store and the person that was decorating it was the mayor's wife not to mention the fact that also there was some businesses that were charging for decoration fees like you know for a decorator then the decorator was the person applying for the business grant was the owner of the business so they were paying themselves for decorating the business and for those who don't know in 3.0 decorating costs no money that you can put down as much as you want at no cost. That's how it worked in 3.0. So yeah, lots of rabbit holes, a lot of a mess. Reason why I don't want to be mayor in 4.0. <laughs> it is just a mess after a mess after a mess. And one thing is, you'll never make people happy being mayor. People always ask you for more and keep saying that you're not doing enough. But at the end of the day, there's only so much you can do. It is an absolute mess of a job. Do not want to go back to it. Especially now, because I'd say it's probably even worse now. I will say that you have more power as mayor this time around, at the very least. But I'd say that it makes things even more messier sometimes. That means people are going to be expecting even more from you. They're going to start saying, like, Mayor, why didn't you increase my pay to 1,000%? I hate you, Mayor. I'm going to shoot you now. I imagine that's probably going to be even worse. But, you know, I've done that arc on Max now. No point retreading old ground, even if it wasn't, like, the best of arcs. At least it ended with something. The weed thing was a really cool thing to edit on, I think. I do wish the mayor's the best of luck. It's definitely one hell of a job to have. Exactly. Max is now in the sewers. Much better things. He's a sewer boy now. Max doesn't care. Max is completely dejected from politics now. He's not even going to vote anymore. Like, he didn't vote in the citizen oversight thing. Well, the main reason for that is because I don't think that has any actual sort of power. I don't think the Civilian Oversight Council actually does anything. I generally haven't heard anything about the Civilian Oversight Council since the end of the election. Exactly. Max is living for himself and his friends now. Though That's his top priority. That's the reason why things didn't end well with the casino. It's because Max was prioritizing his friends over the business. Which when in business, you need to prioritize the business over everything else. But that's just not Max anymore. He's got people he wants to prioritize more than just business now. More than just money. And that's his friends. What are we doing the sewers? We're currently just collecting supplies while we wait for our moonshine to be done. We should be done any minute now, actually. We probably best start heading our way out. Let's see. Yeah, we've got about five minutes till it's done. Let's start making our way out. How are we looking supply-wise? Oof. We got a lot of supplies. Jesus. Okay, let's go. Quick depot at the house, then we'll head on up. Hmm. 
Yeah, very much back to basics. As I said, I might still do some business things in the future with Max, but it's not going to be to the extent that I've done before. I want Max to be just a worker. Not the leader, not the CEO, just a worker. Be the front man more so than anything else. That's what he's good at. Boom. Yeah, so we follow this way, this should lead us back to the exit. Max doesn't know, no, but I do. I know OC. Max is immune to the sewers now. No longer getting hurt by the sewer air. We're completely fine. I mean, Max was tempted to join the HOA a few times. But Max didn't like the idea of joining a gang. To be honest, still to this day, he doesn't like the idea of joining a gang. In a gang, every decision the gang makes is a decision that you make. And every decision that you make is a decision the gang makes. Max likes having his decisions be his decisions. There we go. Unlock. Hold on. We can get the crowbar out. Alright, let's go, go, go. I think um, there has been some changes happening to the HOA. I think they've kind of split up a lot as a group now. I don't think they're what they once were anymore. I don't think Sis is around much anymore either. Same with Eren. And they were kind of like leading the show up there. Exactly. Max has friends that does he does criminal stuff with not in an actual gang. Like I said, being in a gang just makes things messy. I mean, you see everything that's been happening with Gigi in the manor. How much, you know, friction that's caused. With the Goral's house, at the very least. But every time that her boys mess up, she needs to answer for it, basically. It makes things complicated for her in the house when it's not even her fault. But she has to take responsibility for it because it is her boys. Yeah. Oh, oh, morning. <laughs> Sorry, just moving in. Oh. Hello, Fifi. Hello, would you like to grime, rising grime? I think I go for a grime run. Yeah, hold on. Uh, when is this? What time is it? Now. Oh, it's six. Ah, damn it. I need to get to my distillery. I need to get my shine. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Max. You're a fucking shiner now. Um, Always have I, been. We can take, I have a pack or two, so we can either take my truck or your truck. I don't really care. Ooh, I want to take your truck. I'm very <laughs> rarely ever the passenger princess. Uh, yeah, you can be my passenger princess. Uh, just uh, meet me when um, you're ready, then. I'll just chill down there. I mean, I could actually wait. I think I can get a pack of runners. No, no, I should be fine. I'll meet you down there. All right, see you soon. All right, see you soon. Bye. Bye bye. Oh, just give me a second. Uh, eh. Yeah, I can't hang. I'm, I'm trying to drive. Oh, yep. Hold on. There we go. I do kind of need money right now. <laughs> I got to be honest. I'm down for a bit of grime. The moonshine isn't going anywhere either. So you should be fine to go get a moonshine in. Uh, go get a grime run in. Let me just go store stuff away. Moonshine in general is going to be a lengthy process. Uh, let's store crowbar. You've still got room. Let me store these in here. Move that, move that. There we go. Perfect. Now, none of the grime locations go near there, unfortunately. Wait, changing time. Is it Amazon trucks? Yeah, it is a civilian job. Your max is a lockpick. You never know when you might need it. Big max. Let's go. Go get that money. I 
is a good chance to hang out with Fifi too. Fifi's cool. I have not tried lockpicking yet, no. I'm scared of the minigame. Is he said perfect? This oddly text like Doug Dimidone. Doug Dimidone! Oh, the Dimdale Dimidone! That Dim Dimidone? Oh, the Dimdale Dimidone? That's right! See, I sometimes think my perfect goes like the, um... I forget what game it's from. It's from like a fighting game or something. It's like, perfect. I forget what game that's from. But that's usually the perfect that I go for. Max Dimodome. I wish I could get a giant hat. I wish I could get a hat like Doug Dimodome. Um, the Dimodome Dimodome. See, all good. Oh, we still got the banjo music, haven't we? Hold on. I gotta get the trucking music ready. I'll start that once we get going. I think it's Street Fighter. Yeah, I think I think it's like one of the original Street Fighters. Perfect. I like trying to imitate video game sounds. It's fun. Like no good old ooh from Minecraft. Good old eep, eep, from Undertale. It's fun. I have a lot of free time on my hands. That's what I spend it doing. Making noises. Nice shot. I think that's from Wii Golf. All right, where's Fifi? Dude, dude, is that Fifi? Sign in. Hello. Hello. Sorry, I almost didn't recognize you there. Oh, yeah, this is my truck with it. Very nice, very nice. Okay, made a group. Oh, let's have a look see. Join. You used to have a day job. I do streaming full time now, though. Right, let's see what we got. Uh, warehouse 550. You, you have to accept Shit. it, don't you? Well, let's go. Let's go. As I very rarely ever get to be in the passenger seat for these. Yeah. Now, I... Just know I'm not that experienced. So, uh, yeah, you'll be fine. I'm sure you'll do great. I've only done like two of these myself. Oh, right. I oh, yeah, only just got this, didn't you? Yeah. I've been finding it. So, you know, let me turn. Okay. Uh, it's fun. It's good to be able to just do it when I want and not rely on other people. Hmm. It is handy. It's go by your time rather than someone else's. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, trying to call around and see who's available. Yeah, well, I literally just woke up, realized it was 6 a.m. And I was like, <laughs> no, I'm squeezing it through here, I guess. And take the shortcut. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, luckily I don't have that problem too much anymore because Timothy's usually always down to go do a run. Oh, is he always with Marlo as well? He does kind of bounce around a bit. See, I'm more so doing it later in the day now, though, not early in the day. Because, like, whenever I do this, my... I don't know. My, my brain just kind of gets tired. Oh. So I can only do it for so long. You you're wonder if Past Your Princess will be any different. It's probably a bit... Past Your Princess, like, you have to do a little less in between. Yeah. It's, it's a lot less... Usually I just look at my phone. Yeah, I think it, it's going to be different because it's a lot less, like, thinking. Like, I have to constantly be looking at the road when I'm driving. Yeah, yeah. You don't really get a chance to really be having a break. Mm -hmm, true. I definitely do need the money right now. I'm broke. I sp I spent uh, a lot of money on oh, furniture. Where am I going? Oh, you go right way. Go right way. Okay. Ugh. I uh. May furniture, have spent no. Oh. oh, careful, careful. 
Yeah, I spent $180,000 on furniture. Jesus. Yeah, I really wanted a nice Jesus. place to live. No one else is buying furniture, so I, I, you know, just wanted a nice place for us to live. I'm luckily in a house with the person that buys all the furniture. I saw that in the ocean. It's not always been there. It looks weird. Everyone else in the house is saving money for other things. You're the furniture guy. I'm the furniture guy. Oh, yep, yep. I'm sorry. The this is, guy. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot this is my role now. There's Chloe Bean. I think she's just been playing other games. Do do. I gotta keep an eye on the weight as well. Yes, a new dog now. I mean, for some people, I need to do that anyway. I, I forgot that your state ID is one off from mine. Yeah, that's weird. I was wondering why the box looked a bit different. <laughs> we're neighbors. The neighbors. We're state ID neighbors. Hmm. Let me find our other neighbor. Yeah, who's 106 and who's 109? You. Yeah. 1127 is April. Ooh, have you ever gotten, have you ever stayed in your state ID apartment yet? I haven't, no. That was so trippy. I only have once. I haven't lived in the apartments for almost two months now. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm kind of, I'm transitioning out, but I still keep my stuff there. Oh, I mean, it is safer. Who do you live with? Yeah. Um, some friends at the company. Oh, got you, okay. Mm hmm Assuming it probably isn't in your name then. Ow. No. Oh, God, we're good. Wait, I didn't hit anything. Yeah, so no, so. We're good. No, we're good, we're good. I thought that we hit something, but we didn't. Mm-hmm. Seeing things. I have me I wouldn't mind getting another house at some point. Like, I'd love a vacation house. Like, somewhere up Ooh. north in Ocean View. Happy, like catfish view. I'd, I'd love a house of catfish view. What is that? Where is that? Uh, do you remember where Stag used to live? Yeah. Yeah, that, that area. Oh, those would be nice. That's very secluded. Very secluded. But you get a lovely view. It's just nice and chill. You just get mm -hmm. the nature noises, sound of the ocean. No problems over there. It's nice. There's a house I want, um... Where is it? It's kind of near that area, but closer to Sandy. And it has like a bunch of cats. And I want to live in the crazy cat lady house. <laughs> you want the cat lady house? Yes. And become a crazy cat. So I'm going to retire when I'm done stealing the entire city. I'm going to retire and be a cat lady. You know what? That sounds like a good life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm, oh, 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 God. I'm very much more of a cat person, too. Cats and raccoons, and I'm chilling. Where is that house? So it's like <laughs> in Sandy? I can show you. I can't remember show any... you after the run. Yeah, I'd love to see it. I can't think of any area like that. I, I know a few houses like in the Vinewood, like behind the Vinewood Hills. Is it one of those? Mm -hmm. It's like, well, it's more grape. It's a kind of in between Grapeseed and Sandy. Oh, I think I know the selection you're talking about. Mm. I call that one the blank spots because like no one ever thinks of those areas. Yeah. Same with grape seed, there's kind of a blank spot. I do love those areas though. Nice and secluded. Nice and chill. I, I do love nature. Mm. It's good to have a place to like hide away and not <laughs> not crazy like the city is. Very much so, a lot quieter. Don't hear mm. gunshots every second. Nope. Don't see like a pile of dead locals the in the south streets. Side right now, yeah. It's, it's it's hectic down there. I go out of my house and I'm just seeing people getting shot. It's like Jesus. People out in the open pushing weed, like not hiding yeah. it whatsoever. <gasps> not as many today, well, so I'm assuming they probably got caught. Maybe being a bit more secretive. Oh, maybe. Like people literally doing it outside their houses. Outside their own houses? <laughs> yeah. Jesus. I don't know why. It's I don't crazy. know. I don't see how you think that goes good. I mean, having more police attention on that is good, though. Less attention on mm. The Shining. That is true, yeah. The fucking Shining has been real rough because the sewers are hard now, too, because it's uh, felony trespassing. Yes, I've been told Caught that. Going and down there. PD has been undercover in there, too. Yeah, that's what I've heard, too. So, 
heard they're not allowed to do that though yeah it's a risk because like what if they go down in there how are they going to be found yeah is this a I was, huge I was risk told, i was told the cops are like not supposed to do that i know they've been going down there to destroy distilleries too because you know there's a bunch oh, of distilleries yeah. down there people to be fair dumb fucks put the distilleries like right next to the entrances yeah i've seen a bunch there there's, there's a bunch around what was it like so they um, kind of deserve it what hello Welcome to drive one of these big trucks. The luckily, you're in big truck, and big truck beats everything. That is true. Yeah, shine is down bad at the moment. Oh my god, we're trucking and talking about moonshine. Hell like yeah. A patriot. I say, it's, if anything, maybe it's more up good because it's more lucrative. Like if the maybe. sewers are like more hot to be in, that means you could jack up the price of the materials. Mm -hmm. True. But it, I don't think many people are doing it anymore. Everyone's moved on to the weed. Hey, I mean, I'm dedicated to moonshining. It's what I used to do back in the day. It's what I want to do now. Yeah, fair. Oh, there you go. Remember to accept. It's your duty. Yeah, I got it. Let's see what the we reminder got. reminder doesn't hurt, though. Ooh, gas station's 550. Very nice. Be a good chance for you to refuel, too. I just need to gun it down this freeway to get to it, don't I? Oh, yeah. Oh, actually, oh. you're an avid sewer person, right? Oh, yeah. I want your opinion. I, I'm, what I did to, oh. you know, occupy myself with being acclimated is I made a map. I want to get people's opinion on it, see if it's useful. Oh, damn it! Oh, you got this, you okay. got this. Go backwards! I'm stuck on something I can't yeah, see. Yeah, there's like a light post. Usually, I just go around the back. It's easier. What do you mean around the back? Like, there's the follow the road to the right? Oh. That loops around full of the U-Tool. I'm not good truck driver! It's not going! You got this, you around, got this. Road around the back of the U-Tool? Yeah, just just go follow the road up here this way. Oh my god. There's a car! <laughs> <laughs> You're fine, it's good. You're, we're in big truck. Big truck beats everything. If just follow yeah. this around. Usually it's easier. I'm, yeah, I'm I prefer this look easy. the awkward yeah. eight point turns. Why is he following me? <laughs> See, I love that Sir. car. I really wish I could get that car. Yeah, let's see you. Alright, do you know the route for Strawberry? Uh, for the gas stations? Gun it down the freeway. Gun it down the freeway. And I know how to get to the other gas station through the freeway, too. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, it, it becomes muscle the wrong memory. Way, you can correct me, though, because I do need correcting. Yeah, it's all good. I, usually I take... haven't got it all down yet. So what I usually do is I go to the highway to the left, but that's just because I like avoiding the police. Mm hmm. Even though uh, it's never really an issue. But yeah, you can head straight really down care. here. Yeah, I don't care about avoiding the police. There's no avoiding them for me. It's fair enough. But you know, um, after the run, I'd love to show it to you. Get your opinion. I try to yeah. make it simple, like a subway map. Oh, right, let's do that. Uh, so you show me that, I'll show you the, the house. <laughs> it's a deal. You show me yeah. something, I show you something. Mm hmm. This is truck on system. Yeah, these trucks have slowed down a lot lately. It's a bit of a shame. I've got a turbo in mine, it still goes pretty slow. Yeah, mine's got an... Well, mine's got an 87 in it right now. Oh, mine's got a 97, I think? I don't know how Marlow gets so fast in his. I don't know either. I know he's got a 99, but it can't be that much of a difference between 97 and 99. Mm-hmm. I don't know. How are you doing money-wise now that you've got your fancy car? I'm doing okay. I'm spending as much as I'm making right now. So I'm just been sitting around 100k. It doesn't yeah, too bad. That's a pretty decent amount to sit on. Actually, I might be down to 80 now because I... Ooh. Fuck yeah, I'm down to 80. Yeah, I'm, so I'm, I'm trying to work. I'm trying to get it back up. But I've had a really busy week with that academy stuff. Oh yeah, that probably kept you busy. Yeah, cool, so though. I haven't really had time. Yeah, it was wicked. 
You were you only saw one day. It was five days of it, and then yeah, I I didn't want to intrude because I knew that yeah, I felt kind of bad watching. Even on the April one, I felt a bit bad watching. Oh no, you're fine. Don't worry about it. Every day had different people watching. I know. It just felt bad. No, you're fine. The prom was fun though. Half I got invited back. Mhm. Mm it was good. It was yeah. loud. A lot less messy than what I thought it was going to be. I thought there'd be really, a lot of like. We really, really tried to limit who came, but <laughs> everyone just showed, showed up, up anyway. Yeah. Oh god. Oh. Oh god. Oh god. Um, uh, do you want me to hop just, out here? Yeah, just, yep. That's good. We could just go around. Yeah, we'll just go around this way. That guy seems like he's. I, I think that dude's always getting arrested every time I see him, Salim. I don't think he's ever going to be able to officially get this business. But more power to him. There we go. Good to go. Wait. Are we good to go? Wait. Nope. One more. All right. You confident in reversing? No. You got this, you got this. Beep. I'm gonna kill Beep. people. Beep. In front of okay, the cops. careful, careful, careful. It's gonna Beep. it's gonna unhinge. Got it, got it. Ooh. No, got I it. got it. Easy. I got it. Just hopefully the cops aren't looking at this. Yeah, I think they're preoccupied. It's a uh, Salim, I think he's doing something. Who seems to be causing some sort of trouble at that gas station? Yeah. I think he blew up Kitty and Octavia once. What? He blew them up? Yeah, because I, I I don't know why, but I think he got into a scuffle. Jesus. And he kicked, so he kicked one of the gas uh, refuel things. Jesus. Yeah. Definitely something. But, you know, I admire the dedication to the business. He's mm -hmm. always there. That is true. He does hold it down. Yes. Well, she, I'm they always ask me for tips, and I don't carry cash that much. Yeah, likewise. I, I, I just don't give him anything. I usually just drive yeah. off before he asks. Smart. And it's like, you know, I didn't even hear him say it, even though I kind of do. Hmm. Feel a bit bad about it, but, you know, I'm kind of the same. I don't carry cash. And if I don't tip him, I'm worried about what he's going to do. He doesn't blow you up. Hopefully not, no. Always a possibility. You had any thoughts about getting back into the business world? Um, uh, I've, I've had opportunities already, but I don't know. I'll, I got I don't I got a lot going on in the criminal world right now that I don't think I'd have time. I'd more so mm. only be able to help and kind of like uh, probably more investing or um, even help behind the scenes kind of role not necessarily something that's super 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 hands-on you know yeah i'm kind of on the similar opinion i've you know i mean we we're part of cerberus you've already been at the top of the business world yeah exactly where'd you go from there oh where do you go from there unfortunately i was denied ownership of the liquid library because my name was on it so not really too much of an interest in the business world anymore. Wait, why? Because your name was on it. They want different people to run businesses this time around, is what they told me. Oh. So, I mean, I didn't own it back in the day, but I guess it's a compliment because I'm in a... I, it, was, it was my business, effectively. Should you take the 700 warehouses? Uh, yeah, I'd say go ahead. We've had a pretty good run so far. Anything... Mm. I think maximum is 750, usually. That's what I've been told. Like, you won't go over that? Yeah, but best not to go over it. Unless it's, like, super convenient. Like, you're at a gas station and it's 800. Hmm. Then you may as well. Because gas station to gas station is always superior. Is that Marlo? Oh, God. <laughs> Owned. Trailerless. No trailer. Uh -huh. No trailers. Haha. <laughs> 
There's no trailer here. <laughs> he just fucking drops it like a psychopath. I'm like, Timothy, you dropped something. <laughs> He's learning. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this. There's warehouses on there, so there should be some down that way. Okay, what's the, what's the... Quick before they rob ours. Which way, which way do I go? Back down the freeway? Yeah, back down the freeway. Also, is 800 gas station, apparently. That is what happened on the refresh. Oh, well. Oh, well. Excuse me. We've got plenty of time. Ugh. <laughs> you're good, you're good. Uh, so much traffic! Yeah, dealing with the locals is a big part of driving this. Big part of driving it. Go through them. Luckily, big truck beats everything, like I said. Oh, careful, careful. Landmine, 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 landmine. What? Why are they hopping off? <laughs> I've only ever lost um, my trailer once doing this. I don't know how people never, frequently lose them. Never, where? Wait, I don't know which way to go. Guide me. Uh, just keep following this way. Don't follow okay. them because they're going to the gas stations. Mm hmm. Just continue so along this highway. I can just follow it all the way around, right? And then just... Hmm. You basically follow this to the end. Until you get to yeah. the bridges. Hmm. Okay. Learning. Wait, is that their trailer back there? Might be <laughs> blown up. <laughs> yeah, I feel like Marlow runs into so many issues with his trailer. I don't know how. It's fine when I'm when I'm there. If he's on the phone, he'll do dumb shit though. All right, I'm overly cautious of mine. I kind of just send it and hope for the best. I mean that's fair too. What are you been getting into then, other than the uh, sewers? Robbing shit constantly. Nice. Not constantly. Laundromats, cash exchanges. Ooh, doing some heists. Um, moonshine supplies usually, but and grime, and then I. Damn. So for the for the heisting, I I do a lot for it, so it takes a lot of time usually. Cause I generally lead them, so uh, oh. yeah, it's a, lot, it's a lot of work. Sounds fun though. It is. Can I just go down here and go down popular. Yeah, you can head down this way. You see, that's the part that. Like I would be interested with the heist work. It's like the preparing. I wouldn't want to actually be involved in it. I, I like doing the prep stuff. Yeah. Prep like, you know, stuff is fun. Like, it's, it's it's a lot of work though. It's pretty hard to organize people, but mm. wrangling cats. It's fun. Yeah, and I, I generally have a role in it too, so I'm doing both. <laughs> Multitasking definitely that definitely adds yeah. a bit more pressure. I'll do some hacking or even some getaway driving and Ooh. do all the planning. Mm -hmm. Very fancy. You're a jack of all trades. 100%. I like it though. It's fun. Hmm. That's the main thing as long as you're having a good time. Mm-hmm. Oh. 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 Going five over the limit. Hey, Surely not. They, I doubt they clocked you. Down You don't know it's me because I'm in a truck, so. Exactly. You're not in your super fast sports car. Yeah. I get pulled over six times a day. Really? You get pulled over uh -huh. that much? Yeah, I get pulled over a lot. And I think half the PD think I'm banging the chief of police, so... Why? This is my date to prom. Oh, right. I mean, friend dates so I'm exist. Waiting, I'm waiting for that to... I'm waiting for that to make them pull me over even more. <laughs> What to get out the chief? The, the, the assistant chief uh, already was going to impound my car for $5,000. <laughs> Why? Wouldn't they be in support of that chief? No reason. Do, do they dislike him? No, they just dislike me. I, I don't know, but they like me. I don't know. Wait, why am I getting out? Force of habit. Yep. Do, 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 do. I mean, are you banging or is it just the prom thing? What? I don't know. We're, we're in 
the we're in the we're talking. Oh right. We'll catch you later, Casper. And we went to prom. We're taking things slow. There's no need to put labels on anything just yet. Yeah, exactly. Might complicate things, criminal and dating chief for police. <laughs> it's actually so funny. I went to the laundromat to grab some snacks. And he's like, you're not going to rob the place, are you? And I'm like, no. <laughs> and he's like, because I totally haven't seen someone wearing this exact outfit with a bicycle, a bike helmet robbing this place like five times already. And I'm like, oop. <laughs> <laughs> it's difficult of wearing iconic outfits. Or yeah. Yeah. I think I might change up the fit for the, for the next one. Might be a good idea. Changing up ever so often would be good. Mm-hmm. Especially if you've been caught in it already. The big booty bandit. The big booty the bandit. The big booty bandit. Is that your crime name? That's my crime name Look, right now. Have you got those denim I shorts on? Names. No, it's the the, the like uh, pants, the thingy pants. Oh, the doctor pants. Yeah. Ah, understandable. It's very. I need that name to live on for as long as it can. Ah! <laughs> What are they doing? Why, why are they going down the wrong side of the road? I don't know. It's Timo and must be driving. <laughs> are they are they doing gun stores? I've, they still haven't found a trailer. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's why I usually drive. He's learning. Though. I let him drive ever so often. Hmm. I'm, 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 I I'm should be okay at driving. I feel like I, I try to skirt the line of careful, but also sending it. <laughs> the, the big thing is, is just learning how to turn the trailer. That, that's yeah. the biggest I'm difficulty. I'm getting better with it unless I get stuck on something. Hmm. Yeah, trying to overcorrect yourself kind of messes it up a bit. Yeah. I always struggle sometimes at the end point where you got to like reverse in. Mm -hmm. I got reach on my son. I officially adopted all my kids, by the way. Ooh, congrats. You're an official $60, mother now. $60,000. Jesus. I'm running out of money. <laughs> well, it's worth it. Mm-hmm. An official mother to your kids. Mm-hmm. Good old Bert, you know, and Link. Wait, Link's your son, too? Mm-hmm. All right. You plan boy, mom. You're planning to adopt any more or just keep it now for now? Oh, is it only three? Yeah, because uh, this is the thing. You know, you know Raymond. Yeah, I know Raymond. Obviously. Right. Um, she, she's Yuno's twin. Well, I need to talk to her about it, really. But um, I, I, I have no adoption slots, but it's like you're my son's twin sister. Like, surely that just makes you family by proxy. I guess it does kind of complicate things a bit. Yeah, it's, it's ra and then Raya, who's my ex's adopted kid, still wants to be a part of the like family with the boys and me. So she still calls me mom too. She's adopted by someone else, and I can't adopt her anyway. Right. Yeah, that is so kind of complicated. That my dad, also Bass, is dead, so he can't adopt me. There's, there's a lot of like contingencies, contingencies, contingencies. It's very complicated. I tried to get a bass clause added, um, and the council shut it down immediately. Ah, but what with like bass some clause? clause that would like allow, allow it like very special exceptions in adoption if the parent is deceased, so that you can call your deceased, fair. deceased parent your parent. I mean, if they charge you for that, like, who, who are they going to charge? I don't think they will, yeah, because like... Really a bit of a dick move. Yeah, well, most of the cops I've said that he's my dad. Only one of them's tried something, but they got this quota thing now, so I don't know if they're going to try and like... Oh. Yeah. So I'm a little worried. Hopefully they don't do anything. Like I said, be a b bit of a dick move. Boom, 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 boom. 
Did I say talk to Ray? I'm sure she'd understand. Oh, Ray said she wants. So we're gonna have a conversation about that. Hmm. Hmm. Oops. Oh, yep. Make sure to accept. Uh, we've got warehouse at 700. Nice. I can't open this fucking. God damn it. I got I'm it. I'm gonna grab that. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Okay, I can't see the dude. I can't see the dude. You're going to have to grab the boxes. Oh, I can't see him either. Oh, oh, uh, do a circle around you tool. Sometimes that helps. I definitely, yeah, we definitely have this as the packages. Yeah, luckily, I don't have to worry too much about the adoption stuff. Hmm, no. You don't what want to adopt anyone? That might do at some point. Nothing right now, though. Hmm. Definitely looking to um, get um, adopted. If, if it's if nothing right now... Oh, there he is. If it's nothing right now, like, maybe by the time there's a new mayor, they'll abolish it. I know. I know Adam wants to abolish it. That's a very good point, actually. So, wait, is it, like, per person or per couple? It's per person i think if you marry someone you take their kids so then i think you have six but i think polygamy is legal so i think you can marry 10 people and just take all the kids ah i mean that could be a workaround but then you gotta pay for the marriage license yeah it'd be very expensive if i was rich i would 100 percent do that just to get back to how stupid the law is because <laughs> you can legally marry an unlimited amount of people right maybe I mean... you can't now with this new marriage license yeah, I don't know how the... Maybe there's like a I specification. I thought polygamy was legal. I mean, imagine it is. I mean, is it illegal to call someone your husband or wife? No. Yeah, it's not the same as the adoption stuff. I think if you get the marriage license, you adopt... You automatically get their kids, right? So if I married someone with three kids, I'd have six kids. A loophole. Mm. That's how you unlock more kid slots. Yeah. Where do I go for this one? Uh, usually I head to the left. Oh, I left know. Highway. But whichever way is best for you. Figure it out. Map it in your mind. Lafleur is a top 10 criminal in the city. But who's a top 10 criminal? Ricky Lafleur. Ricky Lafleur. Who? I don't know. I just saw him in the water. <laughs> Jimbo Saturn. Huh. I want mean, to find someone as a top 10 criminal, though. Is it, like, technically, someone can be a really good criminal because they never get caught. Or, you know, aren't known as a criminal. That's true. Can I put myself as top 10? I haven't been caught yet. I think you would be. I haven't been caught yet. I, um, the, I plan the jobs. I can hack the jobs. I can drive the jobs. Well, it wouldn't be you in the top 10. It'd be the big booty man, dude. Be the big booty bandit. Yeah, I haven't actually been caught. Like, and I've probably done maybe 15 to 20. Jesus. Okay, that, yeah. that, that is pretty good then. Because, um, the only charges I have right now um, are just ev an evading felony for evading and obviously evading. Mm -hmm. And, um, I stabbed a local and I got a violent felony. Oh. So no gun then? No. I mean, no that's gun, still no crime. I, I worry mm -hmm. every time I go to my distillery that there's going to be a cop there waiting for me. <laughs> yeah. I don't think they don't get like any alerts or anything for that, do they? I doubt it. I don't think so. No. Mine's pretty tough to wait too. Ooh. Having decent exposure. What? And. How did, so, you, how did you get Cornwood. that? Cornwood. So I was practicing my, my driving routes. And Cornwood caught me in a stolen car practicing. And because I ramped over the cops, like I sent it. Cornwood chased me and then um, caught me. 
Um, because I got stuck on, uh, this pole, uh, right here to our left. It's a lamppost. I got stuck on it, like, uh, vertically. Right. And then he put spike strips under it. So I went to jail. Um... And, uh, in the prison cells... <sighs> he was, um, gonna... Because obviously it's a felony to flee, like, for the stolen car, for the actual fleeing. Yeah. And I managed to talk him down to indecent exposure, harassment... I got harassment and, um, a failure to turn. And I got one, one minute in jail. How, how did you talk him evading to that? Well, the harassment charge is because I flipped off... No, I said, freak you to pin zone. Uh -huh. And then they charged me with harassment. The indecent exposure is because I told them my hair's white because it's cum. Okay, fair enough. And then they gave me indecent exposure. And then, um, yeah, everything else still kind of dropped or lowered. And then they gave me one minute in jail before storm. One minute before storm. <laughs> okay, so, so that was you, fun. just one minute up there. Yeah, like I'm, I'm elusive. Even when I get caught, even though I wasn't technically caught doing anything other than being in a stolen car, I still managed to get that down. Damn. See, you are a good criminal. Talk myself into lesser charges somehow. I don't know. But now you have indecent exposure on your record. <laughs> hey, it's a fun story. It's good exactly. icebreaker. It is. The time I got indecent exposure for telling a cop my hair is made out of cum. That's a TikTok right there. Boom, boom, boom. Let's see how we're doing weight wise. Currently at 2,500 exactly. Damn, that's good. Yeah. Remember to accept. Let's see what we got. Warehouse is 500. Let's do it. Damn. Okay. Not a bad run so far. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I think I'm going to feel a lot more relaxed once I get my first felony. I think the, the worst, the first one's the worst one. Yeah, I got mine really early, so... You've been locked out of the business world anyway for a while. Yeah. I'm, I'm full. I'm, I'm, I'm down to just be a fucking criminal. And uh, if anyone needs help with kind of what I'm good at, then, you know, feel free to... Like, I'll probably help or make investments in my money and try to build it that way. You've got ways or to even make help money other elsewhere. people build up businesses and stuff. Yeah. I think for me, I'd, I'd be fine, like, you know, working the front of Needs because that's what I enjoy doing. I enjoy doing the bartending and stuff like that. Mm, but running a business, yeah. I just don't think it's for me anymore. Mm -hmm. Being there, done that. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, it's been a very long time since I've ran around a business. Because. When I moved back to the city, like, five, the last time, like, five years, eight years ago, I was, like, been there, done that. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't, what the fuck is this? I wouldn't be opposed to running a business. I just, I guess, I'm just having fun doing other things. You want to have fun. Yeah. It's understandable. Also, I'm surprised how many people in town that do crime that haven't been caught yet. Mm -hmm. Still no felonies. I mean, the cops are hilariously bad it seems so there's 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 been chases where um we probably lost them in like five to ten like three corners like 10 seconds there's been a couple of chases Damn. that's happened yeah i think I recently recently it's been a lot closer hmm, to getting caught yeah i mean i've heard of like a bunch of g6 bucks that have been doing crime like you know roof running and stuff like that yeah, I do that by myself. I'm, I'm not, I don't really, I'm just fucking, I get in my fucking whip and I just go roof running sometimes. Yeah, fair enough. I assume mm -hmm. it's always one time during that. Well, you know, afterwards. Yeah. Almost burnt yourself alive. Dude, that was crazy! You gotta be careful. I, I always am cautious around those fire pits now. They still I don't have a trailer? I've so many times! How do they still want to have a trailer? 
I don't know. <laughs> you gotta be very careful there. I, I think I'm getting to a point where I'm gonna, you know, not feel too bad if that happens. Because you just get like, what, you get feel cold? better from the air, right? Yeah, down there, yeah. I'm, I think I might lose my acclimation a little because I haven't been able to supply for anyone. Do I don't what? really want to oh, go spot. down there. Yeah, because everyone's not being taken. So I don't want to go down there and... I need to go down there, but I don't want to just go stand there for an hour. It's a little boring. Yeah. I kind of ran into that difficulty a bit before I could like actually start doing the searching. Yeah, I might just search and just fucking if I can't move it again. Because like, I got 10 batches yesterday. That's five grand. I couldn't move. No one Me or it. my assistant. Yeah, there's just no one doing that. Oh, that's a shame. But I want to really stay acclimated. Um, because that shit's probably going to pop off again, you know? Oh, yeah. I, I, I think it's always going to be useful down there. I mean, just, you know, the yeah. fences down there. Plus, I just don't want to go down there for 20 hours to fucking acclimate myself again. Yeah, you said there's like at least an hour a day down there, right? And you'll be good? Yeah, for me, but I'm like fully, at least, and it might not be right now, but I'm mostly fully activated. I'm just about able to buy the distillery, so I think I'm like halfway there. Nice. They're just about. You can, can you only buy one distillery a day? Or is it one distillery no, total? No, it's one every six hours around about. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Same with the rat, uh, rat traps too. Ah. Yeah, I'm fine just bringing food down there. I'm, I'm not looking to eat any rats anytime soon. It tastes like chicken. I'm sure it's very nice. Just, you know, I, I gotta keep some class. <laughs> it's odd enough for me already being in the sewers. Yeah. I actually really like it down there. It's, it's I like it too. It, it is really peaceful. Not as many people down there as I thought there was going to be. No. Nice. I mean, I guess I have to wait and see how that goes, if that's going to keep that way. Still won't talk to me. No, I can see him, but he won't talk to me now. Can you refresh your eyes? Uh, does that work? Yeah. Can you talk to him? Oh. Well, let me try and refresh my eyes. Uh doesn't work. Oh, I can talk to him now. Yeah, it worked for me. I got him. Okay, yeah, he still won't talk to me even after that. Yeah, oh, wait, now he does. He, he talks to me now. That's actually good to know, because that, that dude in the sewers doesn't talk to me sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just gotta do that. That is very handy to know. Oh, let me to accept it. Got it. Where has 3,000, right? You're at 3,000 now. Uh, do you want to go for the 750 or wait? We've got time. <gasps> Did I fuck it? No, no, you accepted I it. I might have fucked it. What, what do you mean? Well, I clicked it twice. Does that mess things up? Yeah, I'm scared. Uh, looks fine for me right now. Because I clicked it once and it didn't do anything. So then I clicked it again. I'm scared. I mean, the first time you just maybe just didn't do ah, anything. I did it? Oh no. Oh well. Any way to fix it? Call him Marlo. <sighs> There's no way to fix it if I accidentally click the contract twice, right? <laughs> I so I I. Max, you, you don't have extra packages, do you? Uh, no, I don't. Unfortunately, no. I'm besides, it needs to be you because of your ID. Minus seven out of fifteen. Oh. Thirty four hundred. Taste a taste of moon jack. Don't you roads take me home? Just tell them to stop being a crazy person and just help for a second. Uh alone. West Virginia, Ma Mama. Oh, thanks. Do need that. I hope you're having a good day as well, Matt. Oh, 
Ooh, pull up a bit. Uh, oh, I can't hop in. Might be shuffle time. Wait, I'm gonna lose rev for that too. I think we're both far. So I actually. So I have to abandon it. Well, <clears throat> sorry, Max. Ah, these things happen. I think a lot of people have been hitting scuff with this recently. Mm. <sighs> oh well. These things happen. What do I do? Do I just end it? Okay. Well, because what happened is I, I, I hit it once and then nothing happened. So I hit it again. I didn't, like, yeah. Took 15 sec. That is so fog. Uh, it's all oh. good. May need to do some regular grind to get the rep back. What the though. extra pack? What? How many extra packages would you need? So I would I have minus seven out of fifteen. Twenty-two packages. That's the only way to fix the Jesus. Fifteen where do you keep fifteen packages, you know? That's so heavy. Yeah, it's fine. These things happen. I think Scuff is fine. People need to accept Scuff All sometimes right. because, like, we're playing a mod of a mod on a decade-old mm -hmm. game. It ain't gonna be perfect. I don't think all we're losing is just pixel money. Who, who cares? Ew. Okay. Okay. Appreciate it. That's good. Bye. Okay, I'll explain it to you. So apparently this is a very recent thing. Um, so I accepted the contract, um, and it didn't do anything. So I thought I just didn't click it properly, or like, it just wasn't working. So I clicked it again. And if you click it twice, it just fucks up your entire run, and there's nothing oh. you can do to fix it, unless you have an extra fucking huge amount of packages just lying around somewhere basically so the, so basically if it didn't accept the first time you're screwed because no did marlo, you just have to wait or marlo said earlier it happened to him and he waited 15 seconds and then it finally accepted Got so you just you. literally have to click it once and wait if it doesn't Listen, you think about it, no pixel is a mod oh, of 5m which is a mod of gta 5. so minus 10 rep <laughs> Yeah, for both of us, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, I'm down to I'm down to do little pounder runs or whatever. I mean, it hasn't. It's usually been five reps for me. I lost ten last time. Really? Oh. Mm -hmm. I guess we'll see. We might have to do it's some three rep, rep runs. Run, so either yeah, that or just ride past your princess. Unfortunately, I don't really have many people to ride past your princess with. Maybe... Hmm... Hmm... I Do you have a pounder? I have a pounder. I have one too. We can... Maybe we can probably get one run in? Maybe? Well, a rep's not gonna be down... gone yet. So it's gonna be weird. <laughs> I guess... I mean, we can, like, use these boxes in the next run, right? I don't know how that works. I vaguely know how it works. Oh, God. 
because i mean especially in cases like this where it's not really your fault this happened this is just like an issue we can really avoid so if you can still do another run after this we could maybe see if we can do that no idea what it involves oh no literally all you gotta do is accept the contract take one box from the back and put it back in and then it's done then you just accept next and then accept another contract take box out put it in done oh god he's got to do that until you've used up all the weight basically oh so i, I usually have that. a notepad there, you'll be fine i don't think i can do oh, it unfortunately god. unless you accept the contract i saw out the weight I've done it a few times. Oh, this is rough. Yeah, you gotta cancel, then just park it up. <sighs> Let's see. Oof. Yep, you're right, it was 10. Oh, is yours gone? Yeah, mine's gone. Oh, I can't hop out for some reason. You live there now. I live in the truck. You may, you may need to yunk me out. Ah, there we go. Hey, my first... This has actually been like my first proper scuffed run. Yeah, unfortunately, these things happen. Let's see. Is, so is your rep down? Are you good? Yeah, it's, <laughs> do you want to do a pounder run? Yeah, let's do a pounder run. I think... We only have to accept three contracts of the Pounder Runs, right? That, that's yeah, a rep it's run. Yeah, three. Mm -hmm. All righty. Uh, still in the same group. Fucking hate crime. You know it. Yeah, these I things hate this happen. shit too. You know what they say, if you can't beat them, join them. Beat who? Join who? Me. Am I, doing, am I accepting Everything. it? Everything. Uh, I can accept it. Actually, no, I think yeah. if you're the leader you, of the group, you need to do it. I think. I'm fine to drive if needs be. If you want to swap around. No, I'm fine. Hello? I pulled out, by the way. Ooh, truck and laugh. Oops, sorry. Ah. Sorry. There you go. Yeah, me and Max are just doing a quick... We're just gonna do pounder runs. Oh, oh, Thompson's done a pounder, pounder, pounder run. That's what it is. I forgot I don't have a fucking automatic in this thing. Oh wait, it's a manual now. It's a. It's... Oh sh. Yeah. Is that that only works? That only works as sequential. No, it's not. It's full manual. Yeah. Yeah, ooh. Yeah. Yep, the trucker left. Grr! Grr! Grr. Yeah, but it's in my truck. Now, it's only if you sequential that, that does no. that fall. I have two. This is regular manual. Hmm? Nice. Nice. It's fine. I don't really care. I'm chilling. Uh. We chilling. Excuse me. Hi. They dead. They're dead. I don't know. Things like this, I guess, don't really phase me. But it, it's, it's annoying. But it's like it is what it is. You know. Yeah, I really wish that you wouldn't lose rep from Grime. It really is it. painful. Because, like, that isn't our fault that that happened. It's not our fault that it glitched I... down. So what was that? Oh, sorry, sorry. I said, no, I just said that these things don't really phase me that much because it's like it is what it is. Like, there's nothing you can do, you know? Yeah, I'm of the same opinion. It, these things happen. Scuff mm -hmm. is just a way of life in the city. It's He's got to accept life. it. I do wish that, you know, we wouldn't lose any rep from, you know, these sort of runs, because G6 doesn't, but... Yeah. Is what it is. Jeff, we, we were having a good run, too. I know, we, we were doing really good. We are almost done. We are like, yeah. that's like maybe second to last contract. It is one of those things where you, like, you learn, but... 
rather not learn mm. rather it not happen <laughs> yeah like i said we can technically still recover that run we just need to get the rep back which is going to take us like two days mm, yeah I guess you want to, I mean, we probably only get one run in now. Do you want to do some more runs tomorrow morning? Um, probably, yeah. I'll Just see, get though. it done. I don't, I don't think I have anything to do today. I think mm. today's chill, so I'd be down. There's the weekend. Weekends are always chill time. Yeah. And these, these runs are nice, too. These pounder runs. Yeah, it's not too when bad. I, when, I, when I did these, when I, because I had to do, this literally happened the other day. I lost my rep, too. Um, literally a few days ago, I lost 10 rep and I did this and I literally kept getting the same contract back to back. It's Ooh. really, really quick. <laughs> See, that's very good for the regular ones too, like the tier one. Like if you get courthouse to hospital, you Hello. can technically, oh God. Technically do it fast enough it. where it refreshes. Mm -hmm. So you do hospital, courthouse, hospital, courthouse. Oh, yeah. So what have we got? We got the uh, robs, right? Yeah, I just grabbed the stores. Hmm. Uh, those two are pretty close to each other. Yeah, I mean, that's a good thing with Pounder. It's, it's all in Sandy, basically. Yeah. You don't have to go that far around. Whereas, like, the Pounder can be all across the city. Yeah, the longest part about these Pounder runs is actually just driving to Sandy. Hmm. That takes up the most of it. Then driving back down yeah. to offload. Mm -hmm. Everything else is pretty simple. Feels like forever since they've done a pounder run, though. Ever since my Stop pounding partner yeah. left town. Because fucking Marlo uh, fucking uh, over miscalculated our weight in the trailer and I lost <laughs> 10 reps. God, that must, has it always been 10 reps? I swear I've lost like just five before. I don't know if it's always been, but at least for me, Oof. it's been 10 both times. That is rough. So that's f three. It's three rep per packer run, right? Yeah. I don't know what it is for this. I think this is like at least two, I think. Two mm -hmm. to three. I think a pound, uh, a pound run's like five, isn't it? A packer, sorry. No, I thought the packer I think is three. Is it only three now? Jesus. The one Maybe this is three. I think this is three. But then again, mm -hmm. Timothy, he's done like non-stop grind for like two weeks down. He's barely even at pounder level. Oh, yeah, here we go. It's, oh, it's really fucking slow now. Yeah, we invested in a good time. We did. It's really weird. I've had enough fucking rep for this ship for the packer for months. I just got my packer and now I've lost rep twice. <laughs> yeah, that's how these things go. Wait, I gotta go from the side. Oh, there we go. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, by the way, if you ever do go down to the sewers and need to get acclimated and just need someone to talk to, let me know. Always have to head down there. I'm down. Just chill, Usually do some searching. Mm hmm. Usually I have people as well, but you can come hang out with us. Yeah, I think I saw you yesterday with Winston, right? Me? No. Wasn't it? Was there... Who was I with yesterday? You weren't wearing a mask, so I know it was you. Winston. Who's yeah. Winston? Maybe I'm mistaking the voice. Was it Perez? Perez? And sometimes my assistant, Donnie and Santana, or a few people I hang out with down there. All right, maybe I was mistaken the voice. Mm hmm. But no, definitely not as many people down there these days. I think I think with the cops destroying stuff down there and being down there and arresting people coming out of the sewer holes and with moonshine being as damn bad as it is i think mm. it's just right now yeah it's just and the strongest the will survive probably, the most people you'll see down there is probably the actual resident 
The usual. People, people, people fucking selling their shit. I will admit, having the distilleries down there was too good to be true, I think. You know, really? getting the, the, the distills. Yeah. So that you get the materials and you do the cook there. Is bound to have a downside at some point. Well, yeah, but the, the, like I said, though, like for me at least, like, I, I thought that was just stupid to begin with. Yeah, same. Because people can just rob you or store it themselves. Yeah, like, you need to hide, <laughs> fucking hide those things. You need to be careful with it. Oh. Right here. Oh, this one again. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. Do, do, do. Yeah, I thought country would suit trucking quite well. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, hold on. There we go. But then, look, we may get it again, then we'll be done. Um, I think, no, might not. We'll see. Really? I have to do four, because it needs to be a thousand kilograms. Oh, right. And um, we've got lucky. We got a 250 and a 300. So we're at 550. So you might need two more unless you get one that's 500. So it's based on the weight then, not the amount of contracts you do. So, yeah. Got you. Okay. That's what I was told. I was told 3,000 and that usually you do it in three. But yeah, if, like, if you're really lucky, then no. Okay. I guess we'll but see. Anyway, we still got time. We're not going to be able to fit another in no matter what. Yeah. I mean, if, the, if we get three per, I mean, that's not so bad. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh! Yes! Oh! oh. Yes! Oh, so nice! The has been repealed! The mayor would like to apologize to anyone negatively affected. All the adults are free to play pretend and call other adults <laughs> son, daddy, or mommy. <laughs> Freedom. Also, if you pay to adopt someone legally, the state would be reimbursing. Yes! Nice! 10,000 per reimbursement. So, not everything, but at least some. You're getting half your money back, so technically. Getting 30 grand. Nice. I guess he really wants those votes for the next election. <laughs> Damn. Yay! Now all I need is a now now I need. I'm retarding bragging mine. <laughs> Damn. Yay. I don't even want to go adopt a bunch of people. I just want to be able to not have this awkwardness of not being able to call my dad dad. Yeah, I mean, that's understandable. Also, it going the wrong way. I'm sorry, I'm just so excited. <laughs> and the, the, the mayor said he was going to legalize, he's going to make um, jaywalking a felony, too. Well, he's making it a felony? Mm -hmm. He's going from decriminalizing it to making it a felony? Well, maybe just a felony just for me. He said he's going to work on a felony jaywalking charge. Just for you. Damn. Everyone's celebrating. Wait, now people are saying it's now legal to have incest, apparently. How the <laughs> fuck does repealing an adoption law mean that incest is legal? Like, yeah, how, what? Would, how would that have prevented it? How was that law is preventing adding, that? Adding an actual official way to adopt someone is more likely to make things incest than... <laughs> Whatever. Wait, so they're making Whatever. a so so past your purchase. They've just repealed Wait, it. Wait, so I guess you can't adopt anyone legally now then. Well, I mean, I guess it's you know, there's no official paperwork or anything. Yes, yeah, so they're not technically adopted in, just by word now, not by recognized by the state. Mm -hmm. I guess you know, downsides and everything. Money. 
charge before you knock everyone bastards. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> Just kind of sexy. I'm guessing you're going to have a bunch of kids again. <laughs> I think you need to wait for this contract. Yeah, may as well wait. Um, for sevens, this is only 300. 24 sevens, yeah. Just up ahead. May as well do it. Then just one more after that. I want my truck go! This is why I hate manual. I hate having to think about moving. I just want to move. So the adoption fraud's been repealed, but then the adoptions itself has been appealed? I can't tell if this is a joke I, or not now. I guess so. Because they're, they're reimbursing people for the legal adoption, which means they're probably repealing that too. So now it's no longer like an actual paperwork thing, it's just by word. I mean, I can understand getting rid of the charge, but I mean, you can still keep it legal, like actual paperwork to adopt people. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Because that means yeah. something. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, Etta's currently in the meeting at the moment, so she can't do anything. Nice. Wow. Now we can adopt anyone we want. Baloo Balls is back on the menu. Oh, I hate having to do these gears. It's annoying me. Max is two adopted children. Baloo Balls I mean, and Pookie Mane. So Marlon and them are stranded down this road. Should we go flip them? We could try. They still not have a trailer? It's just five o'clock. I'm worried we don't get the full contract. Uh, we should be yeah, okay. Think... But they're hmm. a little far. I'm on my How way. far away are they? Uh. Okay, I'm not. I'm not doing it. Well, I'm worried because we don't have that much time and we got to do uh, one more delivery after this one. We I mean, can flip them once we're done. But... We can come help you when we're done, if you're still there. I can adopt 500 kids. I can adopt 500 kids. <laughs> Thanks. I get 30k. I paid for half. No, but I, I'm gonna... The two of them paid for their own. Um, I paid for 30,000 for you, Noel. Glory, uh, Link paid 20,000 for himself and Glorion, I think, paid 10,000 for himself. So I need to give those two 20, 10k each. Yeah. 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 I, I don't know. I don't know. She might do. I, I, that was context and why the talking fraud was a thing in the guy. first place. <laughs> Basically, it's because it was a big issue back in the day. Everyone was adopting everyone. It was a mess. This fucking guy is like, no, I already have someone to do grime with. And then he calls me like 80 times during <laughs> the grime run. Well, to be fair, you've called him a few times. Yeah, for help. He said, I mean, he's my on-call uh, tech support for Graham. He is very experienced with it. I, I, how many hours has he got on his app doing Graham? I don't know. I should ask, though. So after this, we need to take another one, right? Cause you, right? Cause you did three. Yeah, because we don't have enough weight yeah. in the back just yet. Okay. Actually, let me see. How much weight do we have? Oh. 
And it's always been pretty harmless. We're at 8.50. In, ideally get to a thousand if we can uh, yeah we can do that uh, you have to robs yeah robs is super quick hey, come just up the street it's also a big thing like the difficulty was that you couldn't do anything without like getting a million people after you like you know you'd shoot someone and then suddenly their entire family's after you and then that, remember that family's in a gang, so if you then hurt them, then that gang's after you. It became very messy very quickly. Not to mention the whole, you know, you would get adopted by someone that you may have, like, had relations with in the past, and so on and so forth. Or adopted by someone that's adopted with someone you've had a relationship in the past, and it becomes messy. So messy. I guess we'll see how things go. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you can maybe at least still get them legally recognized as adopted. Yeah. I think it'd be nice. I mean, I feel like they should just keep that part of it and just get rid mm. of the fine. Or lower the fine. It's like the marriage oh, stuff, you know? You know what I bet it's for? What it's for? It's probably just another way to fuck over the cops so they can't fucking get the adoption fraud charge. Oh, it's like the quota? I know that the yeah I know that the the mayor has been trying to fuck over the PD by like lowering their pay and stuff. Oh. And they gotta like meet a quota or some shit. Got you. I mean that, that would kind of make sense. Cause don't they also get a percentage of every charge they do? I think so. Yeah. So was like sixty thousand the adoption fraud charge? Getting like sixty thousand. Yeah. Getting like a percentage of that is good money. But I do think like the 60k charge definitely was a bit too much. I think criminalizing it was definitely a bit too much. Rosie. Let's get this done, go turn it in, then tomorrow morning we'll try and get the rest of the rep done. Mm-hmm. Oh, grime and scuff is always painful. Listen, I'd be fine with losing the money, it's just that the rep is so painful. Yeah, that's the issue, right? Because we can't do any packer runs. Mm, you basically have to do these sort of runs for two mornings. If not more sometimes. Savannah Banana, thanks for the two months. Much appreciated. Hope you enjoy those beautiful Goblin and Max modes. As always, Savannah, appreciate the support. I remember we got to cancel here. Hmm? You know, when the thing pops up, you're just going to cancel it, dismiss it. Yeah. I can't talk to the dude. Wait, hold on. Let me try. I'll do the thing. I'll do the thing. Are oh, you grabbing it? You can grab it. I can't see it. I can't either. Do, do, do. Okay, he's dead now. <laughs> Hold on. Let's try that again. Okay. Okay, now he's disappeared for me. <laughs> he's vanished for me now. You still see him? Sorry, I'm texting. Oh, let me try again. Let's try this again. Hey, Netty202. Thanks for the three months. Much appreciated. Hope you enjoy those beautiful Goblin and Max modes as always, Netty. And Jake Mad Roman, thank you for the three months. Enjoy those be beautiful hilarious. Goblin and Max Maximos as well, Jake. This will be painful if this is the last he one. Just, he's gone. He's <laughs> gone, yeah. Okay, let's just go around the... Co yeah, spin the block. Ah, uh, gotta love Grime. I never have issues 
shoes. Are you like my? You must. You might be my unlucky charm. You might be my Tony Tony Corleone. Well, we were. No, we were doing good issue. initially. I've done nothing wrong here. I'm innocent. Could just be the day. Like I said, this is just a recent issue, right? The thing that we ran into. Yeah. According to Marlo, the grime expert. <laughs> He's the number one grimer. I say it's probably him and Octavio. He's oh, here! He Woo! Yippee! <laughs> there we go. Now he's going to talk to me. Well, we needed to turn around anyway, so you know. Wait, what are people in Twatter saying? Let's see what they're saying. I don't know. I was trying to look, but I'm driving. Uh, Winston inspired cum sandwiches. <laughs> I meant about the adoption law, man. Oh, okay. Uh, nothing really. Just people saying, okay, I'm glad they got repealed. Nothing really specific. Mm -hmm. That's the only interesting twat that I saw. Come. Come. Spin. It's not about the spin anymore. It's all about the glorpin. It's all about the glorpin. It's all about the glorpin these days. I've been seeing a lot of glorpin. There's even a glorpingle dan. There's a glorpingle dan? There's a glorpingle dan. Ah! Fuck you! And. I broke and my truck! Are you serious? I have a toolkit, but. Yeah, we might need to use that because I feel uh, like I barely hit it. We're in the third oh. generation of Dan's right now. Where They're they don't all my even, husbands. But they don't know mo some of them don't even know who Fingal Dan is. I think by the fourth really? yeah, by the fourth or like fifth generation, Fingal won't even be known anymore. Damn, he's we're getting, getting like We're getting clones based on clones. It was bound to happen eventually. It was, it was. Rest in peace, Fingal Dan. Rest in peace. Wait, what's this? What's Edda? I also saw Paladan and Ramadan. There's a lot of da new Dans coming to town. Hazingle Dan, Kitty Ingle Dan. Love dealing with the Dans. Likewise. We've been dealing with them for 10 years. Hey, it's Fiona. Too many Dans. We need yes, to stop them. Yes, I am them. ready to claim my money. I'm a Dan expert. I'm a Dan Damn. law expert. Three. I'm one of the few people that know mm -hmm. that Fingal Dan isn't even his real name. Um, eleven oh eight. One one zero eight. Not even Vingle knows that. I'm pretty sure. Yes. Wait, so this is real? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah, that'd be great. I you do too. plan to make a new char Dan character at Hi. some point, though. She's so nice! Oh, is that Esso? Mm-hmm. Oh, she's lovely. $30,000. Maybe I just Easy. don't tell my kids that I got the money back. Well, is it getting $30,000 or losing $30,000? I lost $30,000. Because technically you're, you're not keeping the adoption thing anyway. True. So technically you're losing $30,000. Wait, they can see on my profile? Maybe I, uh, I need to call a judge. It would be nice if you could stay there. At least it's like a little note. There's two names I'm debating about for my Dan. Call it back. 
either VDMing, not VD, no, RDMing will damn, which I think th that might not go well with the admins. Or Chad Ingledan, which is better. Can I still stay on my profile? The idea of being he's going to pick a fight with anyone that he can. Okay. Hey there, man. You looking at me, man? I'm going to kick your ass, man. Okay, okay. Thank you. Hi. I want to play more like chill, just do whatever characters at some point. It'd be fun. Like, you know, just one-off characters every so often. Who was that? Oh, Tapidi. It's up to PD if it stays on there or not. Oh, got you. I'll just... I'll get them to put a note on my profile to say never touch profile. Never adjust. Officially adopted. Wait, because I have, I have Surf's cunt on there as well. <laughs> Surf's cunt and then Alyssa on my kids. Understandable. You do have some great outfits. Mm-hmm. I do like that you've got an actual trucker outfit. Not many people do. Yeah, I had it and I had one and then I lost it for a little bit, but I I, I like my trucker outfit. I think it's fun. Ah! It, it makes me feel less like a grinder. There we go. Should be easy enough. Because you might not be able to start the car again. It's fine. I have a toolkit. Oh, that's good. Marlo double accepted and fucked her run. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, maybe it's best not to do grime till that's sorted. Because that's like... That is so That's rough. so easy to do too. Because you might think... Because you second guess yourself. Like, oh, did I actually click it? Yeah, that's what I did. Mm -hmm. uh, um, let me fix this. I hope G G6 is having a similar issue. <gasps> they, had a, G6. They, had, they did nine contracts. Oh, that's a good run, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, Timothy's probably very upset. That's rough. That is very... I mean, we were up to like seven or eight, I think. Well, no, no, seven. I think we're at seven. Mm -hmm. Damn. It's like a good... It's a good day. Yeah, it's now a day. Now all I need is my felony jaywalking. I wonder if I can get the law just for myself. Just for you. Only applicable to you. Fiona's law. Fifi's law. Fifi's law. Fioga's law. Fioga's law. You still get cool, Fioga? Mm hmm by the guild. <laughs> yeah, I still get called either slut law or kill master. <laughs> and Timothy actually has the nickname Slutler because that was his stripper name. Timothy Slutler. Timothy Slotler. Oh. Yeah, he got that without even knowing that I had that nickname. Just a random coincidence. Right, let's see how much we get from this. Oh, that is rough. It seems like grime just might be rough to do for now. This just means we have to make money elsewhere than grime. How? My fucking moonshine. I guess there's no easy way to make money. Let's get an expungement then go do G6 like Hazel did. I still don't no, understand that. I am way too much of a grim. Hazel's such a dumbass. Because he's still you know, doing you crime. Know, he keeps threatening to fucking, I don't know. He keeps being dumb. I, I don't get it at all. I, I don't get why you would pay 100k just so you can start making money again. But you got to do yeah. so much G6 to make the 100k back. Which would be fine if he didn't... If he's still doing crime. He's still doing mm -hmm. racing. He's still, like, helping people get away from crime. Mm-hmm. I just don't Hazel get doesn't it. make smart decisions. It doesn't seem like it, no. I just don't understand. G6 isn't that good. Screw G6. Screw G6. Grime gang on top. Minus Grime the gang. issues that we have. Oh, oh. Did we just hit? Uh, <laughs> oh, did we hit? Uh, I don't know. There's nothing there. I said it's fine. Oh, I forgot about that. I fucking... Hazel... So Hazel's been claiming that 
Bass adopted him. Even though Bass never wanted Hazel to be his kid. But because Bass is dead, Hazel just keeps saying Bass is his dad. And I'm honestly, it pisses me off. Ooh. I mean, that's understandable. That's a bit disrespectful. It's very disrespectful. I understand if you're pissed about that. Yeah, like... Oh, yeah, because doesn't he refer to Yuno's nephew? So that's fine. Because so, so basically back in the day, um, Hazel like kind of adopted himself as my brother. But Bass never claimed him. Oh, got you. So he's your brother, so, but not like... Yeah, okay, I not kinda like get officially, just like... Like Bass isn't his dad. Bass never wanted Hazel. <laughs> never wanted him. Never wanted him? Just like yeah. a true father. <laughs> He's fucking dead and he used to stop claiming Baz as his fucking dad. Yeah, if he can't say otherwise, it's a bit... Ugh. Yeah, it pisses me off. Hazel's been pissing me off a lot recently. I think it's to a lot of people. I think it's just the Thousand Hazel bucks. effect. Let's see how much rep did I get. I got... Three! <laughs> Making the way back there. Thousand bucks. All right. Um. Okay. Uh, do you want to come see this house real quick? Oh yes, yes, yes. Uh, my car. Uh, hmm, should I take? You got your car here, right? Yeah. Would you be good to drop me back up back down here afterwards, or? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Probably just be easy if we do ride together. Mm. Oh, I need to show you the map too. Oh, you parked over here. I have to. People steal my turbo if I don't park it away. Yeah, luckily people don't think a Glendale has a turbo in it. Well, mine looks like a fucking supercar, but it's only worth like 90 grand. So people can lock oh. it very easily. Um, it's only 90 grand? they target it because it, yeah, it was 88,000 before tax. Oh. So they target it um, because it obviously looks like a really nice car. And I can't leave it out for more than five minutes. That is rough. I leave my car out all the time. Mm -hmm. No one's really no, looking to steal to. a Glendale. I can't even go to fucking Senior Buns. It's actually really? being stolen at Senior Buns in the time that it's taking me to buy a burger. Oh, I guess because it's uh, so cheap, it's easy to lock pick. And a 99 Turbo, yeah, it was taken oh. out of it. So I lost 20 grand. Yeah, Ugh, that's rough. Mm -hmm. So now it's like, I run and just park it away all the time. No, that, that is completely understandable. That's rough. Yeah, and you know, it's easier to lockpick now, too. The, the lockpicking uh, mechanism changed. Did it? Um, so it's actually faster to lockpick my car now. God, this is only 88,000? Mm-hmm. Jeez, it looks so good. I got, I got so lucky with this car. It's unbelievable. I love it. It drives amazing. It's so fun. But yeah, it gets stolen. God, it's so nice. Mm-hmm. Well, if you're ever looking to sell... Everyone says that to me, but <laughs> nope. Yeah, as soon as nope. it comes back in stock, it's going to go quickly. There's three. It definitely is. I got offered like double what it was worth, like very quickly. Damn. No, I, I wouldn't sell this for like anything. This looks like a fire. This, this looks like Yuno's car. I, I thought this was Yuno's car. Yeah, people people think that. They're very different. I'm not a car person, so I, I don't know like yeah, the differences. None, yeah, yeah, it's all good. <laughs> A lot of people think I'm Yuno. But I'm Yuno's mom, so it's not. Yeah. I don't really care. Yeah, imagine. I miss the uh, hurricane. The kids. Like, you know that car that Naomi used to have, the hurricane? Who had? The Naomi. I know had. the hurricane. Yeah. I, I miss that one. I love the look of that car. There's one that looks like it in the city. Is there? Yeah, there's one in Moses. Oh, oh is it's it like just on now? not at as nice. No, it's, uh... I can't remember what it's called. It's well, I'll have to look some time. Mm -hmm. I mean, you probably do need to talk to your kids about the money stuff. If you're okay to just pocket it or not. Mm. Are you going to mention that part, or...? Mm. I mean, you know, you're their mother. I'm sure they'd understand. I mean, Yuno doesn't need the money. 
I'm pretty sure he still runs G6. He's told me multiple times that he's quit, but I'm, I'm fairly certain I've seen him in a truck ever so often. Hmm, wait, say that again? Wait, I'm, I spaced out. Uh, you know should Jesus. be fine. He's got plenty of money. You know, yeah, he's the only one that didn't pay for his. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so that's one that you're fine to keep the money with then. Nice like, Gloria and Link you gotta talk to. I don't remember if Glor oh, Gloria didn't give me money. Eh, I'm sure it's fine. Mm. Just never tell them. They might have missed the state announcement. Exactly. That's my plan. Just say just say that they're not refunding people. Easy. Just don't don't tell them. I just hope they don't notice. I I won't mention it to him. Oh, this one. Look at the cats. Oh, there's so many cats. Yes. Oh, this is a nice property. I like the mushrooms. Yeah. What's this? Yeah, there's, there's always like Ooh. fucking six cats. Aww. Right now, oh, there's a lot of notes here too. Oh yeah, this is a scavenger hunt. Oh. Yeah, if you wanna, if you ever wanna do it, I think I have page one or I know who runs it. Ooh. That is really nice. Yeah, it's wicked. So secluded and like it's cute and it's full of cats. I fully understand why you want this place. Oh yeah, the view of Mount Chiliad here is lovely. Imagine like, you know, sun setting behind Chiliad. Let's hope you can get this. Sorry, I'm texting. No. Where's the mappy map? Where's what? Map. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Hold on. Let me. I haven't been like texting it just in case. I've been sharing it in notes. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Everything all right? <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> oh, God. What's up? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> what happened? Fifi? <laughs> I don't know if I can tell you. Oh. <laughs> something good or something bad? Hmm, it's I don't know. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Bro, listen, if you motherfuckers don't learn to tow without going perpendicular to the goddamn freeway, I'm gonna start fucking flipping the fuck out. I'm sick of breaking my car because you guys don't know how to fucking tow properly. Jesus! They are becoming a this, plague. This happens fucking six times a day. I'll be driving down the freeway and those motherfuckers will be sideways blocking the entire fucking four lanes of traffic and I've broken my car so many times. Yeah, no, I've had the same <sighs> issue in the south side. They just park in the middle of the road. They park like... They're just such in the way. I hate the tow truck drivers. They're the new G6 I hate to them me. So much. It's like a fucking like when I'm driving up the freeway, like I have to play like Frogger, just driving on the road normally. Just a fucking. Tow they truck. might just pull out of nowhere as well. They, they got like no oh, source do. of like safety on the road. They just think, mm. okay, I can just park wherever. Yeah. People go around me. Is that local? I don't know. Oh, no. Oh, my uh, goodness. You're right yep. there? Ye help. <laughs> you, you okay? You know. 
Okay, I'm gonna move you off the road. Is that okay? Oh dear. Thank you, Fiona. Oh. What happened? My car pulled out in front of me. Was it a tow truck driver? Yeah. No. Ah. Uh. Uh, do you want me to call EMS? No, there's a cop here. It's okay, but thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> no worries. I hope you're all right. Thank Be you. safe. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. There was no inconvenience. What? Yeah, what? Why did you guys do it? We didn't do anything. We were just passing by. We were the police. Oh, uh, okay, okay. No, we're trying to help her. Have a lovely day. Just uh, you wanna make well. sure she wasn't on the road so she can get hit by a car. Thanks, guys. Be safe mm -hmm. on the bike. Thank you. Careful. Oh god. Jet, what did Fiona do to you? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why are you both saying that? Frick the police. What did Fiona do? I didn't do anything! And she'd do it again. I was This is what I have to deal with every day. We'll do it again. I didn't know it was Kit. If it was, if it was me, she probably would have laughed. I didn't know it was a cop. There's a cop bike. I didn't notice. I just saw someone falling over, and I was like, I need to help them. And then I saw it was Kit, and I was like, let me help. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Jesus. It's okay. Damn. You try and do something nice for this someone. Is what, this is what I have to deal with every day. The cops just this... think I'm an asshole. But you're so nice. Mm hmm. They're just jerks. Oh. Nah, they're okay. Bruh, how is this adoption shit being like lifted for. Oh god, it's just already getting complicated. Wait, how's it getting complicated? Uh... Oh god. Oh god. Oh right, is that the thing you would do? Okay, uh, understandable. No, it's just. I'm sure everything oh. will work out. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. I'm sorry for not giving you the tea, okay? No, it's no, just, it's I fine, it's fine. I don't know what. I don't know how much I can say. Oh, you're fine. As long as you're okay, that that's just, what matters. Let's just say the timing of which person was laying on the ground was very, 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 very funny. Because <laughs> it was literally in relation. Oh. This is, where's your car? Uh, it's by the ground dock. Oh, also, let me show you the, the map. Mm-hmm. Did you get that? Where? Uh, just sh shared locally. Oh, this is cool. I like this. So basically, the way that it works, you know about the point of interest thing you can put on the GPS. Mhm. Mm so if you put that dead in the center, like on the GPS right now, it's right by the firehouse, like probably just to the left of the firehouse. If you then, over, if you have a way you can do it to overlay the map on top without zooming in, you'll be able mm -hmm. to see where you are on the map. It's basically a oh. replacement for the GPS. It's also useful to know where everything is in correlation too. I've now found out that there's a tunnel that goes directly underneath City Hall. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Do you think that's like a, yeah. it's easy to read? Yeah, 100%. Nice. Yeah, I want to make it simplified. I, I like Glorion's, but I thought it was a bit too complicated. Yeah, his was pretty complicated. No, that's nice. It's very streamlined and efficient. Perfect. You're yeah, not going to share it to too many people. Just because like uh, with the PD mm -hmm. things going on, the less they know yeah, down there, the better. True. 100%. I keep forgetting about that. I've been tempted to maybe make a fake map and see if I can get it in their hands. Do some counter ops. 
counter ops. Yeah. Ooh, that's smart, actually. Yeah. Pretend to, pretend to be like a, C, a CI or whatever, a, a snitch, and share a fake fucking map. Bro, get some money from it, too. And then they'll get lost and then fucking die. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> die Damn. I mean, if it comes to it, it's going to be guerrilla warfare down there soon. We're going to have to start yeah, hiding in the sewage and ambushing them. Yeah, like Dune. Fucking healing it, they, do <laughs> they shoot you and just heals instantly. Like fucking uh, Terminator. <laughs> oh, it's gonna, I, I want that now. It's gonna be wicked. <laughs> See you soon. See you soon. Ah, like hanging out with Fifi. No, it's not my car. That's Fifi's car. Only cost eighty thousand though. Generally, so cheap. I saw it um, before stream. Max hasn't been told anything in character, though. I'm not sure if he will get told in character. It's the same thing, like, if there's, like, further conflict with this. We probably won't get involved, because it's more of, like, a Ray and Clown thing than anything that's involving us. We're there if she needs us, but it's if she needs us. All right, so now let's go see if we can get to that moonshine. Head to the house and grab the supplies real quick. I need to see what the result is. We'll say very proud of Ray, though. She did a great job with the whole thing. I, you know, prove that why they call her first name Ray, last name Mond. She is her. I don't think I've ever actually seen... Is that her first time shooting in 4.0? Oh, no, there's a... She shot Bonbon, bon, right? No, she did a really good job. I'm sure that's not going to be the end of it. Yeah, I thought she had already shot Bomb Bomb once. What my mind is in Sorfrae? Yeah, I had no idea that the person that picked up yesterday was the mother mine. I actually had no idea about that. I only found out once we raided um, Gandalf afterwards. So I knew it was Gandalf, but I didn't know who the character was. And as always, Gandalf is amazing with the voices she does. Max is very peepo shy to the voice. Uh, let's see. So let's get in the outfit and then get the supplies and head up there. Let's see. We need boy. There we go. Nice. Well, let's go check on the money as well real quick. Because I don't know if Timothy's been keeping up with that. Or is there a Timothy behind here right now? I'm happy with how the, the house has turned out. I think it looks really good. It costs us a lot of money, but you know, it looks good. I appreciate that, Chen. Ken, sorry. Appreciate it. I enjoy playing Max. See, boom. Honestly, 4.0 has been a great time. I, I've been having such a good time with 4.0. Honestly, for me, 4.0 has been a lot more enjoyable recently than 3.0 was, especially towards the end. Very happy with the people that Max has been able to find. He's made some good friends. Has some groups in, you know, a group that he didn't really have in 3.0. Like, for the most part, Max was alone in 3.0. So it's nice that he's got people that, you know, he feels people that he wants to prioritize 
Maybe that's the right way to phrase it. People that he'll probably be ride or die for, given the situation. People he's very close to. And obviously, he, he was close to people in 3.0, but like, it's a different sort of closeness, you know? Boom, move that there. Boom, there we go. Oh, Max, well, Max did live with one person in 3.0. That was Alfred, the person that made the liquid library. There we go. Honestly, this player still kind of fits for this. No, the butter coin's all good. It went to zero because we walleted it. Basically storing it away. But it's all good. It's good. Alright, let's go check on our moonshine. All good, all good, yep. Hopefully it doesn't overcook the moonshine. Yeah, unfortunately, this window thing is just a thing that happens. I don't know what causes it. But I can leave it completely fine and come back to everything shattered. It's just something that happens with cars. I hate it. Because I like my cars looking nice and pristine. Hey, next is Steve. Thanks to Prime Gaming. Much appreciated. Hope you enjoy those beautiful Goblin and Maximote, Steve. Appreciate the support. Yeah, just GCRP things. And you know, to some people, the windows won't be missing, too. It's just how it is. All good, all good, yep. It's just GTRP things. It's why I'm happy that the repair kits are a thing, because that means I can fix the windows whenever I want. Like, generally, I like to have the rule of thumb that Max doesn't know mechanic work. But. But. I like having my windows be pristine. I like my car looking nice. You know, Max has got an image to uphold, you know? Max is all about being classy. I would argue that Moonshine is classy. It can be classy. I'd love to open up a speakeasy. A speakeasy would be sick with Max. But also, that's not a very easy thing to do. Actually, I mean, theoretically, you could. Ooh. Hmm. What about that store that's behind the building in the VU? Or is that too close? No, that's too close to another bar for it to be a speakeasy. Oh, God. Oh, we good? We good. Ooh, that's some good sneaking. I'm getting better at threading myself between cars without crashing too much. What was that EMS? That's EMS. All good, all good. Maybe like getting a trailer or something up north would be kind of sick. Like, I think a speakeasy in the city wouldn't fit as well, but a speakeasy up north might be kind of sick. I don't know the specifics why Moonshine is illegal. It just is. I mean, telling Moonshine can make you blind in real life. So maybe it's not a fat pretense. Or it's untaxed or something like that. I, I, I think people have said it in the chat before what the specifics are. Me stupid, though. But me happy. I'd rather be stupid and happy than 
Smart and sad. Mango's regulation? Okay. Honestly, I would be fine if they got rid of all the alcohol in the stores and made alcohol, like, maybe borderline illegal. Ooh. See, that would be an interesting scheme with a mayor. I think about it this way. You work with a mayor to get rid of all the alcohol and make it illegal, meaning that you could sell moonshine for a higher price to people. Genuinely prohibition. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. See, that would be interesting. Let's, let's go lights off here. The thing is, it, that would require uh, that would require people being wanting to buy alcohol, which isn't a very easy thing to do. I say as someone that had to try and get people to be interested in alcohol for two years. The amount of times I got asked, what can it do for me? <laughs> It's alcohol. It makes you feel good. Some people won't buy things unless it does something mechanically for them, unfortunately. Up we go. All right, let's grab him. Collect product. All right, let's see what we're looking at. Course. Okay, so that's worse. Data. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Let me jot that down. That was eight. Course. 80. Okay, so that one was technically worse. That's good to know. So now we're on to ND. Let's prepare recipe. Yeah, that's worse than the other batches. Something's changing though, so that's a good sign. ND. VD, 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 VD. Yep. Open pot. Boom, boom, boom. Start cook. Hey, let's go. No, no, it's ND. I may have just said it a bit wrong. All right, there we go. Perfect. See, look, but it proves that we're getting data from this. So now we know that WZ is worse than VD in that slot, which is good information to have. Because leaving it for longer or short amount of time? Hmm. You know, you could be on something there. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Either way, it's data. The question is, is poor quality than coarse, or is coarse better than poor? Now, what rank is coarse? Time being a factor would be evil, but to be fair, that's how it was back in the day, remember? If I was late to the moonshines back in the day, the distillery would explode. Yeah, you think poor would be the poor would be the worst. Yeah, I don't know. I oh, will see. We'll see. It's definitely not as good as below average, which is what we started at. That is true. It is coarse and tough. 
good Star Wars reference. I like Star Wars references. I grew up with them. Especially the prequels. I grew up with the prequels. I think I got so attached to Star Wars and the prequels specifically just because I love the design of the clones. Any character that has like a really cool helmet, I love instantly. And they had some very cool helmets and armor in general. Not bad though. I, it is nice that we're getting into this now. I love the sciencing aspect of this. At some point, we'll be able to buy ourselves a another distillery as well, which kind of ups production quite a bit. Makes production a lot faster. Soon we'll be a moonshine king. It'd be cool if the upgraded moonshine distilleries didn't break quickly, but still acted the same. Because thing is, I got to check to see how that is doing condition-wise soon to make sure it doesn't blow up on me. I mean, a movie being good or bad doesn't really matter too much. It's what it means to you if you enjoyed it because you're the one experiencing it. And I enjoyed the prequels. Well, more specifically, episode three. You're the one consuming the media, so your opinion matters the most. And yes, the prequels definitely did have their flaws, but it was an enjoyable experience. And I enjoyed all the Lego sets too. Yeah, definitely not a bad day. But should be pretty well acclimated still, too, down to the sewers, which is good. Darth Jar Jar? Interesting theory. I think people definitely had some interesting points, like, why towards that. I mean, was it confirmed that there was initially the plan? I mean, mean, I mean, me personally, did I enjoy Jar Jar as a character? Not really, no. But it's not like it ruined the entire prequel trilogy for me. I still enjoyed Phantom Menace to an extent. I, I think the weakest out of the three is definitely Attack of the Clones. But it still has its enjoyable parts. Still definitely enjoyable. All honesty though, I think genuinely my favorite Star Wars movie has to be Rogue One now. Rogue One is just so good. Specific I guess more specifically the third act of Rogue One. Act 1 and 2, eh. Act 3 is amazing. Like some of the best space battles. Some of the best on foot battles. And you know, I'm a sucker for heroic sacrifices too. And that's basically all that movie is. Oh, I've seen Andor as well. Andor is genuinely my favorite. Is up there too. I can't wait for season two. I'm glad they're only doing two seasons too. I love The Mandalorian, but I definitely think it may not be a show that can last more than two seasons. Mandalorian very much feels like it was only meant to be short, but then it took off so much that now they got it extended. Andor is probably the best, though. Star Wars TV show. Especially in live action. Exactly. Short shows that are good and has like a very concise story it wants to tell rather than one that goes on for like a million seasons and it just feels like they keep coming up with new things to do. Oh, 
All good, all good. Oop. Doing good, Mario, doing good. Let's go store this moonshine away. Oop. Easy. You know, one thing I might check next time she's around, I'm curious if Ember would be interested in Moonshine or not. She mentioned me to yesterday that she's she wants a side hustle and wants to get into weed for that reason. I wonder if she'd be interested in Moonshine or not. If that'd be up her alley. I worry about introducing her to crime too soon though, because she is, she is still pretty new to the city. I mean, she went to crime school, so I think she wants to get into crime. Same with Jan Jan, too. Though we could get her a weed supplier if needs be. I'm sure Timothy would be welcome to help her out with that. You know, let's try some of our moonshine. Screw it. Max deserves a nice drink. Bottoms up. Bottoms up. <laughs> Oh shit, I drank the moonshine that makes the state announcement. Oh shit. Shouldn't have touched that. Okay, I don't, I don't think that had any sort of effect. Hold on a minute. Wait, wait. Oh! Oh, oh you don't drink all of it. Ooh! More. You take sips rather than drinking the whole bottle. More. Ugh. There we go. Oh, that's, I kind of like that. I like that you don't just drink the, the whole bottle in one go. Yippee. And it does make you drunk, too. Do, 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 do. Good day of moonshine and yeehaw. Well, let's take the mask off. Ugh. Goggle Zero. This town ain't big enough for the both of us, Ben. This town ain't big enough for the both of us. Hold on. Wait, what's the amount I'm thinking of? Cop, that's it. Hey there, buddy. Town ain't big enough for the both of us. Honestly, not the worst look for Max. Kind of vibing with it a bit. Let's take the hat off. Okay, it's a lot worse without the hat. Vibe changes completely without the hat. Okay, hat on. Here we go. Easy. Da -da 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 -da. Honestly... When it comes to RPing Max, I generally love RPing Max drunk. I wish there was more opportunities for him to get drunk. RPing him drunk is so much fun. Because they get to pay him a lot more, like, not as classy, if that makes sense. Hold on. Get ready to drop, partner. See you at noon. We're gonna blast the first person that comes through those doors. Surely someone's awake on the weekend, right? Surely someone's awake on the weekend. Someone's gonna walk through that door any second now. Oh, so this playlist works perfect. I actually do have a country playlist. As in, like, more of a low-key country playlist. I made it for when I did Red Dead. Oh, let me have a look. Do I still have it? Yeah. There we go. Now we're ready. 
any second now. You think you can still recognize this is Max? I feel like Max isn't as recognizable without his glasses. I feel like he's very much got like a Clark Kent situation going on when he doesn't have glasses on. But he's ready. Any second now, someone's gonna come through. Oh, we're gonna blast him. Any second now. I'm trying to zoom out the camera. <laughs> I kind of love the cowboy look, though. I think I think we actually did a pretty good job making this cowboy outfit. Great for moonshining. Why won't my camera zoom out? So I'm I'm pressing the buttons to try to make it zoom out, but it's not working. Come on. Damn it. It's the same button as going first person. That's why I keep going first person. There we go. Yeah, it ain't big enough for the both of us, burner. We're gonna duel for those arms, Vingle. Just your way. I need to have a grapeseed arc now. I, I need to start hanging out more in grapeseed just so I can start using this outfit more. This is a perfect outfit for that area. I feel like an actual cowboy. Or just, you know, sandy and that sort of area in general. Makes it a great great moonshine fib <laughs> I'm happy with this outfit even though it's meant to be a crime outfit I'm happy with it I think I'm pretty decent at making outfits pretty decent ah <sighs> but I think hold on that is gonna be it for me tonight it's been pretty good I'll, I'll go click that moonshine one once it is ready but I'm, I think I'm just going to go chill for now. Have a bit of a chill Saturday evening, I think. But I hope y'all have had a lovely Saturday so far. I'm actually really excited to get more into this moonshine stuff. I feel like we are actually making progress with it. It feels cool to be making progress with something like this. I really want to try and get some more people involved in it too. Just so we're not like uh, doing it solo for the most part. <laughs> I feel like we kind of spent a lot of this stream just on our own, which is kind of odd. So maybe we can try and get some more people involved. Definitely want to at least send people out on moonshine runs if we can. I think that could be a fun thing to do. But yeah, that is going to be it for me tonight. I'm going to send you guys over to... Send you guys over to Ashy, who plays Fiona, for those who don't know. Hold on. Go say howdy from me. And I will catch you guys tomorrow. For some more good old Max time, as always. I'm going to live tomorrow because we've still got the subathon going. So we continue tomorrow on day eight. But until then, I hope y'all have a lovely rest of your night. And remember, Smith.